Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Hope you've had a good weekend. So I thought we'd play some Archeon the Everchosen for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, just finishing getting up set up. Alright, are we all set up? Alright, all set up. Alright, let's get this started. Alright, so, Warriors of Chaos, Archeon. Legendary difficulty, very hard battles, default endgame crisis. Stick it at 200, why not? Stat modifier, unlimited, yep, 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 yep. Wait, should this be off? No, there is no off. Alright, let's do this. Hello, I've been playing some 3Ks past few days, definitely a 6 out of 10. It's not a very good score, but okay. I feel like I gave it a better score with the review. Is there a reason? No reason whatsoever. <laughs> no defeat, Archeon. Um, hmm. Doing a no defeat campaign is definitely doable with Warriors of Chaos. However, I don't really want to focus every single campaign to be no defeat. Because what that can cause you to do is be a bitch. What will end up happening a lot of times be like, Oh no, I'm about to lose a settlement. I'll just sell that settlement. Or, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to win that battle. Therefore, I'm not going to risk it. So whenever, whenever I'm doing a no defeat campaign, I tend not to take risks, and risks are fun. It's fun to take risks. It's, a, it's the kind of campaign where you can take a risk, and if you lose a battle, oh well, it's fine. So I don't really want to be doing no defeat campaigns for a while, just because they are a bit tedious. And honestly, after doing Empire's, uh, Empire no defeat campaign, do I really need to do another one? We march south. Let the quivering fools know we come to Okay, now the good thing about this campaign is that we can actually auto resolve the beginning of it for the most part. There is only war. The first manual resolve battle should actually be against Boris Ursus, if I play this right. Welcome those on Twitch as well. Welcome to the stream. And on YouTube. Of course, always welcome on YouTube. So yeah, we take a little bit of damage, but it's a few turns before we have to fight again, so it's fine. Cool. So, pretty easy start there for Archeon. And we get three levels up right off the bat. So, what we want to do is really quickly take these guys out. Hand this... Uh, occupy this settlement for us for ourselves, because we'll get better replenishment for the turn that we occupy it. And then also subjugate them here. We want to get as many vassals as possible. And then if we can time it correctly, we want to arrive here at the same turn as Boris. And that's where we want to fight him, ideally. Okay. And maybe even... What do you guys think? Should we make Boris a vassal? Z Xander Ludwig did a tune super chat. Are you a fan of chicken, salt, and chips? Weird question. Um, chicken salt's not very good for you, but it tastes good. <laughs> okay, now we want to get this one here, casualty replenishment rate for Chaos Marauders, so that we can get up to scratch quickly. But we definitely don't want, do want to get Shatterstone. We've also got a Hell Cannon here, but I don't want to recruit it just yet due to the high upkeep costs. We don't make a whole lot of money to begin with. Then we also want to get a trade agreement with... Tribal Fury. Always ready yeah, I was going to say, they should accept that. If they want peace right away, but don't give it to them. Okay, and let's move on. What do you focus with Archeon? Magic, melee, or unit buffs? Oh, there's, there's no right or wrong answer to that. Max Quail, subscribe with Prime. They've subscribed for two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. 
I think the hardest battles in Archeon's campaign are the quest battles. Hmm. Well, it depends. It depends how aggressive you are. You're, you're in a really safe location out here. So if you push into Kislev aggressively, you can end up getting some pretty tough battles. Every campaign can feature tough battles. It depends on how aggressive you want to be. There are some campaigns where you don't have a choice. It's going to be difficult fighting, like, the whole way through. Usually dwarf campaigns, it's like, there's no choice. You are going to have to fight hard. Okay, we, it takes us three turns to get there, so let's try to channeling stance on the way. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. It says I'm going to, so I'll trust it. You better be right. Mm, let's hope to get some recruits this turn. It's alright, not the end of the world. And that's all we need to do this turn. Moving on. I think, as of now, Warriors of Chaos make too much money. Maybe given the supply lines might help with that. Funny you mentioned that. When I was part of the Immortal Empire's beta, there was a bug in the game that had the Warriors of Chaos suffer supply line penalties. It did not feel good. Yeah, it, it didn't feel good for them to have supply line penalties. So, that's cool if that's what you want, but I've played them with supply line penalties. You can definitely manage it. It, de it definitely was not something that made the game more fun, I'll tell you that much. Alright, we should be able to make it there next turn. And that way we've got loads of Windsor magic, which we're going to need against... Okay, we're getting pretty unlucky here. No new units coming in. If we don't get units, then how are we supposed to fight him? Okay. You may touch me only mm. in yeah, Figure it out, figure it out. Because there's this region over here that'll have some units for us. Alright, okay. Since when do you go live on Twitch simultaneously? It's about a couple of months ago. Hey PZA Total, how's it going dude? Do you ever eat on live stream? No, I don't like to eat on live stream, unless I'm doing like a 24 hour live stream. Um, if I'm doing like an 8 or 9 hour live stream, no, I, I don't need to eat. I usually eat right before I go on a live stream, so I've recently eaten. Um, I'm usually pretty hungry by the end of a live stream, but you know, it's not a big deal. I don't understand people's obsession with having to eat every four hours. You just don't need to do that. Okay, it says... Okay, whew, God, only just made it. Good, this one comes in as reinforcements. That's what I want to say. We should be able to order this as well. How many subs do you have on Twitch currently? Uh, I think 1,200. How dare you? No. So yeah, they're... They're... Seducing one of my units, but if you just keep doing this, eventually they won't. Aren't you gifted a hell cannon with Archeon? Yes, but I can recruit that whenever I want. Come on, man. I need those units. The reason why I'm not recruiting it right now is because I'm paying for a unit that I'm not immediately needing. It's not going anywhere, so just keep it in reserve, and that way I'll pay for it later. Come on, man. What's going on here? Zach did a five pound super chat. What a lovely surprise for Sunday. Also, have you ever thought of, thought used a Winds of Magic over Hal mod? No, I haven't used it. I didn't even know that mod exists. Um, hmm. There we go. Was that so hard? Cool. Alright, so we want to occupy this. Alright, 
Well, I was definitely hoping for more units by now, but we've still got probably about turn seven or eight will they show up. So another thing that I want to do is recruit a lord. I know the reflexes is nice. So do. Help us against Boris and also allow us to bring more than a full stack. If I can actually get seven more units. So if we have a look over here, there's another five in this area. Uh, and hopefully we can get at least another two there. And then there's six over here. So yeah, we'll be able to get more than a full stack. So no worries. Plus the hill cannon. But I'll wait till the last moment before we get that. All right. Uh, against... Boris's army. I'm probably gonna use Spirit Leech against him. This is also quite useful. But yeah, I think maybe getting some points into Spirit Leech will be handy. I think I'll get one more level up before we fight him. And as for this region, we'll just sell that off to them as soon as we're done with it. Alright, technologies. I want to get Infernal March as quickly as possible. That'd be nice. Okay, I want that sorted. Cool. Okay. Don't worry about the Gift of Chaos just yet, because we're not really fighting battles manually, which is where it comes in handy. Okay, moving on. Meant Overhaul, Face Palm. Fa fave Palm? Lol. It's okay, dude. I knew what you meant, but I, I like to make a point of reading things out. Like, I'm Ron Burgundy. I will read it as you write it. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> San Diego, you on I mean, those who know Anchorman will know that reference. Um, how fast do you think you're going to get chosen? It takes a while to get chosen. Like, I'd love to get them instantly if I could. It just takes a while to do it. Order resolving actually helps getting your um, your experience up a bit faster on your units. Ooh. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll take that. Did we get anything? Uh, nothing showing up here. Yes, it is so. So we got to make sure we remember to pick up these five units. That'll get us to 18. I, was def I definitely have been unlucky so far in the amount of units that have been showing up here. It's not very many. But we've still got about two turns until thingy shows up. Maybe. We'll see. Chaos Command is good. Gonna need that in the coming fight. Alright, and let's move on. Have you ever played Civ 6? Yes, I haven't played a whole lot of Civ 6. Um, I think I got a little bit daunted by how much DLC there was. But yeah, I got given it by 2K ANZ. And I played it and I enjoyed it. I did a um, did a campaign with, uh, like a multiplayer campaign with Simsy five years ago or something. Dodger Spanner was the best line of the day. You mean Dodger Wrench. <laughs> Order resolve helps with gaining experience. Is it gained as a number of kills per squad? Um, what it's think of it this way: when you auto resolve, you wipe out the entire army, and it kind of spreads out the damage evenly. When I fight battles manually, what ends up happening is most of the kills in the battle end up being Archeon, and everyone just sits there and maybe gets five or ten kills, right? But when you auto resolve, these guys get a greater proportion of the kills, allowing them to gain experience faster. Need to pick up those units first. Alright. Five units for me here. Oh, there was one here. Ah, oh, it's garbage though. That's okay. That's more than I expected. Wait, did I miss one? That's two. Two pieces of trash. Okay. Oh, get them. So, subjugate them. Thank you. Alright, 
and then Force March RK onto here, and I should be able to strike a Monolith of Fester Lung next turn. Now this is the battle that we're going to have to fight manually. That That is assuming that um, Boris attacks. We should al almost be at full strength, that's fine. Yeah, you come up over here as well. So if we have a look over here, we can see that Boris is maybe a tiny little bit stronger than us. But when we pick up the Hell Cannon, which will go into Archeon's army because it's got 19 units. I'll pick up, pick up that one now, actually. And then pick up these six here, giving him 8 units. So we'll have 28 units versus his, probably 28 units, roughly. Okay, Writhing Fortress can get upgraded. And yeah, we got some money here in reserve, so that's good. And let's order this now before I forget about it, because the Missile Resistance will be really handy against what is probably going to be a fair few Kossars. Okay, and we've got a level up for Archeon. I want to put it into Spirit Leech, because I've actually found Spirit Leech to be more useful in Warhammer 3 than in Warhammer 2, because Archeon is not going to be able to duel Boris at this early stage of the campaign, because it's a very high battle difficulty, he cheats. So using Spirit Leech is pretty good at uh, damaging him. Because we'll have plenty of Winds of Magic, so I might as well use them. Fifteen minutes in and turn six, what the fuck? Well, I was able to auto-resolve the start of this campaign. But we'll be fighting the next battle manually if Boris occupies this, which he didn't. The Eye of Syria. That's okay. He usually does occupy it on turn se six or sorry seven or eight. So he, he uh, I don't know. He just didn't show up there. Maybe I'll have to go into ambush dance. May the bear forgive me. You dare. All right. There's another two units available here. Alright, that's good. So, go into ambush dance. Here. There. And you also go into ambush dance and just wait for Boris to do his thing there. Thing is, the more units these guys here recruit, the more the Boris is going to level up, so that's not necessarily a good thing. However, the longer they wait, the more time that we've got to recruit units that show up. Okay, so hopefully over this turn here. I mean, Boris should look at us and be like, we can beat that, because it'll give us a defeat in order resolve. So do you reckon aspiring champions are greater than chosen? Yeah, there we go. Um, aspiring champions initially are not better than chosen but with all of the upgrades in the tech tree then they eventually become significantly better than chosen went on to the Ica campaign we were done we were done with it uh braximov one subscribed to tier one they subscribed for two months currently on a two month streak yes yes all right thanks do appreciate that uh timote vasiu subscribed uh not subscribed i uh, did two euro super chat hello legend glad to see you again thanks dude glad to see you as well those war bears are gonna suck no, we should be able to manage them. Not too bad. Because... Oh, I've only got one. No, I've got two. Okay. Alright. Yeah, troll. Okay. Well, that's more than I thought I'd get. Alright, here we go. So we join war. That way our vassal doesn't get involved, because I actually don't want them to be involved in this. I could make them a vassal straight away, but there's a way to make everyone a vassal. So I want to occupy that settlement because it's got salt. You should try to get any tradable resources yourself. So that one's mine. This is where we vassalize Boris. Then I go and capture this settlement for myself. Then I vassalize corn. And then we can bring the tongue back in multiple shooter settlements over this way. So this will give us a bit of money without actually giving them any agreement so I can declare war on them soon. Yeah, the bears are quite painful, but there is things that we can do about it. Okay. So I was going to get the Hell Cannon, right? But there's actually more units here than I thought I was going to get. 
So I actually don't need them now. I don't need the Hell Cannon. Save the Hell Cannon for later. Okay, that's that's the unit that's going to be our counter to the War Bears. Do you prefer using Archeon's mount, or do you keep him as he is? I definitely prefer him on a mount. Okay, Valiant defeat already. Yeah, his army didn't get damaged. We're definitely going to fight this manually, even if it says order resolve victory. Okay, then you... Pick up the less, last of them here. Come up here. This is probably going to put us in the red, but it won't put us in the red for too long. Oh, there's more. Uh, well, that's good. Should I get everything? Well, I've got plenty of money in reserve, and... Yeah, just get the whole lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine, right? Still Valiant Defeat. Okay, um, can we put you in Encamp Stance? Will that give you extra melee defense? It does not. Okay, so it doesn't matter then. What features from Medieval 2 would you bring to Warhammer 3? The population mechanic of Medieval 2, I think, is my favorite. Also, the recruitment system. But you'd have to overhaul the entire game, basically, to do that. Also, the morale system. I, I'd bring in a lot. Later is gifting five tier one subs to Legend Total Wars community. They've gifted a total of 41 in this channel. Thanks, dude. That's very generous of you. And we've also got... Uh, sca sorry. Scapasaurus Rex. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Will you try to confederate the other Chaos Lords? Yes, I love playing Gotta Catch Em All. That's why I usually either play Archeon or Bellicor. And the armor upgrade system? Eh. I actually think that the armor upgrade system in Medieval 2 is not very interesting. Like, I like that when you upgrade armor, it gives you a visual upgrade. But armor in Medieval 2... Like, getting plus one armor is not is, is not a priority, so depends on how you look at it, but it's not something that I use. That's not what I would prioritize bringing in. It's cool if that's what you want to bring in, but it wouldn't be for me. All right, you stay there because you're slow. Same thing with you. You stay there. Slow, you stay there. All right, you guys come over here. We'll wait for our reinforcements, obviously. No sense in charging at them just yet. Actually, we should be able to get them to charge at us. I don't want to blob up. But what I want to do is just stand back a little bit and basically charge down the hill at them. Bring them in over here. Are you on horseback? Ooh, you're on horseback. Okay. So I got another Marauder Horseman coming in from here. A lot of people will underestimate the value of Marauder Horsemen. They're actually very good units if you use them right. I mean, visually? Yeah, I mean, visual upgrade for for the armor, that's definitely good. The The only thing I worry about that is that that would be intensive in terms of Creative Assembly's resources to do that. Um, and so, I would much rather they focus on something else if they've got limited resources. So yeah, that, that is not something that I would prioritize personally. Okay, let me just get organized. Won't take long. Done. Okay, now. You, you get over here. General Demon became a member for 20 months. Thanks, dude. Hey, Legend, how you doing? For the Everchosen. All right, thanks, dude. I'm doing pretty well. How are you? All right. What we want to do is get the Warbear Riders to chase us because we're faster than them. And while they've got a lot of armor, these guys here have got some pretty good killing potential. Yeah, you'd be surprised how good these guys can be at taking out war bears. He's actually got a fair few cavalry in his army. It's probably why his order resolve sucked. I mean, he's still one in order resolve. Okay, so what we want to do here, just get close enough that these guys start charging at us. 
Chuck a few shots into them, that's fine. I don't want to get shot by them. Just trying to get their attention. Lord Pajal did a CZK50 Super Chat. Hey, Legend, I have my second 17-hour shift this week, and it's great to see you stream. It will at least make a portion of it pass a bit faster. No, it's my pleasure. Um, for the end times, oh, sorry, uh, Storm Blessed did a PLN25 Super Chat. For the end times, wouldn't it be wise to switch up Chaos Warriors to Halberds for this fight? Um, no, not really. No, because honestly, most of their units are Kossars. And I'm going to use these guys to take out the bears. An interesting idea for sure. If the majority of the army was cavalry, sure. Uh, it's just not really worth them losing a little bit of experience. Like, however much they've gained towards the next one. And also costing me money. On it, it, like I'm pretty confident we're going to win this. and It's just not going to make much of a difference. The anti-large comes from our missile attacks, not from our infantry here. Okay, we can see they're coming at us. Those Kosovite dervishers are actually faster than my guys, but they're not coming at me yet. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now they're coming at us. Alright, we got plenty of magic in reserve, that's good. Try to lure these guys over to the doggos. The doggos will make short work of them because they're poorly armored. But I'll shoot them as well. But ideally, I wanted to be shooting at the war bears. Just get rid of these guys here first. Come on, there we are. Could easily charge into them, but then the war bear riders will catch us. Need a bit more time. These guys here have distracted us. I haven't had a chance to shoot at the Warbear Riders. Because they're advancing on us now. We'll take those out easily enough. Good, they're completely wiped out. Okay, so not super effective against it, but this is a tier nothing unit going up against Warbear Riders. And even if they don't fully defeat it, they're definitely doing their worth. Other Warbear Rider coming over here. So yeah, if these guys here use up the rest of their ammunition and almost kill off these guys here, I'd consider that worth it. The great thing about these units in the later stages of the campaign is that they can end up with so much ammunition and missile damage that they basically become, like, really good at killing. Like, double missile strength. You can make them into a doom stack. There's so many resources that boost them. Oh, Legend Warbear Riders, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about Warbear Riders? <laughs> well, like, what are the Warbear Riders going to do? There's still the other one over here, but... You know, they can only kill so many Marauders. We outnumber them. Okay, now I don't expect the Chaos Warhounds to do amazing against uh, Warbear Riders, but we've damaged them by enough that it should be okay. Okay, 
Plus these guys go in there as well. Because don't forget, Warbear Riders are anti-large and Doggos are not large. So there we go, broken them. They've done some damage to us, but it has not been worth it. Get out of there. This is going to break. By our blood can be very useful for them, especially when we try to rely on morale shocks. Okay, now I need all my fast units to try to get around the back of their army. There we go, that should be going. Oh, they rallied a little bit. I can't move uh, these guys around because they're slower and weaker than the the Warbear Riders. Okay, one Warbear Rider is completely taken out. I do not think that that unit has done its worth. And that is a very high value unit that's very strong in order as well, especially with Boris. Now, with our monster units, we don't want to charge them in at the beginning because there's a lot of missile units. We need time to pin them down in, me in melee before they do any serious damage to us. There we go, stun move around the back. They've still got a Warbear Rider left. So they're probably going to wreck a whole bunch of our infantry. But that's okay. Just wait. Not yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's gifting one tier one sub to Legend Total Wars community. Thanks dude, appreciate that. Nice name. They're gonna get wrecked. It's okay. Oh, maybe not as much as you might think. Not any particularly good blobs of units here. Those ones, for some reason, they've just basically stopped doing anything. Keeping some of their, uh, know, those are cavalry, we can deal with that easily enough. Okay, Boris is definitely going down. We got this, victory's in our grasp, yep. And yeah, for some reason, this unit here is not doing anything. Pull back! Warriors of Korn! Die in Arcade Fire! 
Yeah, we got our monsters fighting in there. That's all going fine. These guys not fighting is working out really well for us. It's a bit of a mess. Get off so be it. If I do that, that might wake him up. I don't want that. Not particularly good targets with um, with this. I might hit my own units. We've almost killed Boris, and he didn't end up doing very much damage. Oh yeah, I've also got this. Should have been using that. Forgot about it. It's okay. No units got wiped out. And this is basically the end of Boris as a threat. But he's going to persist because we're going to vassalize him. <laughs> it just decided to not do anything. It wouldn't have been able to beat all of this, but yeah, there's didn't do anything. Here you go, Boris. Personal send off. There he goes. All right, he is never going to recover from this because those are the only war bears he'll ever be able to get. And that's why we wanted to fight him here, so that we could fight him in a settlement that, if we didn't wipe out his entire army, it doesn't matter. He can't escape. It's pretty much the earliest opportunity you can get him anyway. Hey Legend, I'm playing Vlad for the first time. Things are going fine, but no one like me. Am I doing something wrong or is this normal? Um, it's pretty normal. Have you tried being nice? Have you tried sucking the dick? <laughs> Oh my god. There's a few there's a few factions that works it with. Boris moves corruption while vassalized. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, why not occupy the settlement? Yeah, he does remove corruption, doesn't he? Hmm. Maybe I should wipe him out. Oh, who cares? We'll have other factions providing corruption. This will provide us corruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to counter it. We'll be able to counter it. It'll be fine. This is really good. Growth per region plus 10 after winning a battle. So good. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we want to make a few little transfers here. Corn goes here because we've got all authority, a lot more of it. Yep, yep, yep. And yep, and you can have doggos. You can be my doggo boy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Is it which? What uh, boost doggos? I don't see doggos in here. Or am I blind? Oh my god, doggos can't be boosted? Oh no, there they are. <laughs> Monstrous strength. Okay, so... Alright, that's actually pretty good. Okay, alright, yeah, 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 alright. You dare destruction for all! Monster strength. Yeah, I wouldn't have considered them monster units, that's all. Yeah. I, it's, it's a weird place, but I would have thought they'd be with the cavalry. It's all good. Yeah, there's like 100 messages now. It's monstrous! You gotta remember, guys, there's a delay. Okay. Archaeon's magic. I don't really like the Purple Son of Xerius that much. What are we, what are we eventually going to give him? Let's start planning ahead. So there's two Doomstacks for him. There's a shit Doomstack and a good Doomstack. The shit Doomstack is Chaos Knights. I've done, tried that before. It's okay. It's very micro-intensive. It doesn't really utilize his strengths that well. The Chosen Ones, way better. Way, way, way better. 
way more useful in a lot more situations. However, he's really the only commander that can actually make a Chaos Knight Doomstack work. So we could, we could do that. We could. Um, hmm. Why not both? Yeah, I don't know. All right. What about? What about? All right. Let's just let's go with Chaos Vanguard for now. Because I can always just respec him later. If I need to. Alright, any more units? No. Okay, cool. So we're we're losing out on money. If I was to disband all the doggos, it would be fine. It would be fine. We should probably go and sort out the Tower of Torment before we go over to Howling Citadel, because there's probably another army here. Right, yeah, there is already. We've got enough money to get through the next few turns. The salt, once that's built, that will that'll also increase income. Uh, Monolith of Bubonicus, I don't need that anymore. Let's give business. that to these guys. Where shall we raid next? The long ships are ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Okay. The tribe consents. So if they build that up, we should make a little bit of cash out of that. Need infernal march. Need to move faster. Okay, and let's move on. Aspiring champions. Um, well, Archeon doesn't really boost them. You can do that, for sure. You can do it. But he really boosts Chosen. So, yeah. What, what if, the thing is with Chaos, is that they've got so many good units now, that y you don't just have to get Dragon Ogre Shaggots. If Legend was going to do a Warriors of Chaos stream, I would have voted Big Daddy Kolek. Well, the problem with playing as Kolek is that you can't confederate the others, whereas I can confederate Kolek relatively early, which would give us access to Kolek. And honestly, playing him in Warriors and Archeon's faction is not really that different from playing him within his own faction. Why don't you give him a proper Doomstack like Aspiring Champions who would just click away from Chosen almost a mutant magic regen? A great adventure beckons. It's, it's up to you how you want to go about it. For while the potential rewards are great, so too... Yeah. You definitely can do Aspiring Champions. But I prefer to actually make use of his skill line. It's not like Chosen are totally useless, which is weird saying that after all those shenanigans with one or two. Um, okay. Hmm. Your defiance is noted. If I could, I would just send this guy here to sort it out, but he's not going to be enough, because they've already got 13 units in there. He won't be enough to beat it. Because I'd like to get over to here. That'll fix our financial troubles, which are well, not that big of a deal, but it is something. Okay, the big question here is, am I going to make it here next turn? I'm just not sure, because it's going to be right on the edge of my movement. But if I stay over in this area, I'm not going to replenish. I, I'm going to I'm gonna risk it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Plus, we'll get some Force March time on, so that we can get some extra camp over from range. Yeah, look, this will be fine. This will be fine. You'll dare give me all this. I'll probably have to fight that one manually as well. That's fine. This will also give us a tiny bit of income, because I do have a trade agreement. Let's see if there's anything else I can get. Can get a non-aggression back with Clan Fuckhead. Um, sorry, Ferric. You want me? I may be a feast of pain. The set. Yeah. I no. return. So yeah, I think I will vassalize him, even if he does end up causing a little bit of problems. You know, we gotta gotta be tolerant in our conquests and vassalizing. <laughs> Can't be intolerant. All right. Yeah, it should be fine. And plus, winning this battle here will probably give us a couple of grand. Alright, moving on. I'm new to Warhammer 2 3. What is a good way to deal with high armor units early game? Armor piercing! <laughs> um, Myrm uh, Myrmidon Leader 95, the $20 a bit chat. Been watching you since 5k, and always knew you would be bigger than Prince Air Lionheart EDC. Still enjoy everything you do. Drop legend. Uh, uh, <laughs> Enjoy everything you drop, Legend. Keep it up, mate. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Some full stops would have made that easier to read. It's all good. Yeah, I'll give you a heart. Man, watching me since 5k. That's quite a while ago. That means you've been watching nearly 10 years. 
Archeon so strong doesn't need a strong army. That's true. That's true. Maybe I will go with Chaos Knights with him. Your viewer voice is the best thing ever, man. I'm glad you like it. I wouldn't do it if you didn't like it. Legend, I don't like it. Alright. Yeah, he recruits pretty quick. And that could actually be a good thing for us here because the more units he has, the more loot we'll get out of it. But if this is auto resolvable, I'll probably do it. As in auto resolve it. Uh, okay, we don't want to be losing our experienced marauders. So we'll fight this manually. There's nothing. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of horse archers there. I don't see anything too troublesome here. Alright, whatever. Just. Just. Yeah, you know, just don't want to wipe out my units. Are knights good in Warhammer 3? Haven't played for months. Chaos Knights. They're okay. If you hate everyone equally, there was no discrimination. Yeah. No, people people will catch you on discrimination for that. Um, how do you play Scarsnet campaign? What do you recruit and which direction do you go? Nasty Skulkers. That's what you need to know, Nasty Skulkers. Learn how to use Nasty Skulkers correctly and it'll do you wonders. Yeah, the my green skin, or specifically Skarsnik play style, really, oh, it's minus minor of battle. Really uh, picked up once I uh, learned how to use Nasty Skulkers. They are very nice. Is he saying Nazi Skulkers? Oh my god, he's a Nazi! <laughs> Look, I wouldn't say this stuff if people didn't, if I didn't hear it from other people first. Okay, their reinforcements come from here. I don't think there's anything we need to be worried about. How good would it be if we could get a Crown of Everlasting Conquest nice and early? Right, how about you go and just charge in there, pin them down, and I'll pop this down so we don't have to waste troops. Because, yeah, well, he's on horseback, they won't shoot at him. Have I got blood on? Yeah. Why you never continue creating top 10 videos, Legend? I heavily miss them. Well, they were... Top, okay, this the top 5 and top 10 videos started dropping off in popularity. And I kind of ran out of ideas. Uh, Loon, subscribe to tier 1. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Or do that. White Slant, subscribe for 25 months. Sorry, became a member for 25 months on YouTube. Hey, Legend, love catching your live streams as always. Thanks, dude. Love seeing you here, as always. Appreciate you. Yeah, I kind of ran out of ideas for top 10 stuff. Um, I've definitely been thinking about redoing them because it's been it's been years. But yeah, sometimes you just run out of ideas. Like I can do top 10 obscure shit, but those videos didn't do so well. It's, it's like the the mainstream ones, like top 10 factions in this particular game. That stuff kills it. But I, I covered them all. Okay, the problem here is the Kislevite Warriors, I think, are doing a lot of damage. Can we get in here? Don't let Prince Olgrags die. He should be fine, though. He's doing a good job. Yeah, just sit there tanking, and we'll keep killing. Um, Micah T did a BGN5 super chat. The Eye of Shireen already told me you'll win, but I'll watch nonetheless. Okay, no worries, dude. Appreciate that. Probably should have put him on foot for this battle, in hindsight, because they got a lot of anti-large. So he's melee defense 57, Archeon's a 60. I'll pull him out of combat in a moment and send Archeon in. What about this guy? 
Because Archeon will be very difficult to kill. You go take a break. Got all this winds of magic, we don't want it to go to waste. This is a very good spell against Kosovite Dervishes. Not like there's anything that isn't good against them. I mean, you guys tell me, what is one unit in the game that is bad against Kosovite Dervishes? <laughs> Pretty much isn't one. Zombies, maybe. But even then, I reckon zombies still trade pretty well against them. Bounce power for bounce power. Their only real job is to run down broken units. Top 10 CA fuckups went. Oh, you know what I was going to do? Back in December, I was going to do a top 10... Oh no, I was going to do a tier list of um, Creative Assembly Apologies. Goblins? No, Goblins trade well against them. Skaven Slaves? Skaven Slaves are fine against them. Like, one Skaven Slave won't win against a Peasant Horseman, but a Peasant Horseman is worth more, and so they end up trading just fine. Because you got to think about it in terms of unit cost, right? Yeah, it'll, it'll defeat some units in the game in a one-on-one -on -one basis, but they cost more than, than some of those units. There's no unit in the game where they, like, deliver really good value. But yeah, I was going to do, like, a, um, a tier list of CA apologies, but I, I just sort of... I, a, a little Late last year, I kind of felt like I had just been smashing Creative Assembly down a bit too hard, and I was like, okay, and maybe it should reel back a little bit. And give them some breathing space, but I was going to do that. I was going to rate their apologies. Because <laughs> there's so many! There's so many apologies. That would have gotten good views, but I decided against it. Maybe next time they do an apology video, uh, just like an apology, maybe then I'll make that tier list next time they fuck up, because it's, it's going to happen again. It's not like Creative Assembly is now never going to fuck up again. As if. As if. So sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry we released the latest game in a really unfinished state. No, it, it, it won't be the next one, I don't think. They, they can't afford to have another bad launch right now. Surely them on Artie is a good trade-off? Yeah, I guess so, that's a good point. Unlike non-dwarf artillery. Thing is, if the artillery target them while they're charging in, most of the time the artillery will route them. So the artillery would have to be targeting something else. So Archeon's doing well here. And he replenishes pretty quickly, so this uh, thinning them out here will just make the rest of the assault a lot easier. And look, the bounce of power is actually still in their favor. It's, it's playing... Kislev music for some reason. Which is weird, it shouldn't be. We outnumber them. Alright, how about you have a break, Archeon, and let this guy go in. You think the continent of Ind will actually get finished? Okay, so I have got inside information now about what the DLCs are coming. Now, things are subject to change, but I can tell you right now that as of the current plan, there is no plan to finish Ind. So there is no faction pack of Ind coming. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not going to make something of an expansion into that area. But it won't be the faction of Ind. 
at least at this stage here. Now, there is a race pack still to come, apparently. But again, plans do change. Yeah, there is, there is a faction pack still to come. There is a faction pack still to come. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hmm. Why am I zooming in on this unit? I don't know. Sorry, race pack is what I meant to say. Which faction? I don't know. Yes, that's right. The Dogmen of Ind. That's the the race that's coming. The Dogmen of Ind. <laughs> At least that's the current plan. What I've also heard is that if Thrones of Britannia, Thrones of Britannia, Thrones of Decay doesn't do well, like it does really badly, that it that uh, DLC may get cancelled. So a lot's riding on Thrones of Decay. A lot's riding on it. So I hope it's good. Hope the content matches the price this time. Alright, definitely don't want you getting killed. You managed to get 81 kills on your own right, and Archaon's now got 600 kills. Alright, all of our single entities here are in a, you know, they're in a shape, they're a bit damaged. But we've done a fair bit of damage to them, so that's good. All right. All right, all right, all right. There's a lord over here. Oh, that's a Druzina. He hasn't done that much damage. I was thinking about maybe popping down some spirit leeches on him, but he's already used up all of his ammo. There's another Druzina over here. Yeah, whenever a faction gets a DLC lord that's kind of more powerful than the rest, they fucking spam them. You're just never going to see Boyars anymore. <laughs> this is going to be Drujinas. Alright, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Alright, Doggos are good at taking out Kossars. Alright, come round over this way. Yeah. You, you go around this way, because you've at least got Barrier. Do you know when we'll get the first look at Thrones of Decay? No, I don't have that information. Like, I get I get really vague tip-offs. Specific tip-offs? Tip that comes from CA directly. I don't get that kind of official information. I can only make rough predictions on that kind of stuff. Oh, oh, I tell you what I do have. I do, I do have. I can tell you four of the units that are going to be in the dwarf side of things for... Um, uh, Thrones of Decay. Okay, here are four units that will be added in Thrones of Decay. Dwarven Battle Barge, Mechanical Steed Mount, Marienburg Landship, Noln Ironsides. Now, that's probably not everything, but there's four units. Now, here's, here's a big test. If any of that's wrong, I'll know that my source is not what they say they are. <laughs> so, we'll see. So we'll see if I'm wrong about that. There's always a chance. I seem pretty confident.
That's not dwarf. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, hang on a second. That's not all. That's not all dwarf and stuff. So the first one was dwarfen. Yeah. So non iron side. That's not dwarfen. Yeah, yeah. You're right. So it's not four dwarfen units. This is four units from from Throne to Decay. Yeah, you're right. Didn't specifically say that they were all dwarfen units. Get in here. We're gonna get shot a little bit, but this barricade. Oh, look, it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> you put the barricade the wrong way, dude. That's a really weak entrance there. Why would they make it turn around this way? There's no incoming attack from this location. I gotta concentrate on the battle for us uh, for a bit, guys. Now. Okay, don't want to fight them. Don't want to fight them either. So we'll run down this way. The great thing here, what we've done is that they've already set up all their towers, so capturing these points with the doggos will mean that they, they can't rebuild the towers if they do recapture So this one here, they can't rebuild anything. So what we're doing here is we're sending the doggos around to go and capture all the points that are undefended now to get them to split up all their forces and also take out all the towers. Then we advance with the infantry. Because this is quick. And they're actually really good at capping points. Alright, we're out of magic now. So he managed to do 66,000 in damage, just about. Anyway, I hope that information is interesting to you. Just keep in mind as well, leaks don't matter. Like... Who cares? Some of the information may be wrong. It may be right. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to send these three to go and capture this point because they're still defended. And I'm going to have this one come and help it out a little bit. Get you guys out, because there's no easy to capture points here anymore. And that'll be just about every single tower destroyed. So that's good. Alright, these guys go pick off isolated targets that are trying to recap these positions. So there's a unit of Kossars over here. That looks pretty good. Let's go attack that. Nice and isolated. Hero. 
Alright, too many of them there now. Move out of the way. Come on, get out of there. Uh, actually, no, no, go. You've lured this one in a bit, a little, little bit. It's actually pretty easy to fight horse archers with doggos. Because they got, like, no combat stats. But uh, what I need them to do, actually, is pull through a little bit. Otherwise, it takes them too long to kill them. Through it. Yeah, they're not gonna pull through that unit, I think. At least they're not shooting at us. If they start shooting, we need to get back off. What are you doing? Alright, now we bring in the infantry, but keep the damaged ones in reserve. And bring in the monsters. It's fine to fight Kislevite warriors. These guys are not large. So they can't really use that anti-large against us very well. Get these guys to try to flank him, hit him in the rear. You know if the Nemesis Crown thing mentioned in the original roadmap is a little thing for Thrones of Decay? I haven't heard anything about it. I I'm assuming so, but I haven't heard anything about it. Good. Surround the unit. That's working out well. We're getting shot a little bit, though. Armored Cossars is definitely something that we don't want to fight. Oh, my doggos are having trouble there now. Biggest problem with them is their shit leadership. Their leader shit. Come on, move. Move, slow pokes. With Good, let's charge there. So far, so good. I think this guy's about to get into a bit of trouble, though. Can take a bit of damage. It should be fine. All right, doggos, go finish off their Drugino Lord. That's going to be really difficult to pull him out. He's really, like, messed up with that unit, though. Because they're not really focusing on him too much. I don't know if this is the commander or not. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Because there's two lords on this battlefield. He was not the commander. Okay, okay we're taking too much damage here. Pull him out. Go fight the horse archers there.
But Legend, you were so harsh on doggos in the past. Think you owe that apology? Uh, nope. Doggos are shit. It just depends on how you use them. And they're, look, they're useful in the early stages of the campaign, for sure. Now, in Warhammer 2, the reason why I didn't get them is because we needed a military building for it. But we don't need those military buildings anymore, so we just recruit whatever's available. The Bible is easy to get rid of with them. Okay, we're through here. They're a bit tired, they're just struggling a bit here. Try to counter charge wherever possible. Um, Giga Johnson in ISK 500 Super Chat. Can you say the units again? Okay. So, Dwarven Battle Barge, Mechanical Steed Mount, uh, Marienburg Landship, and Nuln Ironsides. Those are four units from Thrones of Decay that are coming, apparently. Okay, cool. Now, if any of those are incorrect, then I'll know that my source isn't particularly good. If they're all correct, then I'll know that my source is pretty reliable. So we'll see. It's a good testing moment. Alright, we need to get these guys out of here. Just finish up. Uh, Bradley 2 gifted a tier 1 sub to Kaiwur. And Bradley 2 gifted a tier 1 sub to Tinfoil Frog. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Hey, Skaven Dead. How's it going, dude? Good to see you. Okay, it's not that many units left. We should be able to inflict the army losses. If not, all I gotta do is cap this point, and it's over. Lacerate them! Guided by hunger! Actually, you guys just hold your ground. No, no, no. Uh, this position's gonna get captured, isn't it? Not if I charge back in there. <laughs> Let's see how they go. Now, faster! Popcorn became a member for 23 months. Coming up on two years. Also, just dropped in as you were naming some units. Were you referencing another leak? Yes. So just some units that are apparently coming in Thrones of Decay. I say apparently because it's a leak. It's not. I don't have like tangible proof, and I won't really know until it is actually announced. I mean, I feel like all four of those units are pretty good guesses for anyone that just knows the lore at all. We, we've inflicted the army losses, so we've won. Okay. Friggin' minor city battles. That was a big one, though. And we wiped out the reinforcing lord. Uh, Geroniax, subscribe with Prime. There's currently subscribed for two months, currently on a one month streak. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. That means you've subscribed back in like 2017 or whatever. I'm actually right in the middle of a This is Total War Archeon campaign right now. It's turn 122 and I have no defeats. AI seems to focus on vassals, so whack a mole for 70 turns. Hmm, that's cool. We'll see if I can get no defeats. I'm not going to try specifically to get no defeats, but we'll see. It's definitely possible with Warriors of Chaos. Do you think it's worth it now to skill the training skill for champions? It's not what I prioritize, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Alright, and this one we subjugate. Probably should have sacked it first. We got some more money. Oh well. Our finances aren't that bad. 
Did you just get casualty right food? That's pretty good. Alright, we're done here. We had to go sort out those Cornate guys. And the great news is now, every time I fight a battle, 10 growth, all provinces. So that's really handy. That means I don't need to get the Nurgle one to get it. Okay. Yep, get some extra gold. So 200 per turn. Ooh, that will be fine. Mm, could be good to get some um, exalted heroes. They're very good. Oh, we can now make them Zinch focused, can't we? Probably still prefer go Nurgle. I hope they add in Nurgle wizards here. Like you can dedicate the death one to Nurgle. That'll be really good. Come Thrones of Decay. I don't think we need to upgrade that because I'm not rolling around in shitloads of cash here. Just hold off on that actually. It's just not worth it right now. Once I got my finances a bit more under control, should be fine, but not right now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Chaos Vanguard would be good. And then Hammer and Anvil for your cavalry units. Does that also improve the Marauders? No, it doesn't. Marauders come in from Doomfire, don't they? Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm, I'm not going to keep them. Actually, what I could do with these, actually, is turn them into Chaos Knights. They need to get to... Marauder Horse Masters first. Yeah, it takes a little while to do that. Dominance. Can be done, though. Alright, I've done everything that I can. Let's move on. So, Path to Glory for him. Yeah, look, we can dedicate him to Zinch now. I still feel like Nurgle's the way to go. I'm not going to do it right this very second, because we would use up all of our souls. No Burning Head? Uh, I don't think Burning Head is as useful as it used to be. Do you really think they will cut support for Warhammer 3 if Thrones of Decay doesn't sell as well as they expect? That's what I've been told by multiple sources. I think the chances of that happening is pretty low. Because, you know, what are they going to do? Put all their eggs into Pharaoh? No. And there's no new Total War game coming for at least, like, a year. At least a year. So... I think they're going to try to make sure that Thrones of Decay is good. But, yeah, I can't predict the future. Hopefully the military presence is over here. Now, if that's the case, they could run down over here and try to capture this, which would suffer us a defeat. The only thing I could do is have this guy wait here. Because how useful are these going to be... They've got six units waiting in one of these regions. So there's could be 16 there. Archaeon's on Dorgo now, so that makes a big difference. He'll be a lot stronger. Um, more Doggos here for him. Yeah, I'm just not sure exactly where they're coming from. Okay, I should be able to manage this on his own. Come over here. Alright, well, I, now I know they're here. This has only got five units, so he should be able to do that. But he has to do it after we've captured the Helling Citadel, or else we can't subjugate them, because I want to keep them alive. Alright, well. It was monstrous strength, wasn't it? Okay. So that's good. Losing money. Alright, we got Infernal March. Next thing I want to do is probably start unlocking some of the the gifts. But which one? Nurgle ones are pretty good. There's some pretty good corn ones. Not a huge fan of the Zinch and Slanesh gifts.
I think I'll go with corn first. So, let's do dark diplomacy. Yeah, dark diplomacy and make our way up through here. Okay. The storm of chaos gathers. This is a scare tactic to get people to buy it? Probably. Go for regen. How so? Do you prefer to have your heroes on horses for sieges? It depends on what we're going up against, but sometimes, most of the time, yeah. Horses are not as bad of a mount as they were in Warhammer 2. Go Nurgle for regen. Regen is only for aspiring champions, of which we have none. I remember CA saying that Chaucer would be the last race added, but now your source is still otherwise. Um, no, 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 no. I don't think that's correct. I think that they said that that was the final army book to be implemented. I don't think they said it was the last race. So now they've got 12 units. Never stop. Um, they're going to have more Except corner more. units. Mm, okay. Alright. Alright. I think what we need to do here then is set up a trap because there's too many of them there. Are you a god? A glorifying act. Yeah, how about we do this? How about we do this? Um, you go into ambush stance. Need to get in a little bit closer, I think. None of this stuff is actually forest. Closer I get, the more likely we'll get detected. Because, yeah, we've got to capture this settlement here first. We need to draw them out. And what I could do is use this army here as bait in Force March. And if they don't take the bait, well, I'll just I'll just use both of these armies to attack them here. So let's just see if this works. Okay, I don't want anyone getting to here. I actually don't want to drag in my allies, but I can't join war via the all-seeing eye because I haven't met them. Oh, well, we're just going to have to see how we go. All right and see if they take the bait. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to go for it. Alright, moving on. What army book is there that's not a faction yet? Well, I don't know. I, I never got any army book, so I don't know. Man, how the fuck did he recruit an army that quick? Stop, stop, stop. I have to make sure. Oh my god. I did not want Boris capturing that settlement. I hope this works. Otherwise, I gotta get there before him. It'll still take him two turns from that distance. But I don't think I can attack that next turn either. They've taken the bait. Good. Nice! Discovered, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. Didn't ambush him, but that is all we need to do. Good. We should be able to capture the Howling Citadel, no problem now, just with Archeon's army. They were clearly going for this one here. Worked out well for us. This is why I didn't want to drag them in. I don't care about these ones. Okay, now. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to make it there. This is Alright, still a little bit of damage. I think we'll be able to order resolve this though. Yep, that's fine. 
Fuck fighting another siege. And occupy and vassalize. Good. Now the Tong are North back, but they don't have a settlement to go to yet. I was going to give them Port of Secrets. Alright. They'll probably try to come over to the Burning Monolith. What I can do is... I'll be able to capture that next turn on my own. Good, we're back in the green. Just slightly, but that's okay. And we need money. We don't need the growth building. Mm. Mm, it's only 10 growth. So, so we, we don't have a shitload. Of, uh, no, just do it. Uh, it's not a rush for us to, to sort this out. Alright, 12 of these units versus 5 of them. That should not be a problem. And then Archeon needs a few turns of rest. Okay, can I upgrade that? Need one more bit of experience. So if I want to can get training, it's an additional 10%, up to 30 extra. I'd much prefer to make this guy stronger for now. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we got some more cash so we can build... See, that'll increase our income here. It's not going to take us too long to get to tier 3. We're only 5 turns away. So let's get that one. So an extra 30% income here could make a big difference on our finances. Extra 300 gold. Vampire Coast also didn't have an army book. Yeah, look, look, I don't know. All I was, all I know is that um, I don't believe Creative Assembly ever said that they were done making race packs. They, they definitely said that during Warhammer 2, that there weren't going to be any more for Warhammer 2, and there weren't. And also, another thing to keep in mind is that Creative Assembly's word means nothing. It really, plans change constantly, and they're kind of a dishonest company in the first place. So, Read between the lines, don't take anything they say seriously, because it's all up for change. Okay. Wait, which one did I go with? Yeah, hammer and anvil, that's right. Alright, I think we're done there. Yep, okay, let's move on. What's my least favorite campaign? I feel like in Warhammer 3, there's very few campaigns I would classify as like my least favorite. Um, let's see. Least favorite campaign. I'd have to say Daniel the Demon Prince. I don't like playing demon dress up game. That's probably the most disappointing aspect of Warhammer 3 because like, I think the concept is an absolute winner, but the implementation of Daniel just fucking sucks. It's just awful. Archeon special line, why skip? Oh, uh, I wasn't skipping it, I was just finishing off the red line stuff, that's all. Dislike the ogres? I don't dislike the ogres that much. What about Eren's assault spot? Yeah, that's definitely one that I thoroughly dislike. Stop, stop, okay, good. This is one aspect of the vassal system that I really don't like. When they capture settlements that you don't want them to capture, and you can't just be like, give it back, bitch, you're my vassal. Like, you should be able to tell them to do that. Andrew Matthews did a 5 pence super chat. Is there any repercussions for having both order and chaos vassals? I'm sure there is a bit of a, a um, penalty. So if I have a look over here. Always ready for a headbutting. Yeah, contest. treaties with Urson Revivalist, minus 33. And if I go to Urson Revivalists, Revitalists, and they hate me for all the other stuff. It's going to be very difficult to get a trade agreement with these guys. <laughs> But they shouldn't betray me. Shouldn't being their keyword there. Will be dominated. A glorifying act. Attack. I thought Aranessa said Dark Elves and Zinch you don't like playing? Uh, Zinch is not one of my least favorite. Oh wow, that's really bad odds. Considering. I'll get some more doggos. Um, yeah, Zinch is not one of my least favorites. It's not one of my favorites. 
Um, Aranessa and Dark Elves are definitely my, some of my least favorite, but if you want to pin me down and say what's my absolute least favorite, I'd probably say Daniel the Demon Prince. Yes, my ruinous power! There should be a claim of settlement for allegiance points money. I agree, there should be. Alright, looks like we have to fight this manually. Okay, so that's one thing about this army here that makes it shit. <laughs> it's it's not good in order resolve. That being said, they've got three units here that we kind of will struggle against. But I, I think we'll be fine. It's just it's a Another thing to consider is that it's a siege battle, so they're giving them an order resolve boost, which doesn't make sense because it's a field battle, but whatever. Like, ever since Realms of Chaos, I haven't played Daniel the Demon Prince. Anything more than just checking it out. I haven't played a campaign, because I don't like it. It gets so boring super quick. There's just about nothing special about him. I just don't like him. His current implementation. You know, they could definitely fix him to be something more interesting. I reckon they really should increase his maximum potential, and it should take way longer to max out your um, glory. It's too quick. It's clearly designed for people who play on like normal battle difficult, normal campaign and fight like one battle every three turns. But for legendary, you just max him out sh almost straight away because of how many battles you fight and the size of them. So it, it's not balanced correctly. It makes it boring. I don't know why they did this. So yeah, those blood letters didn't trade well against doggos, yeah? Come on, hurry up. I need to get this one here to crumble. Okay, it's gone. Move back. Get someone just to feign attacks on them so they don't crash into us there. This one here did a fair bit of damage to us. Okay, that's all the demons, apart from their lord, dealt with. Now, the Chaos Warriors are a little bit difficult to deal with, since they've got so much armor. But we don't have a choice. We, that's all we got. And it's not like we've got no armor piercing. We've got three per successful attack. Plus, our poison attacks will diminish their ability to dish out damage to us, so that's good. Need to be charging constantly. Mm, doing a lot of damage. I'm just trying to escape there. Our lord's definitely beating the shit out of that demon, though. I find that the demons are not particularly. Like, demon lords are not that good at fighting. The corn ones. Without support, at least. Not good at dueling, I should say.
Who do you prioritize to confederate when playing as Arca and Bellicor? You want to prioritize the ones that can't be revived first. So Festus can't be revived. He usually survives a little while, so not that much priority. Azazel can be revived in a really weird location. Um, Sigvald can't be revived. And Village can't be revived. Everyone else can be revived, so you can get to them whenever. I usually find that Valkyrie does get killed by the time I get to her, but she can be revived. Um, Kolek, 50-50. Sometimes he's dead, sometimes he's not. He can be revived. Arkhound can be revived. Bellacor can be revived. I do recall you saying you don't like the Vampire Counts campaign now. Dep yeah, well, it depends. I don't mind Vlad. I don't really like Manfred. For some I just find Manfred really boring. The Chaos Hound stack is actually viable. Well, in the early stage of the campaign, it's fine, because they're just readily available units, and it's a unit that you can boost a fair bit. But, you know... Don't take it like this is the done thing to do. It was... These were just the units that were available. I'm gonna sack you first. Because I need money. And then I'll have your souls. Alright. That's good. We managed to vassalize everyone in the starting area here. So that is good. Alright, you need to catch up to Archeon now. And Archeon, his next stop is Zinch over here, who is getting fairly strong. He's at war with the Demon Prince. And we're not at full strength. Maybe I should just wait here another turn. Thing is, I just don't know where they are. So maybe if I send Ograx to go and have a look. Yeah, they're here. Ready. Well, our financial situation is better, so that's something at least. And it's about to be a bit better next turn. That's fine. That being said, Zinch early game units kind of suck, and he's only recruiting blue horrors. The reason I can tell it is because I don't have any military buildings. If I stand outside the settlement, punishment isn't that bad. Nine units and a full stack. The equipment that we've got so far is not amazing. Just to stand there another turn, get some more replenishment, and then we'll we'll fully replenish before we get there. Hopefully they'll move out. Because I, I would prefer not to fight really long sieges. It's just it's not the most fun thing to do in this game. Just hop from siege to siege. Much rather fight field battles. Problem is the field battles are the ones you can order resolve. All right, let's put in the growth building and just leave that one be. Would you kill Daniel or vassalize him? You actually can't vassalize him. Last time I checked, he can't be vassalized. So we have no choice. He has to be wiped out. All right. Erection of ruinous monuments. Yep, we'll go with the erection building. <laughs> erection technology. feel like that should be Slanesh focused. All right, let's move on. Not going for Kolek. Not first, no. I usually go after Sigvald first. I, I kind of did that last time. I went, I went that way. He can be vassalized. Hmm, last time I played it, he couldn't. Daniel can be vassalized, but only through diplomacy. Ah, right. Well, that would be... That would be it then. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, no. 
Greetings from Germany. It's always a pleasure to see you streaming. No worries, dude. Good to have you here. Is Boris your vassal? Yep. Alright. They've moved out of the way. Good, that's what I was counting on. And did they get killed? Yeah, they got killed. Which means that Daniel the Demon Prince is probably going to capture it, which is fine. 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 Okay, you go into this. I'm already at max magic anyway. I should have increased my income by 300. Why didn't it? It, it definitely did over here. Hmm, don't know. Uh, King of U212 did a $10 super chat. Hey, Legend. I have a problem enjoying my campaigns more than like 70 turns now. But in Warhammer 2, I could go for hundreds. Why is this? What's the solution? Mods, different playstyle. What caused this? Um, I don't know, dude. I have the exact same problem. I don't think... I can't remember the last time I played a campaign past turn 100. Except for the, um, the Empire campaign that we went full map completion on. Yeah, I have the exact same problem. I don't know the solution. It could also just be you're fatigued because Warhammer 3 is not fundamentally that different from Warhammer 2. But there are some systems in it that are downgrades from Warhammer 2. Um, try and play a different game for a little bit. Vassals are raiding you. Oh, right. Well, that's weird. Oh, he's got nowhere to go. Right. <laughs> Vassals raiding me. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that, that would explain why I didn't make the money that I was supposed to. All good. Alright, all good. Let's move on. See if we can snatch that before Daniel does. Damn, Daniel. You just lost half your fucking army doing that. <laughs> Because you recruit some doggos. No, I didn't recruit any new doggos. I mean, I did before that battle. Play some Paradox games, that's how you solve Total War Burnout. Yeah, that's probably what I recommend. Yeah, just play something else. Like, if, if, you're, if you're fatigued with Total War, like, I don't blame you. It may be time for you to just, like, give it a... I'm not saying uninstall it and then riot... Firebomb Creative Assembly. I'm saying you don't have to just play one game. This is something that I've learned recently as well. There are other games. There's actually really good games that have come out recently. I'll give you some... When I say recently, I mean the last, like, five to ten years. Here are some Total War alternatives that might you might find interesting. Um, for me, Anno 1800. I play a lot of Anno 1800. Rift Breaker. That's a game that I like to play. Um, most Paradox games I think are pretty good. Millennia is good. Well, yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> it's It's got a lot of negative reviews, but those are because of people um, not being able to play multiplayer, understandably, but I think the single player is good. Um, which is the only thing I play anyway. Um, Factorio. Satisfactory. Pal World. Check out Pal World. Um, I'm not going to recommend anything that I haven't played. I know some people will say Helldivers too, but I haven't played it. But yeah, there's a lot of really amazing games at the moment. You definitely don't need to just play Total War. T like, take a break, come back in a few months. Things will likely not have changed, but <laughs> you know. Is that you, Daniel? Yeah, it is. Yay, bonus for relation against Kislev. Okay, yeah, I don't want them getting involved anyway. Hmm. I mean, I was going to attack you, but if you're just going to, like, give me money to go to war with them, you're, you're down to your last settlement, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. That seems like a pretty freaking good deal. Do I get souls for this? So... 2948. 
Yeah, yeah, we can vassalize him this way. Let me see if I can do this. No, that's not gonna. He's winning. He doesn't care. Um. Not that I would want to vassalize Daniel right now, and that means you don't need to go that way. You can stay here and help us out with this. This might even be auto resolvable. It's already rank 15, though. Yeah, this looks auto resolvable. He has two settlements. Uh, says one. Said one. Um, yeah, okay. Um, Baba Dewey did a two-year submission. Have you tried Age of Wonders 4? No, I haven't. I haven't played that yet. Would like to give it a shot, but I haven't played it yet. if I should fight this manually. How much barrier does he have? Not much. Because, yeah, I could probably spirit leech him. Oh, he's got a lot of spell resistance. What's the siege map? I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight a 40 minute battle. Yeah, we're going to take some damage. We'll, we'll recover pretty quickly. We will not betray chaos. I'll have this world. Come. I presume you seek to survive this world's annihilation. Okay. Hey, Legend of War, would you ever consider streaming Millennia? I'm definitely thinking about doing that. We'll see. Um, Balzas Benedek did a 1000 HF super chat. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Okay. Thanks for the support. All right, so that's good. Get that. And. Yeah, I still want to focus on him being stronger. I think it's important. Destruction for all! Now is chaos! Hmm. That seems pretty important when you're using That's units that run around all over the place. Okay. So we got three dark fortresses now. That's good. Give me some money. I'll hold off on the doggos for now. They're pretty good against demons, though. Alright, so let's plan this out a little bit. Volcano Heart should be handed over to the Tong. There's no resources here. Same thing with Tower of Flies. Apparently, somebody said Tower of Flies can actually revive a minor Warriors of Chaos faction. Um... Probably not worth trying to do that at this stage. I'm just going to give it to the Tong. Because they wouldn't give us any more money than the Norska. Actually, the Norska would give us more. Yeah. Alright, cool. And nothing else to do here. Let's move on. Any leaks on Siege update reworks? Race reworks? I've heard nothing about that. Sorry. Fighting Daniel is annoying as Archeon because he doesn't give you souls, even th if there are mortals in his army. Yeah, that's a good point. That's why it's good to have lots of vassals. That way, you're at least passively gaining vassal. Uh, uh, sorry, passively gaining souls while you're fighting him. Which I think we're we're gaining more souls than we're losing per turn currently. But yeah, you are right. Don't forget to upgrade your units. That's right. Yep, I should do that. What benefit? Get Archeon from Vassals. 
Gets a whole bunch of benefits. If I hover over this, it should tell us. Research rate, 10% per vassalized faction. Diplomatic relations with demons, warriors of chaos, beastmen, Norska for each vassalized faction. Souls, plus 25 per turn from each vassalized faction. So if you have a look here, we are currently gaining 150 souls and spending 100 per turn. Bowser's Benedict became a new member, and Sly became a member for 46 months. Just finish your friends, no defeat run. Such an incredible series. Cheers to your victory. Have a great stream. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. How do you revive Chaos Factions? Wouldn't Rebellions just be generic Chaos Re Rebels due to corruption? No. Um, the Rebellion based on corruption thing, they kind of got rid of that. Okay, I can reach that one. Alright, if I upgrade any of these units right now, they'll probably deprive me of movement. So you just get to the side there. I might send you to Volcano Heart. I have 1% movement left over. I need to get out of this region, it's costing us magic. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. If I order resolve, I lose some precious doggos. Wait. <laughs> For some reason, that banner was giving us a worse order resolve. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. There's nothing in here that we need to be worried about. Absolutely nothing. They got no winds of magic. It's mostly just melee infantry, mostly. All right, we'll fight it manually. That way we can minimize damage, I think. Who's better in your opinion, Arcane or Bellacore? Oh, they're, they're both equal in different ways. So, Bellacore is better for building variety types of Doomstacks because of him not having a limit to how many gifted units he can have in an army. Meaning that Colex Sun Eater is best in Bellacore's faction. Um, but Archeon is the master of vassals. The, the amount of benefits he gets from vassals is way better than Bellacor. In terms of who's a better melee fighter, definitely Archeon. Who's a better spellcaster, definitely Bellacor. So, just depends. Bellacor's size will work against him as well. Let's see, no. I wish I had the Eye of Shireen, that would have been good. Come on, click it right. Alright, where's their lord? I think I might spirit leech him. Oh look, they've got this unit. This is really good for getting rid of Chaos Furies, because they're all just condensed into one area and then bomb them and that just pretty much deletes them. The corn ones obviously have spell resistance, so that could answer if that's so easy. Have to really stay on top of this if we want to get rid of them using Spirit Leech. Because no spell resistance, but they can regenerate their barrier. So I gotta keep on this now. Oh wow, I actually got through the entirety of the barrier. Nice. Killing their lord nice and early is especially good when dealing with demon factions, so you can get them disintegrating a bit earlier. Okay, let me through, 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 and you let me through. So this is so far going pretty well. Get at him. Try to get out of that. 
charge them! My blade hungers! Archeon! Charge them! Damn doggos, they're trying to keep me tied down so I don't kill their lord. I could use Searing Doom to pretty much get rid of all these guys in one go, but we've almost gotten rid of White Raven here. It's not like uh, he can't melee through this. Sounds good. Come on, come on. Just need... Yeah, good enough. And like I said, the doggos are pretty good against demons because they don't have armor. Did he die? Oh, he must have overcasted that spell. Crap, I should probably focus on this now. Pretty good timing then, because they're all going to be in poor morale now. Men of the Lord, the whole surges. Charge! The Dark Lords command me, seeking Slanesh's embrace. Oh shit, what happened over there? Well, they're still alive, I just wasn't paying enough attention to it. Alright, that looks like pretty minimal damage. Their army's gone. Right, get out of here. Careful. Those guys are very annoying to fight. Oh shit, this took a lot of damage. Get the cycle charge in, just do some damage. Let's get Archeon over here, Spirit Leech them. There we go, good stuff. Yeah, make sure we kill them, because that'll be worth a fair bit of loot. They always give me the shits, these units. Would you make Ograg Zinch Hero or Niggle... N N N Near a girl? Oh my god. <laughs> Nurgle hero. Um, I would make him Nurgle. Oh my god. I didn't say it. He misspelled it and then I misread it. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. It was close, okay? It was close, but I didn't say it. Wasn't even a word. It's not even a word. It's just close to being a certain word. That's all. It's just, you can't even say anything that's close to that word. I get it. 
<laughs> that wasn't intentional, sorry, bro. That's okay. It's, I, I know it wasn't intentional. The problem is, you misspelt it, and I always read out the misspells, but I misread the misspell, and it came out pretty damn close to being bad. So, it's just a... It's alright. I don't think it, I don't think it'll... You know, it was an accident. been banned for 400 days on Twitch. <laughs> we'll see. They will be dominated. All right. We should go to here. No, I can't reach that in a single turn. I think we should split up. We'll send Archeon down here. Actually, I might be able to make it if I move down to here. I don't think they're going to do anything to us. That way we're still in allied territory. And you... You go to Volcano's Heart. I don't think anything's going to attack you. And we'll... Alright, we also need to get some upgrades here. Just basic Chaos Warriors with shields would be best. Because if we're going up against... Any Zinch units will definitely want his shields. Then I can have that much armor. No, uh, no, so well. Um, yeah, just go with regular Chaos Warriors. And these ones, they're not ready for being chosen yet. Alright, let's have a look here. So reduced upkeep cost for Chaos Warriors is good. Warbane upgrade cost for undivided units. We should have done that first. So that'll save us some money for now, but it's not what we need long term. Money's fine. That'll be good. Don't need it right now. That'll be good, but we don't need it right now. Oh, we need to get all four of these anyway if we want to ascend to Demonhood. So might as well do this now. Make a bit of money out of it. Hey Legend, do you play only vanilla or any use mods? Or ever use any mods? Sometimes I use a couple of mods. I'm not I'm not super heavy on the mod scene. Usually just a light touch on my campaigns. Alright, what do we want to do with you now? Make you a bit stronger. The gods smile. It shall be. Good. Alright, that's all looking good there. And we're trying... Hang on. Let me look here. So, maximum active gifts would be good for Chaos Undivide. Also, all authority. And that actually... That technology works. So, that's good. Uh, uh, What's it called? Causes fear for aspiring champions and undivided chosen units. That's pretty good. But if we go this way. Yeah, let's get Demonic Pack first. I think that's going to provide us a lot of benefit. All right, we'll do that first. Okay, I don't really need to upgrade that. Cool. Let's move on. What changes when you ascend to demonhood? Okay, so being a demon makes you unbreakable, sort of. It also gives you 20% physical resistance. Now, for Archeon, who already has a lot of other resistances, that can be very useful. There are some instances where being a demon is not helpful, so if you go up against anything with magical weapons, being a demon isn't particularly useful. It also means that if you ever get army lost, and you can't retreat off the battlefield, your lord is dead. Not permanently, but, you know, gone. For now. Typically speaking, being a demon is not so bad. 
Do you think we'll get Fortnite? Don't know. It wasn't on my leaks, so it might be coming in. That being said, I don't have a full list of, of what units are coming. Alright. So, with 15 units there, and our 15 damaged units, if you want to be able to take that on, you're going to need a lot of dogs. I really feel like it should be the other way around. It makes sense what they did, though. Yes, my ruinous powers. Why not recruit the other units? Maybe I will. We'll see. Let's just get over here and have a look first. It's definitely going to say order resolve defeat. I just want to see what those units are. We can win that. Let me just see if there's any more dogs here. Gotta get my dogs of war going, if you know what I mean. Bring them to ruin. No more dogs. Could hire some of these units. I reckon I could win that. Could also send Archeon to come and assist. Attack. We've got five damaged units. We outnumber them by three units. It's basically evenly matched if you merged all together. I am pleased. I only obey blood father. I can win this. I can win. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I want to do a risky battle because I think I can win. Because yeah. Doggos are good against everything except for this dude here, that one there, and that's it. Everything else we can smash. Maybe that was once a bit, a bit of a struggle, but they're not good against us either. All right. Okay. Legend is cheesing again with a dog doom stack. This is not cheesing. Nostaroy, subscribe with Prime. Just subscribe for two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. What about the corn demons? No, no, they're easy to deal with with doggos. We've already fought corn demons before. It's fine. Alright, we just need to get them charging at us. Break up their formations. Alright, first thing, let's just get these units here to hang back, just for now, because they're damaged. No spell casting for us today. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep, come after me, boy. Yep, 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 yep. This is good. They're like, we're anti-large and you're large. Yep. Oh, you got me, boy. You're such a good unit. Oh, shit, that did a lot of damage. Second cooldown. It'll be dead by then. I command him. Okay, move back before they do it again. Okay, that unit definitely did not do its worth. That's a really good start. Really good start. It's better I can't heal my dogs. Speed. 
You know, one of the, I think, best new soundtracks added in Warhammer 3 is actually the Demon Prince soundtrack, and I so rarely get to hear it. I reckon it should be the Chaos Undivided soundtrack, because you just hear the, the Chaos music across so many different factions. So this should be Archaeon soundtrack as well, I think. Just any, any faction that's undivided. That's what I think. Otherwise, it's a cool soundtrack you just don't hear very often. There's like 10 different races that just play the generic Chaos soundtrack. And they got rid of the old Chaos soundtrack, which I don't really care that much about. That wasn't the best. But that's a case of lost content from Warhammer 2 to 3. But again, not that big of a deal. They've already lost two units pretty cheaply for us, which is good. Dampen is not that useful. Daniel's soundtrack is unique because it's mostly a corrupted Kislev soundtrack. Yeah, but it's cool. And we don't get to hear it that much. Hey, the Wood Elves get the Lizardman soundtrack. And that one's not that great. Wouldn't it be cool if in Thrones of Decay they give the Empire and the Dwarfs their own soundtrack? I doubt it. I would like each of, each of the races to have their own soundtrack. There are some races that get their own, but not all of them. All the Warhammer 2 factions got their own race soundtrack. So just get their attention, get rid of... Whatever units we can, as cheaply as possible. I can't get them to just rush at us completely because we don't have any magical missiles attacks. Is this a new meta army? No, it's just... I just ended up recruiting a lot of dogs because that was available. And I just put them all into one army and just seeing what I can do with them. Like, any army can be a doom stack, except for rail, uh, Grail Relics, if you know what you're doing. Taking these guys out. Minimal damage, that's good. guy's getting a lot of value for us, which is good. I just, I can't flank these guys because they're marked on the edge of the map here. Otherwise, I would totally send my guys in. Let's just see how we go here. Is a shit in melee. Just get through their barrier. Alright, I'm going to send some guys up over here. Need to send some more because we're sure about this. We do not want to be fighting so close to the edge of the map. That is not ideal. What are these? Just marauders. Good, we got some of these guys 
breaking. That's good. You need to get out of there before you get flanked. Okay, get that guy out of there. Careful, do not route to the edge of the map. That is not good for our low morale units. Get them out, get them out, get them out. Get them back. Get these guys back. Come on, dude. Why, what are you stuck against? Why aren't you doing your fu what you're fucking told? Skip shit. Come on, move, 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 move. Shit. That dude, that one's probably gonna break. Take this one out here. Okay, none of our units have left the battlefield yet. I think we're doing okay. That dude there got a, quite a few hits on us though. Shit. Okay, just get out of that. That thing's gone anyway. Good. It seems like they're sort of coming out of their comfort zone now. We want to fight them more in the center of the map. Close to the edge is not to our favor. be going after the blue horrors because they're easy to kill. So that one rallied. Start playing our music now. Alright, let's go for the blood letters of corn because they're isolated. Do not want to be fighting so close to the edge, especially with a damaged unit. You fall back a little bit. Make sure our general is close to anyone that's getting into melee there. Oh god. I know these guys are anti-infantry, but... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It's still worth it. Yep, we got it. Get him out of there. Okay. Down there, keep moving over this way. Let's go take these ones out. So that one took a fair bit of damage, but that's okay. Because, yeah, we need him close by so that he provides morale for our doggos. Because they can win in a straight-up fight, but they're fucking garbage morale. Carefully don't fight that guy. them back. It's not working out so well there. Trying to want to avoid blobs of their infantry. Dogs have pretty good pull-out game as well, which is nice. I think we got this. I think we got it. Alright, that one there didn't do too much damage, that's good. Okay, most of their demons are gone now. Yeah, we got this. We got this. They don't have enough units to resist us now. Got him. Okay, well, how do you guys felt that went with the dogs? Considering it was an order resolve defeat, even roughly even numbers. Minimal casualties. Well, considering what we've gotten, what they had. Okay. 
say so. Also, the more experience these doggos get, the better. Dog sandwich, motherfucker. Yep. I would never eat a dog sandwich, by the way. Uh, Blackstark996 subscribed with Prime. They have subscribed for two months currently. Enjoying your recent Empire No Defeat campaign. Thanks for the content. Good luck with the baby. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. <laughs> Legend uses an army chat. Oh my god, new Doomstack. <laughs> yeah. I give it K9 out of 10. Fair enough. What do you dislike about the Dark Elves? I'm currently playing Lockyer campaign, having a lot of fun with it. Okay, well, Lockyer is my favorite of the Dark Elves, so that's not really a fair e example. I actually quite like playing Lockyer. I don't like the slave mechanic. I just don't think it's fun. We will reclaim it's not as bad as it used to be. I don't know, like, Dark Elves, they just, they just don't tickle me f my fans with it much. I don't hate them as much as I used to. Um, but... They're just not one of my favorites, that's all. And I don't think they're one of your favorites, it, speaking in general. You guys' favorite, either. Why don't we do a poll? Do a bit of a poll. Everybody loves a poll. Okay. Are Dark Elves your favorite? That's all. Let's see. The research tree can give them gore feast, right? Uh, actually, I'll have a look. Maybe. So, no, just gift it to them. Alright, he... Oh. All this world will blacken and die. You and your followers mm. are not... You can vassalize him. It. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Alright, well... Well, well, well. If we're gonna vassalize him, I think we should try to take the Forest of Decay. It's not a, um... It's not a dark fortress, but it does have medicinal plants. Let's leave him with one settlement. There'll be a reckoning. Can't have an end times without Daniel. Yes, so. Alright, I think it's going to take me two turns to get there. Yes, my ruinous powers. Yeah, okay, that's actually a good question. That's a, that's a better poll. Okay, so I wasn't expecting with any faction that 100% of you would say yes to that. This is a good question. Start a poll. Are Dark Hills better in Warhammer 2? Hang on. Do you like Dark Elves more in Warhammer 2 or Warhammer 3? Okay. You just tell me which game you think that the Dark Elves play better in. So for me personally, I'd say... Uh, Warhammer 2. And it's not based on which you think is stronger, because it's obviously, objectively, Warhammer 2. It's about what you prefer in terms of playstyle, Warhammer 2 or 3. What's different about Warhammer 3 Dark Elves? Quite a few things, but you know, if you've played them a lot in Warhammer 2, you'll notice the difference in Warhammer 3. Okay, so for this guy here, yeah, let's let's make him a bit stronger. He's good for tanking, and then having these guys come in and pop in the flank. Alright, money's looking okay, nothing fantastic. No, don't bother about that, that's an unnecessary building soon. Lead. Take what's theirs. Yep, Enter then. Are you after Hang them up. Fathers. Chaos. Alright. 
All looking good. All right, moving on. What are your plans for Archeon's army? Any compositions you want to try out? I'm leaning to either go Chosen Spam or Chaos Knight Spam. One of the two. I'm just not sure yet. So, we've currently ca had 800 votes and 74% say Warhammer 2. I think that's pretty conclusive. And that's exactly been my point about the Dark Elves. Is that they play they're just more fun in Warhammer 2 than they are in 3. Now, I imagine that some people always like to vote against whatever I say just because they're fucking trolls. And the fact that those people still lost by a pretty big margin, I think that's a big deal there. And that's basically all I've been saying about Dark Elves all along. It's not like they're weak in Warhammer 3. They're not weak. They were overpowered in Warhammer 2, obviously. But whenever I play Dark Elves in Warhammer 3, I'm just like, I'd rather play them in Warhammer 2. At which point, why play them in Warhammer 3? Just why? Because the map is bigger. What's the point of having a big map if you don't play like 20 turns in a campaign? So it's this one. And that's the five turns. Hmm. So I do have somebody to mark up. Ograx. But it's sometimes good to have emergency units. We're eventually going to be rolling around in souls, so who cares? Just grab this. Brother Humaya did a 30 SAR super chat. Hi, Legend. What would make Chaos Dwarves more fun for you? You don't seem to cover or enjoy that much. No, I, I do like playing Chaos Dwarves. I think they're fine. Um, I don't know. I, I like playing Chaos Dwarves. I don't know what we're talking about. I think they're I think they're quite good. I actually have no real complaints about Chaos Dwarves. Yes. Uh, if we could get a tiny bit of replenishment, that would be good. Leave me to my manipulation. Oh yeah, he is getting pretty close to wanting to be my vassal. Hmm, interesting. Warriors of Chaos can't revive confederated tribes. Any idea if this is a bug or as intended? It is as intended, but it's just wonkily implemented into the game. Just wondering, do I really need this 20 growth building? Probably not. Let's get rid of that. There's other buildings that I like to get. Alright, what else is there? Yeah, once they get to tier 3, get rid of this one. Because we get growth pretty consistently because of this, which will just increase over time as we get more and more armies. Yeah, I still want to devote this guy. Actually, you know, don't stop telling me about Path to Glory. I understand how it works. Uh, shit, actually, you go. You, you go back a bit. Don't worry about your winds of magic. You need to replenish your doggos. Any more doggos available? Yep. There you go. Can recruit it next turn. Now we got money. There we go. Attempting a first no defeat campaign. What faction would you suggest that is fun and good for a first time? Beastmen. That's what I would recommend. I like beastmen. I think they're good. They don't do well for views, but I enjoy beastmen. Beastman rework is my favorite re rework that they've done. Then I would say Warriors of Chaos rework. Those are two top grade reworks. It doesn't seem like they're doing any more reworks, which kind of bothers me a little bit. There's definitely some factions that could use a rework. I have heard rumors of a Norska rework, but it's way down the track. What is the best Chorf magic lore to support Gobbo stack? Little Wa, I'd say. Yeah, Itchy Nuisance. Really good. A 
Little Wah, Big Wah, and Death Magic are all, all pretty good. Unit experience, character experience. Ooh. Right now, let's get character experience. It's more important than our units at the moment. I'm sure some people go, No, I got unit experience. Yeah. I figured that they would run away. Hmm. Have I still got movement left? Ah, oh, piss. Okay, hang on. Um. Oh shit, he might. Yes, he makes it. Good. Lucky me. Cool. Repairing that is not essential, it'll repair on its own. And yeah, I want that medicinal plant. That's pretty good. Casualty replenishment rate for Marauder units is useful because you want to be upgrading them, and you can't really upgrade them if they don't fight in battles because they're damaged. And plus, you can sell the five medicinal plants. Now, this region here makes no money, so just turn off the taxes. Now. Are you ready to be my vassal? Good, the amount of money that I sacked here allows us to make him a vassal. It'll also pull him out of these wars. What, hang on, what if I offered to join war against Hag Grief? I can get money out of him instead. I mean, that's our next target anyway. I just won't get the jump on him. Yeah, that's fine by me. They'll probably come down here, over here and finish him off, though. Possibly. It depends if he gets pulled into this war. I'm not sure if he will. Yeah, I'll do that. Excellent. Yeah, he didn't get pulled into the... Poor, oh, bloody lucky, dude. Oh, that's an admiral. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, we actually do have the demon prince as a vassal. How about that? Fucking Daniel. Alright, next stop, Black Cock. I mean, Rock. Oh my god. <laughs> I did that deliberately. Yeah, we got a good amount of money out of that. That was a good deal. And we've vassalized him as well, so that's great. What will I make him do? He'll just passively give me souls. You gotta... You gotta, um... You gotta pay the troll toll if you want that boy's hole. So, Nurgle works for us. Gro growth is not a big deal. Here. Probably gonna fight you at some point. No escape. Same thing with you. Oh, what? Yeah, I only really like to do diplomacy with vassal factions. What? All right, let's have a look here. Yeah, giving him all authority. Yeah, there's all authority, all armies faction wide. If you have all of his armor, all four of them. So yeah, Demonic would give us more physical resistance. That'll be useful, for sure. He's got flaming attacks, so Kindle Flame is useful. Um, I don't have any highly experienced units, so I don't need to go down there so much just yet. I can't recruit any of those just now. I don't have any of those. Actually, no, I do have one. Okay, I'll go with that. Got this one. Do I even want this unit? Let me have a look. 
I could eventually upgrade it to a Chaos Knight of Slanesh, I suppose, because this one here is a bit squishy. These guys here, they're they're ready to upgrade to Marauder Horsemasters, some of them. That is definitely a better unit, for sure. Let's do that. Both of them can do that. Okay, that's good. And that can make our way towards Chaos Knights. Which is good. Alright, he's got his full stack of... Yep. Okay. A glorifying act. I'm pretty sure I wrote it correctly. Upgrade the trolls. <laughs> Armor trolls. Nah. No. I. Uh, um. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. Spirit of Walker. Okay, I might get rid of the spawn of Nurgle in exchange for Marauder Horsemen. If we're going to get knights, we better get started. I don't really have anywhere that I want to put this, so bye-bye, you're gone. And they're going to be friggin' useless against Dark Elves anyway. Uh, Roy Chamel, I hope I got that right, did a 5 year submitted. Hi Legend, how are you doing? Love the content as always, cheers from France. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate that. Yeah, I'm doing well. Um, Jonas Boggy -bog did a 5 year super chat. Uh, keep it up, love what you're doing for the community. Alright, I'm glad it's appreciated. I appreciate you as well. Alright, I think we're good here. Yeah. Anything else we gotta do? No, we're good. Moving on. Yes, it's a Game of Thrones reference. So, one of my favorite characters in Game of Thrones, and it should be your favorite character as well, is Sandor Clegane, the Hound. Sorcerer Hero building finished a million years ago. Yes, the reason I constructed it was not necessarily to recruit heroes, because I don't have a heap load of money, but to increase my income, that's all. Because it gives you 30% extra in that province. I will eventually get some heroes, but right now, finances are like, eh, not that great. And I've got Archeon as a um, spellcaster. Why is he your favorite? Have you not watched the show? <laughs> you got it spot on? Oh, nice, nice. I'll eventually get this stuff. Whatever. Alright, if he's out of our range... Okay. Sagar Saxena did a 1,000 rupee super chat, I think. Troll toll. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. That's generous. Why is Boris still alive? He's a vassal. You will be for the I subjugated him, and he's given me souls for my hole. No. How strong is he? I know your equal strength. Okay. Short 
All right, thing to keep in mind is that if we want to get outside of the range of Admiral Leech, we have to be fighting over here. Well, we have to draw him out over this way. That is unlikely to happen. Keep paying your respects to me. And few. All right, here's what we do. Ambush stance with this one. Where? Try to look for the highest success chance possible. No good amp. Oh, hang on. Over here, we've got... I saw it. 70... Oh, right. In unpassable territory. Hang on, hang on. That's 70% right there. Alright, being on a chariot in this instance, very much detrimental. Go on a Chaos Steed. Because a chariot is going to get fucked by Dark Shards. As if he doesn't have like 10 of them. Whereas on a horseback, not so much. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is that he'll just go attack us. Because he won't be able to see Archeon. Because depending on the type of terrain you go into Ambush Dance and the distance between the, uh, the characters indicates roughly how much chance you have of getting pulled out of ambush. Now that being said, this army here should not be able to make it to the Forest of Decay because we're actually blocking the entire path, but he should attack us. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what else we got going on? We got a good amount of money. Yep. And yet we got that going. That's good. So yeah, the primary reason I built that was the 30% extra income. I will eventually get heroes. We're not making crap loads of money at the moment. It's not urgent. Then usually go with the blue line stuff first because... Hang on. This one's alright. We can get extra money from our vassals that way, plus extra control. And I'm in no rush to get these other buildings sorted because they're a little bit on the expensive side. That'll probably yield better results. Okay. All good. Let's move on. Colin Froyku did a... I'm sure I got his name wrong. Um, 10 RO and Super Chat. Why did you vassalize Boris? Can he break the treaty? Well, he so far hasn't, so let's see if he ends up breaking the treaty. I don't think he can. Usually vassals stay your vassal, but we'll see. Oh, but I... But you don't get... Oh, we did... No, we didn't. Wait. Okay, cool. He didn't ambush him. I wasn't expecting to... Oh, he's a fucking dark conduit. Son of bitch. Okay. Oh my god. That order resolve is totally unacceptable. Oh my... Oh my... Oh my... Dick in the butt. What the fuck is this army? Okay. Will Fry subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for two months. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Appreciate your support. Yeah, well, that's a lot of crap in his army. So he still has Dark Conduit, so they can still do a lot of damage that way, but we can get them to waste that ability. He also has Black Arc abilities. Yeah. Okay, so what I want is Archeon to delay as long as possible. Take ages to come onto the battlefield. Because it'd be more difficult to dodge with that stuff. And they're higher value units. Uh, Rhino Meister did a five year super chat. Hey Legend, I'm a long time follower. I really appreciate the content. Also, what's your favorite Doomstat to use in battles? Most fun, not the best. Weapons teams. Skaven weapons teams. Thanks, super chat. Weapons teams are so much fun. Because if you use them right, they're just, they're just, they're just majestic. So what's this? Scourge Runner Chariot? Okay. That's not going to work. Okay, how much armor does this have on? 80. Okay, let's bring it up. Mortals, 
Oh, I'm fucking close range shooting meat. Because, yeah, these are fairly quick, aren't they? Yeah. Shit. Let's do another damage. I think they used some abilities on this. Okay, good. They've, that's their first one used. God damn. Yeah, Scourge Runner Chariots are a pain in the dick. We'll back off. Oh shit, 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 shit. I thought I told you to move back as well. Yeah, you should be able to easily outrun thingy. Woof. Hasn't gone fantastic to begin with. Speed? 85. But that's because of this ability, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we should be able to outrun him. God. So yeah, we use up all of his army abilities as much as we possibly can with the Doggo army before Archeon shows up with his m less mobile army. Cold One Knights. Ugh, I'm not going to work well against that, but they caught us. Actually, our guys are not doing too bad against them. Holy crap. Oh, fuck. We need to hurry. There's going to be another Dark Condor at any moment. Jeez. Yeah, th I thought this guy could outrun Malice. Guess not. We're okay. I think he'll rally. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't be able to win this battle with just the Doggo army, no way. But we're definitely softening them up and tiring them out. Alright, I think you need to leave the battlefield. You need to go. Just get out of here. It will make our Doggos fight like shit, though. Just for a short amount of time until Archeon gets here. It'll be okay. Archeon just arrived. Okay. Hold that high ground there. Uh, okay, if I can keep this guy on the battlefield just a little bit longer, that actually could be good. I'm just worried about him getting killed. Mm, nah, just, just leave, 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 leave. Um... Oliver Meekin did a five pound submission. Hi, Legend. Love the content. What do you think is the best Doom stack? Nurgle Hero Spam seems pretty impossible to beat from your video, dude. Yeah, that's probably the best one. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah. Nurgle Hero Spam with loads of healing is stupidly strong. Alright, how much spell resistance does he have? Okay, let's get Archeon over there. He's much faster than Malice. Okay, we the high ground here. Send these to go and harass now. Put Archeon control group 1, these guys control group 2. Okay, we've seen that... Doggos can actually do a pretty decent job. Oh my god. Pretty decent job against. Oh my god. Hang on. Cold One Knights. Don't really want to fight yet, but they're not giving me a choice, I think. Keep 
Spirit Leeching Malice because he's so friggin' strong. And if he's gonna chase after Archeon, that's fine. Lure him around. Okay, back off just a little bit. Just buy us a bit more time. I just don't really want to fight just yet. Nope, he wants to fight. Which means he's probably going to pop down the Dark Conduit, run away from him. It's going to blow up any moment. Doggos are in bad shape, but it's not so bad so far. I took a fair bit of damage. Okay, Archeon should be able to beat this guy, no problem. Fighting them in the forest is actually beneficial for us. These guys to get around the back. Good, we beat the Cold War Knights, get back. Okay, bit of a blob forming up here. Can bomb that. Arkan is definitely winning that fight, that's good. Just a little bit wary of... Friggin' dark conduits because they just do so much damage. Okay, we get a chance to flank them here. Hopefully that does something. Okay, it would be best at this point if we don't actually hurt Malice too much, or else he'll turn into Zarkan, which will just make it even more difficult to win. So go after his armies. If he hasn't used up all of his Dark Conduits by now, then I'd be very surprised. Guys, so we don't have to fight him next turn. Oh, Malice is healing in melee as well because of the warp sort of pain. This one's taking too much damage, pull it out. Okay, we only lost them. Good. That way he doesn't go full Sarkan. Give him a bit of this just so he's a bit weaker in the next fight. 
Well, that's much better than what Order Resolve said it was going to be. Way, way better. that poll 68% of people have voted that Warhammer 2 is better for the Dark Elves which I agree with I think that that seems like a pretty accurate poll I think the doggos did pretty well Why can't Arkan vassalize Daniel? We did vassalize him. You just you can't do it by military. You have to do it di diplomatically. So if you wipe him out really quickly and leave him with one settlement, he he's usually willing to to become a vassal, especially if you go to war with one of his enemies, which is what we did. He was willing to become a vassal if I went to war with Hagrief, which I was going to declare war on anyway. So that worked out very well, and that also allowed me to bypass their alliance with the other Dark Elves. Uh, Demonicus, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Subscribe for two months. Why do you have an army full of doggos? They were an available unit, and we're just seeing what we can do with them. Apparently, we can do a fair bit. They've been very useful so far. We use them as bait. They're very good against demons. Like, this army alone wouldn't have beaten this one. Because don't forget, when you're playing as Warriors of Chaos, you're limited as to what warband units are available. I can't pull Chosen out of my ass. I, you know, it's just they're not available yet. Yeah, give me them souls. And now Archeon should be able to get that trait. Not that it's a super important trait. I remember when Malice Darkblade was in early access, he had a he basically got the warp sword of tra of Kane trait. It was so good. Tuomas001, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Greetings. Your abasement pleases me. Nope. Nope. You have to become a vassal. A vassal or nothing, bitch. What trade did he used to have? Um... I think it was called the same thing. Malice in Underworld, but it used to provide regen while in melee. Uh, this was only while in early access. It was very powerful. Quan Tommy uh, did a 100 HK super chat. I bought Millennia after I watched your vid. I like how different ages can provide main gameplay experiences. It's sad to see only 3,000 people playing it right now based on Steam charts. Yeah, well... Yeah, look, some games just aren't going to be super popular and they're going to appeal to a niche audience. I don't think that C Prompt Studio are a massive 400 um, developer studio. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's just a fairly small development studio. So honestly, the amount of sales that I think they got, I think they're happy with it, but I, I'm not entirely sure. The thing is, if they continue to develop it in the same way that uh, Civilization VI is being developed, but divert away from what Civ 6 is doing and try something different and they they build upon it and make it really good then they can get their audience over time paradox games can prove that you can start small and build up over time i mean look at hearts of iron 3 uh, hearts of iron 4 it has its most recent peak is it's, it's the largest it's ever had 
And it's a nearly 10 year old game. So, just give them time. You know, it's basically the first game they've ever made. <laughs> now, they've made a couple of others. But just remember, it's not Paradox Development Studio. Paradox is publishing it. It's not the same thing. Alright. Finish him off. Legend, you will be devoting Sandor Clegane to the Hound, right? That's a good point. We should we should do that. Yeah. He should devote to Corn, shouldn't he? Yeah. I'm not super rich in souls at the moment. Oh, that's not too bad. He is a melee lord. Devote to corn. Yeah, that'll use up a lot of souls. You dare. I'll have this world. Have you come to kill me? Okay. It's funny how he wants peace already. Destruction for all. I am the chosen of the gods. Crap. They will be dominated! A glorifying act! Should Gotta make sure they're reinforcing each other. Okay. Be a That's good. Now the end times come. And then we'll get training. Why not? Okay, off. Got another guy here that can be upgraded. That's good. Too bad you can't upgrade these to corn dogs. I don't think we can get hounds of corn. We can get the demon hounds of corn, I think. But I can only get like six of them in the army because they're gifted units. I think. Let me let me confirm. Oh, I would need to firstly unlock a slot. Okay, we've got a new slot available for undivided. Let's see. What do we got here? Anything good? Unit experience gain for undivided units. That's not too bad. Hmm. All right. Why not? Um. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Give. We'll have plenty of souls. That's fine. Alright, you can get Skull Crusher and. Yes, you don't really need that, do you? A glorifying act. And good, there's Obsidian there, that's very handy for our Marauder Horseman. Okay, so we're heading up towards Corn stuff. Alright. I think we're done with the turn. Let's have a look. So, Bloodfire Falls is. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. It does allow for Chaos Warriors to be instantly recruited from this region, which is definitely handy. Especially when you're playing as Bellacor and you just like put portals everywhere and you just have an army. You just teleport it around everywhere, pick up all the local warbands that you want, and you got a full stack straight away. But Archeon can't do that. Okay, moving on. Do Warhounds get boosted by the Manticore tech? Uh, I think so, yeah. We should have a look at that. It's not that important for units that are multi-entity. But I think they do. What could you possibly offer me, Mewling Swan? I am ever so... Mmm, no. Do you keep minor settlements or sell to vassals? It depends on if there's any strategic value in the settlement. So, for example, if there's a tradable resource, I usually keep it for myself because it usually provides some sort of global bonus. Um, if it doesn't, then it's better to give it to a Norskan vassal, because no especially if it's a port settlement. Um, even if there's a tradable resource at a port settlement, it's usually better to give to a Norskan vassal because you can only get it at tier 1 anyway, and it's always got a port building. And Norskans make fuckloads of money from tier 3 ports, like 800, which of course you get a portion of that. Do you turn your generic lords into demon princes? Sometimes.
Is Kara Nack in this game? I don't think so. Okay, that's good. Now, they also get five attack from a resource. Maybe. I'm just a current member. Pastures. No, I think they get, um... Uh... Physical resistance from that. So, Unchained Beasts gives melee attack for Chaos Warhound and Feral Manticore units. And Gore Feast for Chaos Warhound and Feral... Yeah, we should get Unchained Beasts. It's only three turns. Yeah, that's... Melee attack plus eight. That's a big boost. Oh, jeez, I didn't even realize it, but we just got Harold Hammerstorm. Nice. Nice. I should really have a look at the other legendary heroes that we can get. Alright, so Harold, who should he be joining into? He is slow, so he shouldn't be attached to the Doggo army. Uh, there are potentially units that I don't want here. I don't really want the corn units. I want to keep the Chaos Troll. Eventually give that to a troll army. Keep that because it's a good unit. You can convert these guys straight to Chaos Knights as well if we need to, which I might do. Marauders of Corn. What about this one here? I think I might get rid of it. Make room for, um... No! Please! Please! Stick Harry in there. Okay. Alright, we should split them up since they're clearly on the run at the moment. Archeon can easily handle these guys. And you should go... Oh, you're a bit damaged. Yeah, come up this way and... They'll probably force march to defend no Blooded Grove, but if it's just this, I think I can handle it with with uh, Sandor Clegane here. Spread ruin on them. The gods yeah, some of these are not rank four, so I'm not going to totally benefit from that. Okay, I want to start raising another army because our, our finance is a little bit better, and what I like is trolls. Okay, so what I want to do with the troll army is get a metal wizard. I usually do convert them to Zinch. So that could be good. Or should I, No, no, no. We should leave them undivided. So maybe Dark Fury. But if he's going to be a demon prince, then he'll... If he starts off with fire... This guy's got more undivided authority. Is fire useful considering they're weak against fire? Eh, I'll go with fire. We'll see how we go. Hopefully it won't <laughs> backfire. Alright, infernal dominance. Alright, I saw there was a troll ready here, so we'll grab you. And I probably should have done this before, but I'll transfer this troll into your army, and he'll just stay around Archeon and get levels up that way, to stay close. Actually, we should probably go with Monster Strength, don't worry too much about his magic right now. And he'll just pick up trolls as we come through here, and Archeon can now be free to get more Marauders. Mm-hmm. 
I'm tempted even to get rid of the Chaos Knights of Zinch. Just because it's not an undivided unit, and I can't switch it back to being undivided. Hmm. It's not like it's a bad unit. Definitely isn't. I'll keep it for now. Alright. There we go. Archaeon is now a demon. Prince. Which will make him tougher to kill unless you got magical attacks. So if we have a look at him now, you'll see that he has 35% physical resistance, which he would have had 15% before. Okay, get me more money. Good that this is already available. So missile strength from Marauder Horsemen and Marauder Horse Master units, that's good. It doesn't apply, I believe, to uh, vassalized, well, uh, borrowed armies from your vassals. Speaking of which, we should be able to start borrowing their armies. Yeah, it's getting close. It's a lot of warhounds. Yeah, these guys here won't benefit from the tech either. This one can be borrowed. This one won't be able to be borrowed because that's their faction leader, isn't it? Yeah. So good. Maybe I'll borrow a whole bunch of armies and attack. Uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, let's move on. Check diplomacy. See if there's anything interesting. Ready. No. All right, let's move on. Don't Archeon's knights boost to apply to all knights? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. However, Archeon has more authority under undivided authority, which means you're better off getting undivided ones by a small degree. If you want to go with divided ones, you totally can. It's just me being fussy. Kendrick White became a member for 10 months. Hey, Legend, is Demonhood worth it for Archeon? I hate crumbling mechanics, lol. Yeah, but he's... Yeah. Crumbling mechanics is only really detrimental for a unit that has, like, under 70 leadership. Archeon's leadership is still going to be, like, 100 if, and maybe even more than that, which means he's only going to crumble when he's at his very tiniest little bit of health left, which at which point he would have been dead anyway. So high leadership characters, it's totally fine to, for them to crumble. This is why it's so difficult to get rid of Vlad, because he is like a naturally high leadership character, and even when he gets army lost, he's only in like the first stage of crumbling. Devil's Triangle became a member for 45 months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Which lords can you confederate? Any Chaos... Warriors of Chaos Lord. Any of them. Why the Doggo Army? But why male models? Um, it was a, what was available. And it's working. If it doesn't work, I usually get rid of it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's actually working for us. It's relatively cheap. They're readily available. There's a lot we can do to boost them in the early stage of the game. They're actually proven to be quite effective. My vision. When I am all powerful, there will be a place for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Black Rock has some defenses. Short sighted. They will be dominated. Yeah, there's only six units there, so that should be fine. There'll be a reckoning. My destiny lies this way. Onward to destruction. Let's be about this. Any trolls? No. What about over here? No. I am the chosen of the gods. You need a boom. Alright, let's... Hang on, hang on. Yeah, get as close as possible to Cliff of Beasts. Okay, I just need to know what was going on here. Alright, something to consider is if we occupy this settlement here, it's got wood, that's good for us, I want to keep it. But if we do occupy it, what might end up happening no. is they will send these forces both to go and recapture it and kill this army. So gotta be careful there. Is 
There's also some problems here. I can't get around it. I could sack this. So the Cliff of Beasts is currently at tier 2. Uh, tier 1, going to tier 2. No, sorry, 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 sorry. That's Cliff of Beasts. This is, this is... Yeah, it's going to tier 3 at the moment. So sacking that'll be worth a little bit of money. Yeah, I could just go in there and sack that and just come back over here. And wait for them to go. I could f easily fight one of these armies, no problem. But both of them with um, Dark Conduit while we're damaged, that's a bit iffy. Yeah, that's a bit iffy. Yeah, just sack it. Oh, shit. Probably because of that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> fucking, fucking banner getting my units killed. Alright, just sack it. March Archeon and block the Sorceress. Yeah, this, this area here is too wide. I'm just not sure if I would be able to do it. It's fine. You have my favor. It's fine. There's no rush in capturing the settlement this time. They'll probably probably run away over over to here. This will fail. Probably. No. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, this guy here might actually be able to reach Sandor Kogain, but this one here won't. This army here by itself, I can beat. We'll get close to that Admiral, though. Even with his damaged army, I'm confident I can beat that. Especially if I go within the range of the defenses here. Oh, he wants to try it. He wants to try it. Hmm, okay. I'm f I'll fight that. That's fine. Good, and he's got the extra campaign movement range from force marching a lot. That's good. Yeah, that works out just fine for me. Dogs are one of the few plentiful units Warriors of Chaos get in their pool. Yeah, they're readily available. Trust me, if I could just spam, uh, what's it called, um, uh, Aspiring Champions right now, I totally would, but I can't. So this is another one that we'll keep because there's tusks here. That Norskan vassal probably exists now anyway. Sigvold usually revives them. My Lord so yeah, you just hang back and eventually the trolls will pour into the army. Okay, now you got to watch out in this situation here. If there's another army in the area, what they could do is besiege with one army and attack with the other. So, stay outside the settlement, you can stay in it. Good. Yeah, your replenishment's fine, just got to catch up to them. Okay, 
that's the last of our undivided marauders sorted. Now, do we want to do... I need to research profane weaponry. I'm leaning towards going Chaos Knight spam. It's not the best, but... You can make it work. Maybe I'll go with a mobility run. It's a freaking cavalry spam. Alright, let's take this out. Ooh, okay. That's not great. Alright, I'll have to fight that manually, but I don't see a problem with this. Uh, what do you think CA can do to future-proof Weapon 3 since they have about three years of development left? More like two. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think people... It, like, it's been out for ten years, essentially. It's, people are just getting fatigued with it. I don't think Creative Assembly really cares about future-proofing it. They typically don't think it too future-proof these games. Because if, if you make, like, a Medieval 2, for example, which is was heavily future-proofed because of all the modability and stuff. If people are playing Medieval 2 and they're satisfied with Medieval 2, they're not going to buy your latest piece of shit game, right? <laughs> so when you're a games company and you're thinking entirely about profit, it's great to make your games disposable. The problem is if you make the game too disposable, nobody's going to buy it. And that's the problem that you got with something like Pharaoh. It's just, it's just too much garbage. So they've got to find a happy medium. Because, yeah, if you make a Total War game, let's just say they made Medieval 3, and it was super moddable, super moddable, it just bug-free, it was just a perfect Total War game. Why would you ever buy another Total War game? They'll go bankrupt. So they've got to make the games good, but not so good that you won't buy the next one. They've got to leave you wanting more. Because it's a bad business model otherwise to make a perfect game. Alright, all right, we want to get through... Oh, look, look what they're doing over here. They've left this one poorly defended. Let's go for that. Alright, we just got to be mindful that they probably have... Well, they know they definitely have Dark Conduit ready to go. So we just need to make sure that they use it up before we charge in there. Aaron R did a five dollar super chat. Hey Legion, enjoy the work. Did you change your VOD sign off because of the algorithm concerns? No. Uh, saying see you next time fuckers never really caused me any algorithm concerns. It just didn't feel right anymore. That's all. Just didn't really feel on brand. Like it's uh, something of a bygone error. Did they use it or not? There we go, that's what I was looking for. Alright, that gives us about two minutes before they use it again. <laughs> that unit's leadership is like, oh, I'm shitting my pants! Dog sandwich, motherfucker! About a minute and a half. Maybe one minute until the next Dark Conduit. They could use a Dark Conduit and destroy my entire army if we're not careful. Okay, 20 more seconds and start pulling out. Alright, that's enough. Pull back. Pull back. Dark Conduit number two is popping any moment now. We're good to run these guys down, but I don't want to get Dark Conduited. I can actually hear it go off. Yeah. 
it usually leaves a stain on the ground when they do it. So, yeah, I just don't know. There, okay, there it is. There it is. But we don't have a good opportunity to use it again. Uh, charge in. But, they've only got one more. So if we just get rid of that other Dark Conduit, we can just fight the battle normally. You know, hit and run, that is. And not worry about one ability destroying our entire army. Give them about two minutes. There it is. Okay, no more dark conduits. All used up. Very nice. Time to charge on in. Bad leadership, but so is theirs. Who's gonna break first? I saw them. I think them. Put these two back. Otherwise, they're gonna cause a a routing problem. Damage isn't too bad. Okay, there we go. And we lost them. Nice. So yeah, you can definitely make this stuff work. Kill him. Is a dog screaming? No, that was the witch elves. Legend, witch elves are you talking about? You know, the witch ones. First time we see a Beastmaster Lord getting scapunked by doggos. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't take that much damage either. This isn't even our full power. Not even close to the full power of the of the doggo. Maybe we actually could have taken on more of these forces. Because that worked out very nicely for us. That'll do. If there's anything left, we should be able to auto-resolve it. Some death magic with minus 16 leadership would be so fun for this crap stack. Mm, okay. Maybe. How is Doggo Doomstack out of 10? Probably like a 3. Do further Manticore attacks also apply to Doggos? 
I'm not sure. Is that a meme army? No, it's just what was available. We just, I just by accident kind of recruited this army and just making it work. No sense in disbanding it if it's actually winning battles. It's like they're getting experience. The more experience they get, the better. There's a technology that's about to give them eight extra melee attack. I think it's like one turn off. And it's going to give them regen while in melee. They get physical resistance through the pastures building, which there's not that much of out here. But it does exist. Hmm. Do I want you on a manticore? Probably not. How are we going for the um, souls? Kill them all. A glorifying act. Wait, what? Is this their last settlement? But I want the wood. Hmm. Wood's a good resource. I'm still gonna occupy it. I don't care about... about vassalizing them. Yeah, I didn't realize that was their last region. Yeah, they didn't take the Twisted you Towers. Not that I would have done it to, to them there either. Because you got Tusks oh here, God, which see. provide weapon strength for chariots. Which, yeah, whatever. And then this one here, ammunition 25% for Marauder Horseman units. That's bloody good. Really bloody good. Huh, okay. Well, that means that they no, will fail. just no. YOLO into battle. They're finished. Fuse. However, Admiral Leech will stay out here, constantly recruiting. So let's see if I can get you to come out and help us out with this. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Maybe the Doggo army should come out and finish this off. While Archeon moves towards here. Yeah, I thought that this Norskin vassal was still around. Okay. Alright, so unique line is sorted. What do we want to do with him next? Go down his melee line, make him unkillable. Chosen of the Gods is awesome. Yep. Do that. Good. Okay. Good stuff. So Sandor, what do we want with you? So yeah, that, we've already gotten that for the doggos. What do you get from here with the doggos? Is it speed of malice? No. Freakish mutations will give them ward save, melee attack, and leadership. That's pretty good. They're not even close to rank 7 yet, so don't bother with it just yet. Plus, if we're going to turn him corn... thing is, these are actually undivided units. Which means the more undivided we have, the better. It's going to make them cheaper. So maybe he'd be best staying undivided. Because I think we can get corn dogs here, but I can only get six of them. Let me just check. Yeah, there they are. Flesh hounds of corn. But I can only get six. And I can't dedicate these to corn. No. That'd be cool if you could. Because that unit does exist. Hmm. Maybe I'll just keep him. Keep him as a Chaos Lord. Could make him a Demon Prince. Undivided. Don't know. Who cares? Alright. What are the advantages of a Corn versus Demon Lord? Not much. Just different flavor of chaos, really. 
various different skills. A demon prince will always have spells as well, even if it was originally a melee lord. Yeah, we get to keep this whole province because it's good stuff here. And then we move on to fight Slanesh, who is on its way out. It would have been good to turn this into a vassal, but it looks like it's its last region, and... Oh well, it's too late. Moving on. If only you could pl phase him towards being corn dogs, yeah, then I would totally dedicate to corn, but I think dedicating him to the Hound would be a... It would actually weaken the army. Could you rotate the top of the map back to north, please? Uh, no. Four, not six. No, no, six. Six, um, gifted units. You're thinking of alliance units. Alliance units is four. That's a lot of casualties for a nothing army. Can't you get unlimited regiments of renowned corn dogs? I don't think so. Doesn't it pull from the same cap as Mercs? No. The Eye of so you can have six gifted units and four alliance units. No. I need to get there before Sigvold. Alright, so that's made the doggos a bit better. Yeah, nice high melee attack. Right. Wherever this one goes, it's gonna get wrecked. Let me just see. Will you join now? No. What about you? Will you join? No. I feel like as a vassal, you should do as you're fucking told. So yeah, I'll get this guy to sort that out while we push out this way. Good, more trolls for you. Move. I need 10 units. I would like to recover a bit more. This guy's already fully replenished, so... He's got siege attackers in the army, so I could send him up a little bit of a head. Oh. Hmm, okay. It has corrupt. What else is here? Okay. There's also I an aspiring champion. I'm going to grab that so that I can hand it over to somebody else. Yeah, okay, and you just stay there because I need you to replenish. Siggy is probably going to capture that next turn. The thing is, as soon as we capture this, these guys here will immediately switch sides. Because this is the main crag stronghold. Yeah. You have my favor. Okay. Alright, so Unchained Beast is finished. I still wanted to get out here, finish up some of the uh, the corn technologies. Just some good gifts of corn. Nothing to build this turn. Still got a little bit of cash left. Prince's herald. Speak. 
Depravity reigns. Hmm. No. Okay, and we got level up as well. What do we got in here? It's okay to have flaming attacks at the moment, but melee defense for the hero's army seems pretty good. Same with extra armor for the army. And let's move on. I don't know what they expect to do. They can't globally recruit. Maybe they're waiting for regiments of renown. Because, yeah, we've only got like five units there, don't we? Maybe I should put a lord in there just in case. Yeah, Siggy took it. Well, that just means that we're going to go get his defeat trait, which is one of the best defeat traits for, for, for Archeon that we can get. But you know what's really good defeat trait for Warriors of Chaos is Drazo at the Ashens, because there's no supply lines for us. And if you've got enough territory, each one of your lords that gets his defeat trait will actually make you profit. Subtle torches, go on. Okay, there's other Norskans buggered off, and that's fine. So Sigvald, that army there should be, well, the garrison should be damaged, yep. Malus is back. Our army would struggle against him. I'd have to order resolve it, and it's not strong in order resolve. So, okay, we got nine units here. If they were to attack this, we should win. Alright, this is a little bit risky. To a little bit risky. No. Ah, fuck. Archeon can't make it unless... Yeah. Alright, there'll be another opportunity for Archeon. No. But this guy here is going to get Sigvald's trait. Because I doubt we'll beat Sigvald in his entirety. Before then. Greetings, fellow ravager of the mortal realm. What can Sigvald the Magnificent? No. Look, even the Urson Revivalists joined us and they hate us. Why no trade? I'm not going to trade with factions I am intending to declare war on, especially considering as Warriors of Chaos, I don't exactly make a lot of money through trade. And I'm already selling all my stuff, so. You know, what's the point of making 50 gold? If I'm. If it's gonna tie me down later down the track. Yeah, who wants to fight a siege? Not me! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck fighting sieges. No thank you. Thank you. And now these guys have become my vassal automatically, and they've probably got territory I don't want them to have. No. Well, they're not going to keep that for very long. That's going to get blown up. That's fine, because I can't make use of it. That... Iron is not that big of a deal. It does provide extra armor for, um, for warriors of... Ca uh, Chaos Warriors. Plus, this faction here, I should actually be able to tell them to give me territory. Are you after a drink? So if I a go to Blood both. Mountain, I should be able to say, just give it to me. No. Used to be able to. Yeah, they, they say no to Archeon. Alright, I need you to get out, because your army is not as important as Archeon's to replenish. 
Because, yeah, we are outnumbered out here. What's coming? So, Archaeon's forces need to need to get stronger quickly. Bad magic as well. That's good. Mm, no, I like I like this. Don't worry about the replenish rate. I'm sure most of those units are trash anyway. Okay, okay so I was gonna Lord of the End. No. Okay. That's a bit iffy. Just to help out if that attack is not that favorable. We'll see. Should be fine, but just in case. Doesn't cost that much. Okay. Good. And then we don't need this one here anymore. Yep. Good. Winter tooth. Take what's theirs. Okay. They want trade, but I want to get this settlement off them. So I want them to be basically begging for my trade. They'd be like, please, let me have your dick. I'll give you Blood Mountain for it. <laughs> That's what I want. So we'll wait. What? He already wants peace. Well, that would mean 10 turns of not being able to do anything. If we're lucky, Sigvald will come over here and blow up this settlement so that I can occupy it myself. How many settlements does he have? Do not. Two. Okay, at least we know where they are. Cool. Let's move on. Okay, so the big iffy thing that could potentially happen over this turn is... These guys attack us right after recruiting like a shitload of units and it could actually be a difficult battle. We'll see. Do you often use Yuanbo reliability reset? Not really, no. I tend to use the um, assign a either economic or military province more often because that provides massive benefits. Typically speaking, I'm not really doing that much backstabbing. Oh, they're going for it. I mean, come on. We can win this. Shades are not good against doggos. We can win this. Yeah, let's let's do it. Okay, the biggest problem that we're going to face here is Malice Darkblade hunting down Sandor Clegane because he's not that quick. So keep him well away from them. Will you confederate Sigvard or just kill him? Confederate him, obviously. Dad plays game, subscribe Prime. My doggo approves of the doggo stack. Okay, cool then. Hearts of Iron's skill is useful for Archeon's units since Chaos Warriors are painfully slow. Also good for cavalry later on. Well, I'll get it then. Don't worry about it now. Get stuff that's useful to us now. Fish you have no spirit leech. Yeah, that's alright. That's alright. Um, I have my ways of dealing with Sigvold. Okay, enemy reinforcements are coming in in a minute 40. Alright. They're going to have... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's try to dish out as much damage to this army before he arrives. However, we need to not get caught by Dark Conduit, which is going to slow us down a little bit. So... That's a problem. Takes them about a minute before they can use their first one. So these ones here, Black Art Corsairs, fairly well armored. But I think we can manage it. This guy here's combat stats are not terrible. That didn't do very much damage. That 
could have been better. Somebody in a chaos spawns. Okay, good. That's our opportunity to try to take out this here. And honestly, we're doing pretty well against those units. Malice shows up. It's fine. Taking out two Black Art Corsairs with them having done next to no damage, that's really good. And they're actually good against us, they're anti-infantry. Uh, Nick's Assassin did a two Euro Super Chat. What do you think of Italian cuisine food? Oh, piss. Um, it's delicious. Thanks for Super Chat. Okay, they'll be getting ready to pop down the next Dark Crusade, Dark Crusade, Dark Conduit really soon. This is so far going really well. Okay, I don't need to run these down any further, they're, they're gone as. Okay, cool. We got rid of Admiral Leech. Come on, move, 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 move. Alright, I only semi dodged that. Alright, there should only be a handful of them left. What are these? Dark Riders, that's nothing. Alright, just recover your fatigue a little bit. Actually, they're all fresh. That's good. Nice fresh doggos. Alright, get up on the high ground. Alright, Malice. Actually, we should be able to outrun him fairly. Easily. Okay, we've also got this uh, sort of change. We should try to use that. They'll have one more dark... No, they got two more dark conduits to use. Let's use this up first. Okay, should be able to outrun him now with this. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. Oh fuck, he's picking up his speed as well. Yeah, he's got it as well. Okay, that's number two. Elmer Sai did a $5 super chat. Uh, do you plan on using this stack to fight Draka? How would you handle all the barks? Um, not thinking about that right now, but thanks for super chat. I don't know if that's a joke, super chat or not. Okay. Just, uh, just, just lure Malice Darkblade away for now. Kind of annoying how a unit with 90 speed is getting outrun with a unit with 60 speed, 68 speed. <laughs> that is actually more tired than us. Oh god, destroyed that really quick. Alright, send a poison doggo over here to try to slow him down a little bit. Generating because of this as well. Good, now back off. This that does a little bit of damage to himself. So that's good. Alright, now. 
All right, charge on in, but just be like do a feign attack on the shades because they'll probably pop down a dark conduit. If we just throw everything that we've got at them, they'll kick our ass. Oh, hang on, hang on. Mouse Dark Blade has backed off. So send him in to do it because they're not going to shoot at him, I think. Shit. So yeah, could easily beat them, but if we go charge on in and they use Dark Conduit, it'll kill off all of our dogs. Not good. Okay, keep some of the damaged ones in reserve. Okay, that should... There it is, that's their last Dark Conduit. Let's go finish these shades off. Alright, you lot get Malice Dark Blade's attention. These shades, yeah, they don't stand a chance. Let's see, just get his attention, draw him away from here. It's going to be very difficult to kill him with doggos because he regenerates very quickly because the warp sword of Kane. Yeah, and we have an army lost him. <laughs> Shit. Shit. How the fuck are we going to deal with Malice? He could so easily kill our entire army by himself. Look at that, he's regenerated again. He's got the murderous prowess active. Well, shit, I don't know what to do. Uh, let's send this one in to charge in on him and just hope that we can do something. I mean, he doesn't have unlimited regen. Problem is, we don't do much damage. Too much armor and ward save. How the fuck are we supposed to beat him now? Retreat and order resolve him? Nah, nah, I'll figure it out. Figure it out. I s you know, we got all this fresh army. He does use his abilities, which damages him a little bit. I think if we can cycle charge him well enough, we should be able to get him. Because eventually he'll turn full Sarkhan, and when he does that, that's when we've got him. No, we're, we're done, are doing some damage to him. It, it is slowly killing him. Our dude here is not going to be able to fight him in melee. Yeah, okay, okay, maybe we can we can last a little bit in prolonged combat, maybe. I'll bring him in here to help out a bit. See if that might do something. Yeah, we really need to keep using the charge bonus to get that extra melee attack. Don't bring in too many units. Try to use the poison ones to... Poison him. Uh. Can I get a nice big hit on him if you can? Come on, Sandor, you can do it. Yep, cool, we got a hit on him, that's nice. Every little bit of damage we can do, just if, if we can just break him, that'll be good enough. We did it, we broke him. Army losses. Legend, just retreat, you can't win. Smash him up as much as possible. Order Resolver said Valiant Defeat. Looks like we're going to wound him. He's getting hounded.
Warhounds are pretty good at running down units. Yeah, we got him. Can rename the Lord of this army some like Doggo Sorcerer. Do you not get the current reference, Sandor Clegane? Come on, he's already been renamed. Also, he's not a sorcerer. Cool. Completely wiped them out. And that one comes in. This should be just eliminating them now. Good. And that should be the end of Hagrief. Do you have Gregor as well? Well, maybe if I had an army commanded by giants, maybe I could name that dude Gregor Clegane. Maybe. In the troll army, maybe. Yeah. Already told me your offer. No. Oh, he's offering a lot of money for that. That is tempting. Yeah. Can always just cancel it. I think there's 20 turns I can't fight them. Man, look at these two. They've they've really conquered a lot of territory out here. So he's at war with the Sarl, but he's allied, sorry, he's trading with the Ecstatic Legion. That's interesting. Um, nah. Nah, we don't need the money, we're fine. Kolek Sanita is the mountain. Yeah, but you can't rename him. You can only find giants in mountainous areas. Pretty sure. Uh, the Legend Gibbo uh, member for 26 months. Wolfric has to be Tormund Giants Bane, the Conor McGregor of Warhammer. Yeah, I agree. He always looks like uh, Tormund Giants Bane, I think. Talisman of Preservation, nice. Yeah, that's much better. You have that. Excellent. Do not displease me. Hmm. We're pretty badly outnumbered. We shall this. Leave the fates. It is by me. If this one wants to go and smash Blood Mountain, that actually works out well for me. Enter then. Are you up? Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? That's now his capital, so we can't give it up. That's fine. Oh, uh, you know what? All of these guys here, all of these are probably gone. Like, Varg has probably disappeared. Probably been confederated. Same thing with them. Yeah, they are dropping down our Chaos Corruption. How about that? How about that?
Well, this will... This will s turn things around for it. They can't build this up any further. All you can do is put more characters that'll cause corruption. Um, Xander Ludwig did a fabulous super chat. Appreciate the on-point Game of Thrones reference. What do you think of the last season? Best season ever. Season 8, <laughs> obviously. Says anybody who wants to lose subscribers. No, nah, it was terrible. Worst season ever. Thanks for the super chat. Alright, uh, actually, why don't we just respec you? That'll be quicker. Oh, they're not completely finished yet. What? Hail the slaughterer! Good. You can probably upgrade corn marauders in the Archon army if I see it correctly. Yeah, I can. I just I don't really want the corn unit anyway. I kind of want to replace it with an undivided unit. Or hand over the corn unit over to Valkyrie, maybe. Back on land. You got a few turns before you fully replenish. That's fine. Alright, so Archeon needs about two turns to fully recover. These guys here, two almost full stacks, mostly full of trash. And we got some trolls here. Any more trolls? No. More doggos though. Okay, I'm going to take out the corn units and the Zinch units from this army. From Archeon. And I'm going to recruit him. These. And... This. There's that one there as well. I'll recruit that into this army. Yeah. Okay. So this can be entirely undivided now. Wouldn't mind him going Nurgle. It's not going to affect our undividedness that much. We got a good amount of souls, so this shouldn't cost us too much. Divert him to Nurgle. Here we go. Nurgle elevates. I was hoping for um, unearthly reflexes. All right, what'd you get here? Oh, you didn't get anything good. I guess Vanguard deployment for Chaos Knights is not the worst thing ever. Feel Good, and now Archeon can heal in battle. Alright, let's set up a trap for these units. I'm going to put Archeon in Ambush Dance over to here. I'm going to have this guy stand just within range. And hopefully they just bring one of the armies down. And then of course they attack, we withdraw. Archeon's not in position to attack. The closer I get, the more likely they'll pull us out of Ambush Dance. So, this is just to draw this army as close as possible and hope that this army goes after Blood Mountain. That's what I'm hoping happens. No guarantees here. And we'll get some replenishment over the end turn, because we're in friendly territory. Let us corrupt. They will be dominated! Give the hero his horse again. No, no, okay, now we actually want chariots because we're going up against Chaos. Chaos don't have missile units, so chariots is actually the right call. Against the Dark Elves, we don't want chariots. Dark Elves are gone now. Alright, what else we got going on? Yep, that's fine. That's... Just leave that. 
And that's fine. Okay, cool. Alright, so we want to come over here so that we can get a gift of corn active. Yep. And then just move on. Why no training? Training's okay, it's not essential. It's really not what I want to prioritize. I want my character to be stronger. What's my favorite demon prince? Probably Nurgle. Would you say currently the worst generic hero is the Goblin Big Boss? No. The Goblin Big Boss should be used outside of your armies to block enemy armies. It's really good at doing that. That's what you should use it for. Good. That gives me the opportunity to potentially occupy that instead of the Norskans. And they're completely fallen from my trap. Oh, they didn't attack. Oh, they're going to launch a tra trap of their own. Problem here is that we've actually got a fair few characters in the local vicinity. The chances of us pulling him out of that is basically 100%. Why is horse better against range units than chariots? Don't chariots have more armor? Uh, you're thinking too much about stats, not about how the AI behaves, which is more important. The AI on very hard battle difficulty, they won't shoot a horse. Like a single entity on horseback. But they will shoot a chariot. So it doesn't matter how much armor you've got. They're not going to shoot you on horseback. Yes. Is this guy good? Nah, I, I was I didn't want that right now. Go away. Yes, my ruinous power. Oh, we didn't pull him out, but we can do this. Ambush defense chance plus seventy five percent. Whoa, that's some pretty good auto resolve. But let's bring Archeon in there. What difficulty are we on? Yeah, maximum. Damn. This guy will probably run away on the first attack. So with Infernius, I think we'll give that back to these guys, but I want Blood Mountain for myself. The gods direct me. Can you borrow armies of vassals? Yep. Oh, damn it. But I want to auto it. I don't want to fight it manually. It looks easy. Too easy. I, I can't afford to lose these trolls. It's too hard to replace them. I guess I'm going to have to fight it manually. Oh well. The student hack still works better without a research chosen? Are you sure? I don't think it works anymore. Banner? Wouldn't have made any difference in this situation. Didn't have any banners on him. It's fine. It's not going to be a problem. I think we just um, go in there, use Spirit Leech with Archeon, for the most part, on all their characters. And use these here to harass them. Because we've got some decent buffs on them. They've got more ammunition, which is nice. That unit can catch us, but it's not good against large units. Oh, they're just going to come straight at us. Okay. They're coming. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> it's a very squishy unit. So it's not going to do much to us. Um, Archeon should be fine to just go in there and fight them. He's super strong.
Good, this one here is already disintegrating. You have to charge into that one. This map is kind of small. Slow. Actually, be careful about going into a blob. Two can play at that game. Dude doesn't come back. Good. They got this. I don't think that was ever the question. Is this one here taking too much damage and getting wiped out? with it. Not good. Not controlling large army of help. Not in order resolve. No. Doesn't make any difference in order resolve. That's the army losses, but they've got a couple of unbreakable units. Barely took any damage, but yeah, auto-resolve would have nuked these two. Right, we've got an opportunity here to heal Archeon a little bit. Might as well. Because he took a bit of damage. And that's what makes the Nurgle melee hero the preferred choice. Give it just a little bit more healing. Well, that's good with this army wiped out. That is one half of Sigvald's remaining forces. Good stuff. Easy fight. Imagine a Total War game that has enjoyable battles. That's very subjective, so it depends. There are some Total War games that's, that some people love the battles, and some of us hate them. I don't think there's ever a Total War game that is just universally loved with the battles. Not a single one. In fact, we can start doing some polling to check. Um, but I can go through the Total War games which I personally like the battles and which ones I don't. There's definitely aspects of like Total War Warhammer's battles that I don't like. Like I think that the morale system's a bit, a bit rigid. Not very good. But there's areas that make up for it. Like I like the magic for the most part. Monsters. I guess the spectacle of it. Don't really like how melee infantry perform. It's not the worst, though. Don't really like how cavalry performs, either. Ooh, it's a good amount of souls. I think I'll take that. We'll be fine for replenishment. We'll be fine. I should be able to use this guy here to give Infernius back. 
Yep, had just enough movement. And that way we actually end up stronger at the end of this turn than we were at the beginning of it. So that's good. But yeah, Blood Mountain, I want that for myself. Any trolls? No. That's fine. Scored ourselves a Brass Cleaver, which is very nice. I'll give that to you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we doing? Right, doggo army needs to move. Where is it? There it is. Spread ruin on them. They might be able to beat this army, maybe. Yeah, just get it moving. It needs some time to replenish anyway. Let's make Archeon better at killing shit. Pretty... Oh, hang on. Vigor loss reduction minus 20% is not too bad. Flaming attacks can definitely be iffy. But we're not in an area where that should be a problem, so go for it. I foresee destruction. The gods smile. Okay, we don't need... Where is it? We don't need this one here anymore. Money's coming in reasonably well. It's good. Archeon has a really good concentration of dark fortresses near him, which really helps. If we have a look at vassal income, we're getting 508, which is dog shit. It'll improve over time, but that's not very much. We shall weave the fates. Maybe I'll get Sandor Clegane to go and occupy Blood Mountain. He'll have to get there before this one does it. I can't borrow this army, I think. No. Okay, moving on. Nothing else to do. Viet Huang did a 129,000 dong super chat. Hi, Legend. Which unit is better, Aspiring Champions or Chosen? Oh, um... Depends on the situation, like with most things. So if you have gotten all of the technologies that boost Aspiring Champions, they are usually better. If you haven't gotten any of them, then Chosen are usually better. So in most situations, Aspiring Champion is usually better. In most situations. What's research rate at now? Last time I checked it was 170%, so it should be 180 now. Why can't you borrow that army? You can't borrow armies from faction leaders. How would I change leadership? Um, I would make it so that so, like flanking and stuff had more of an impact. Like at the moment, if you flank a unit, it's like maybe a minus 10 leadership penalty. But if a unit has 80 base leadership, it just shrugs it off. It doesn't really matter. So I would make it scale depending on how impactful the charge was. So let's just say a light cavalry unit like a yeoman cavalry charges into your rear and you're a heavy, heavy um, armored unit. That'd be like minus one leadership. So you're going to shrug that off. But let's just say a grail knight charges into you. That'd be like a minus 50 leadership. That'd just fuck you up. like charged into your rear like if they got a really good charge into the, your back of your unit you're already fighting in the front that should just instantly fucking rout most units in the game but a lot of units just like they fall down then they get back up and go Oof, I lost five leadership it just isn't impactful lime juice is cool did a SGD 10 super chat hey legend 
Glad to get to stream. I hope you're doing well. Important question. Poo poo pee pee or pee pee poo poo? That is a question for the philosophers of our time. <laughs> um, who cares? Thanks for the super chat though. What if this is Legend's last stream because he gets raptured tomorrow during the solar eclipse? Don't... hang on a second. Aren't there certain conditions required to be raptured? Like, you have to actually believe in that shit? Yeah, so... Look, if... let's just say hypothetically there was gonna be a rapture, I'll be left behind. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Pretty sure a requirement to get in raptured is you have to believe in it. Alright, well these guys just popped out of nowhere. I'm not in any serious rush to smash Sigvald. I'm pretty sure you're safe to force march to here. Definitely gonna set us backwards a little bit, but we can't let these savage orcs be running around. That's not acceptable. Even if they were to occupy a settlement, it wouldn't be worth it um, to vassalize them. Just get rid of them. This is just quite a lot of souls that just dropped in our lap. Are Archeon's items hard battles or just waiting for the right time? They can be quite difficult battles. Yeah, well, they can fuck up your army, so waiting for the right time is important. They're definitely good items, for sure. But some of those battles can really fuck you up. If you're not careful. So wait until we've got a good army. Alright. I think we're okay to force march. We didn't make any progress this turn because of that. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. Do greenskins have souls? Um, everything except for a demon has a soul in the Warhammer world. So yes, greenskins have souls. Mm, I'll go with that first. Horgrim Nutsbarret. Nice name. Did three dollars a budget. Are melee infantry more viable now in Warhammer 3? They are more viable, but they're, they're still inherently suffer from the game's engine and difficulty penalties more than most other units. What are you doing? Okay. Chaos Tools are not good at dealing with hero spams. How many hero capacity do I have available at the moment? Let's have a look. Nurgle's rots. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to recruit you. That's pretty good. I like unearthly reflexes, and I like metal wizards in this. My magic Just keep you staying there for now. Um, CZ121 did a 20 super chat. Hi, Legend. Not able to catch things live often, but thanks for all the content over the years. Had some stuff happen, and it helps to get my mind off it. P.S. Any ideas what TK could have in future updates? My favorite faction. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Um, glad to help take your mind off the woes of life. Based on the leaked information that I have received, nothing is coming for the Tomb Kings. Nothing new is coming. You know, things could change. And maybe the final DLC. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> End something. Um... Might have something to do with the Tomb Kings, but I, I don't have any details on it. The storm of chaos comes. All right. 
These could probably be turned into Chaos Knights now, couldn't they? No, I still gotta re- No, no, they're gonna be at rank 6. Okay. You can recruit Chaos Warriors uh, in the Archeon's army to replace Marauder. For Chaos! Indeed I can. However, what I'm actually gonna do is transfer Harold Hammerstorm into, Arch into the other army and then recruit the Chaos Warrior. Now, while he does provide good boost to the army, I don't really want to have him in Archeon's. Archeon's army doesn't need him. Uh, Tristan Wood, the Nintendo Super Chat. Hi, first time seeing a stream. How do you get an organized army for Warriors of Chaos playthrough? It seems like I always end up with my armies being a mixed bunch of random upgraded recruited stuff. Yep, that's how it will usually start off. You'll start off with a bunch of shit all over the places. But what you want to do is, eventually you'll start getting a lot of shit across different armies, and then you reorganize them into one army, which is kind of what we've got here. See, this used to be a disorganized pile of crap. And he has slowly given his other units over to other lords. And so now I've got more specialized armies. So these units here, for example, this guy is going to focus on trolls. It's just that I don't have access to a lot of trolls right now. So eventually, I'll recruit another lord, and I'll hand over these units to him. And eventually, they'll find their way into a more specialized army. You just have to stay on top of it. It's easier to do it with Bellacor because of his ability to teleport uh, through the portals. Alright, I think that's me done for the turn. Cold Myers. Yep, that's fine. Let's move on. Can upgrade to Chosen one of the Chaos Warriors? Yes, I could, but I haven't decided if I want to make a Chaos Knight Doom stack instead. I think I want to go with that instead. Which I don't feel like is as good as Chosen, but I just kind of want to do it because I, I can. I've done it before and it does work. It's it's okay out here. Cause I, I don't know, would you guys say I'm an alright cavalry commander? I think I'm pretty good at it. Cavalry's not a great unit in this game, but I'm pretty I've always been pretty good with cavalry. Why is here only plan to make four ish DLCs? Is Wormer 3 not as profitable as Wormer 2? Look, I can't tell you why something is being done. The conversations that I've had is that Wormer 3 is not as profitable as it used to be. And they're just allocating resources to where they think there's going to be more profit. So, the only way to prove them wrong... Like, I, I, another part of the conversation that I had was, is it possible that if Warhammer 3's profitability goes up, would they make more DLC? And they said, it's possible. It's possible that if it suddenly turns around and becomes better, more profitable for Creative Assembly and Sega, that they will consider extending things out. But another thing to consider as well is that Games Workshop limits what they can produce. So they've... they've uh, for example, um, Kuresh. I'll okay, use this as an example. Games Workshop, not letting them make Kuresh. It's not coming. Right? But if suddenly it became more profitable, Creative Assembly might be able to convince them to, to allow them to do it. Because don't forget, the original plan for Warhammer 3 was just the Demons of Chaos, as in uh, Korn, Nurgle, Zinch, Slanesh. There was no um, Cathay, there was no Kislev. And the reason we got those two factions was because Warhammer 2's profitability was really good, right? It really shows you how far things have fallen, that they went from the high time of Warhammer 2, where things were just great, and then, like, they abandoned three kingdoms because Warhammer 2 was doing so well, among other things, <laughs> right? There's like, we just need more Warhammers. Um, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I can only suspect a few things. So Odin Bloody Hand, that, it belongs to the Tong. Uh, I'm not really doing that much construction. Melee attack plus five for five turns, not that big of a deal. I think I'll go with this. 
Because if you do that, that guy is wounded and you can borrow his army. Because he's the faction leader. So if I go to the Tong... Oh, I actually can't borrow the army. I'll have to wait until next turn. But I've got 100 allegiance, so I could borrow this one next turn. Because he'll be wounded for a few turns. Yeah, look. Like I said, I don't have all the answers. I have a few conversations. I'm definitely interested in what's potentially going on, but I just I just don't have all the answers. So all you guys got to do to make sure you get more of Warhammer 3 DLC, and I'm I'm joking by the way with this. I just want to point that out before I say it. <laughs> just buy all the DLC at full price and just be a completely unquestioning consumer. Just consume. Be an ogre and just consume. Okay. Is there any Wema DLC that you don't have? Buy it. Buy it full price. Friggin' start a GoFundMe for Creative Assembly. <laughs> don't do that, by the way. I'm, I'm obviously joking. Huh? That'd be ridiculous. Be right. I reckon this guy's gonna run away from us. Any trolls? No. But yeah, just be an, be an unquestioning consumer. Yeah, $25 DLC? Screw that. Make it a $45 DLC. Shut up and take my money, CA. Have you ever, look guys, all you do, mortgage your house and donate that money to Creative Assembly. Like, get a second mortgage. Or better yet still, sell your house, sell your property. Sell your business. Sell your kids. All right. Sell everything that you possibly can, and give that give that money to Creative Assembly. Put it to good use. Think not what Creative Assembly could do for you, but rather what you can do for Creative Assembly. True savages. All right, I guess I get this trade agreement be honest, because it doesn't look like I'd they're gonna capture that anyway. You have my time. You can give me more money than that. I submit. Let's fight. Okay, then should we get it? Are you sure? Because I can beat a dead horse all day long. The death beak uh, bacon subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Have you committed your unborn child to the cause? That's got to be worth at least one DLC. No, no, I'm not going to do shit. I'm not going to do anything. I'm saying you need to do it. Have you gone and donated money to Creative Assembly? Not me. No peace. Don't want to give YouTube my money. Glad you're on Twitch. Okay. So you're going to give Twitch your money? And buy extension me? <laughs> it's all good. Just buy CA and take the shareholder position. But you know, right, right now it would be a bit cheaper than it would have been a year ago to buy CA. So what, I think a year ago it would have been about $100 million to buy a Creative Assembly. Now it's only $50 million. Cool. I'll probably have to save up for about, I don't know, 200 years for that? <laughs> oh wait, hang on. No, more than that. Anyway. Ah, Siggy Butt Brain's back. Alright, and Archeon can reach him, so that's nice. Sandor Kavan doesn't have the trait. Neither does Archeon. Okay, so you come over here, but just don't get in Archeon's pathway, because sometimes they can block him. Let me just see what he's got first. Oh yeah, that's easy. Get your Siggy butt brain over here. 
Evil Vane, subscribe with Prime. The Coxy Cox, subscribe with Prime. And Brinda, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Order Resolve says... Good. And... <laughs> gotcha. Thanks for your defeat trait. Nice. That was a really good Order Resolve. I'll take your souls. If you got 1 billion, would you buy CA? It depends on how hard it was to get the 1 billion. Like, if... If one billion dollars just somehow landed in my lap, let's just say like Elon Musk walked past my house and just dropped a billion dollars by accident, right? And there's just no strings attached. I had a billion dollars, no taxes on it whatsoever. Yeah, I'd buy CA. Sure, why? Why not? But the, the other 900 million, I, I would probably, I'd, I'd probably invest it in something that's likely to get a return on investment. I don't think, I don't know if buying CA is a great investment right now. Oh, uh, Americal, subscribe with Prime, and Zai Batsu, Zai -e Batsu, subscribe with Prime. Currently on a month, month strength. One month strength. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. Alright, get Blood Mountain, that's an important settlement. Sort of. Because iron, so iron resource here will give us armor for Chaos Warriors, which that mainly just helps our garrisons out a little bit. Okay, so Archeon. Hmm. I don't have an idea. Why don't I send this guy and the doggos to the Silver Tower Sorcerers? And Archeon, you try to get over here before this guy builds up too quickly. Yeah, we should be able to reach there next turn. Think I missed a super chat, did I? Uh, Windward Media, subscribe for nine months. Loving the Beard Legend, giving Kratos vibes. Yeah. I've been I've been shaping it with the uh, the new beard hedger pro link link in bio for manscape link and yeah it's been it's been uh, shaping quite nicely and I've been spending a lot of time stroking my beard <laughs> and even now my family's like hey that's actually a pretty nice beard sick beard mate. Good. I'll probably shave it off at some point though. Excellent. One day I'll just wake up and be like, nah, this beard is too long, and then I'll just shave it all off. But when I do that, I'll have to hide and not live stream for like a couple of months because if I live stream after I've shaved, Half of the comments are like, where'd the beard go? What happened to the beard? Legend, how could you? What about the beard? That goes in the book. Bring ruin. I feel like some people only subscribe to this channel because they've got a beard. And that's... Just, just subscribing for my body. Why can't you subscribe for my personality? Says <laughs> Oh my god. Chat, ja? 118, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I'm sure I butchered that pronunciation. With $1 billion, you could find you could fund the creation of 10 brand new CA-sized game studios. Why would you buy CA? Um, well, if you're buying CA, you're buying all of their IP. So you, you buy the Total War intellectual property. So you also buy the programming. And I tell you what, it would be a lot easier to Frankenstein a good new engine off the existing garbage than it would be to start entirely from scratch. And also, if you buy Creative Assembly, I don't, I don't think you're realizing this. You buy hyenas. Do you know how valuable that is? That's worth $100 million on its own. Addy2160, subscribe to Prime, and Soda Tree, subscribe to Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. I finally understand 
how it feels like to be a woman. All I do is get objectified for my beard. I finally understand what it's like to be a woman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. What's your favorite type of faction to have a vassal as a voice of chaos? Norska, definitely Norska is my favorite because Norska makes shitloads of money from their um, ports. And you usually get a lot of good global bonuses to speed up the process of getting um, allegiance points. A glorifying act. Ah, piss. I thought he would make it. Never stop. Mm, I saw how big their army was. I'm not worried. Yeah, they ran off anyway. Now is chaos. Come. Any more trolls? Yes. Now that should be easy. Cancelled see on Twitter Legend. Okay. Um, old Shattered Han Hansel. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. And Dr. Broger, subscribe with Prime. Subscribe for two months in a row, both people. Beard or bust. Yeah. Uh, Yaden or Jaden did a $5 super chat. Always wondered, why don't you use mages in submitted doom stacks, but use them in your weapon team doom stack? Okay, because you can do... Everybody already knows that mages are super strong. Everybody knows you can, you can fuck entire armies up with wizards. So I don't need to showcase how good magic is. That's why you should put a wizard in your doom stack. But I don't need to show it off every single time because you, you already know magic is good. The whole point is to showcase whether or not the unit is good. Now, if I take that wizard and I get a thousand kills, then who fucking cares about what units you've put into your, to the army? That's the whole point. If it was a disaster battle, I would use everything at my disposal. But if it's a Doomstack rating and we're rating specific units, I've got to use those units as the bulk of the um, offense on that battle. The, the magic can't be the one doing all the work. Oh no, running out of money. Do we have... Uh no, we have reduced construction costs. Okay. Are you a god? This will also give us the asshole. <laughs> the asshole. Alright, so we've got access to a corn one now. Corn authority plus one for each active gift of corn. All right, let's let's keep track of this because I fucking hate that this is still a thing. All right, everybody, pay the fuck attention to this. All right, we have three corn authority here. We don't have currently any active corn uh, gifts. All right, I'm not going to put down a corn gift until I research this. Now, according to this, when I put down a corn gift, it should maybe on the next turn push us up to four corn authority. Okay, so remember, remember where this authority is coming from. What's our research rate anyway? 190%, okay. So many people were like, oh legend, you're just not paying attention. You did actually get the bonus. No, it doesn't work. I've tried it so many times, it doesn't work. All right, let me have a look here. Nurgle's rot. No, no, no. Oh, I, I do like to go with Nurgle. With them. Okay. You just stay there for now. Wait, can I just do it right, right away? I can. Alright. Alright, don't be shit. Ah, oh, you got some good stuff in here at least. So yeah. Okay. Just leave him there and we'll, we'll figure something out with him in a bit. Later gifted another, what, five? Wait, what? 
Voice of Treason gifted five tier one subs. And then later gave out a whole bunch of tier one subs to a bunch of people. Six tier one subs. Thanks, guys. Really generous of you. Thanks for the uh, uh, subscriptions. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Let's have a look to see. Harganeth wants a non-aggression pack. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. I will. What? Fuck. Now. No. All right. Let's move on. Can you ask some money from your vassals? I probably wouldn't get much, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. You can upgrade the Marauder to Horse Masters to Chaos Knights. Horse Ma Okay. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. There's no rush on that. There's no further place to go after that. Honestly, right now, the Marauder Horse Master might actually be better than a, a um, Chaos Knight. I thought trolls weren't very good. Am I wrong? Why a troll army? Trolls are way better now than they used to be because there's loads of things you can do to boost them. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be able to auto-resolve it. Oh, man. What do you like most about horse masters? They're just they're just all around pretty good cavalry. Like they're good in melee, they've got really good missile damage. You can boost them by a ton. They're nice and quick. They're relatively cheap. Just just good units all around. Alright, we're at full strength here, so we could upgrade Yeah, we, we could actually upgrade this to I haven't researched profane weaponry yet, so let's find out where that is. Yeah, it's not too far away. We'll we'll start working to that after we've done this. Um Destruction. Tier three. Ooh. If I wait one turn, I can get it at tier four. I'm not gonna wait. You dare. How the hell did he grow that quick? Hmm. Now uh, bring the other one in as well. Wipe them out. I thought they added Exalted Heroes of Zinch last patch. No, there's only the Regiments of Renown Exalted. No, no, sorry. Yes, they do have Exalted Heroes of Zinch. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, if I was to recruit another one, another Nurgle's Rot, you'll notice here that I can dedicate this one to Zinch. However, in my opinion, Nurgle will be best. Strength. Yeah, that one's all right. Zach Hodges did a fifty dollars super chat. Uh, thank you so much for all you do for the community. Is there a Doomstack that can take on the Chaos Dwarf Iron Demon Doomstack with these? Uh, probably like a single entity Doomstack would would deal with it pretty easily. Something anti large and armor piercing would probably be able to handle it quite easily. Short answer to that is yes. There's probably quite a few. Thanks for the um, super chat. That's very generous of you. As Archeon, can you get the two legendary heroes of Zinch in your roster? Yes, you can. Yep. All right. Let's let's have a look at how far off we are with that. So, where is it? Warriors Hall. So I need to build. Okay, we got to get to tier four. So I think that was for Eckold, Hellbrass, and then this one here. Yeah, tier four. So we're we're getting on on our way there. Four. This is decreed by me. Invade. Why is Nurgle the best? Because they regenerate and they just, they just got really good abilities. Now I want to keep this as high level as possible, so just occupy it. Oh no! Oh, 
okay, they... So oh, hang on, I'm just thinking, did they capture the settlement out here? Because if they did, oh, this always happens. It's hard to get it off them. I'll have to freaking go to war with them. Wait, that's... That's my Not other vassal. Okay. Whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, double shit. Fuck. Auto resolve being strong for us right now. Yeah, I don't see any more battles for a little while, so that's fine. Yeah, a lot of damage, but also a fair bit of experience. It's fine. And that is the end of Sigvold. Force a confederation. That way we get the settlement without taking, uh, dishing any, any damage to it. Yep. Good. Yeah, we keep it at tier 3. Good, good, good. He's got all the buildings here that I want. It's a shame about the port being so fucking useless. Improvised replenishment. It's not really an upgrade yet. Okay, so Sigvold will be five turns. Alright, now these guys... Oh, they fucking got it. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Alright, what I'm going to need to do here is declare war on Fart Mort here so that he goes and captures the Palace of Ruin. When you speak to the Gore Queen, Drag the Aghol into it. Also listens. Alright, yeah, do that. You shall choke on a torrent of your So what I'm hoping here is that this one goes and captures the Palace of Ruin. That way I can get it. Otherwise Yeah, I don't I don't like what's happening here. What's what's going on with them? They're out of money. Alright. It'll be a few turns before another battle occurs for him. So... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're at, we're at four. Why are we at four? What happened here? Faction plus two. What did I do to get extra corn corruption? That hasn't finished yet. Where did this other one come from? Faction plus additional one. Where did it come from, though? Because, yeah, at the moment, there's two faction and two from the character. Because I haven't done it yet. We got an extra corn corruption from somewhere. Two from faction. One is accounted for. It's quite possible. Maybe it takes a turn for these to actually come into effect. Which is weird. Ancillary, do you think? No. You got a banner. No, banners don't provide cord corruption. Uh, authority. He had four corruption. Yeah, but a few turns ago it was three. Okay, so we've still got three. We've still got four. But we're trying to keep track of this one here. We want to see if this actually increases corn authority. It's a bit of a test. Okay, so that'll be next turn that we test that out. Thing is, we got to find out where where it's all coming from. Sigvold trait? No, that doesn't give corn authority. No trait gives authority. So we got we got to see where this all comes from. So if we have a look at our skills. We've got. So there's one all authority. That doesn't count as corn authority though. So that's one. Then there's two. So that's where he gets his all authority from. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's the characters. So that's where characters is getting two. So that's accounted for. From faction, we're getting one from blood for the blood god. And then here, all authority plus one. Okay, so it's accounted for. Okay. Okay. Maybe it takes a turn before it kicks in. 
with these. Maybe it takes a turn. Let's just see. Because if I'm not mistaken, every single time I've, I've tried this in the past, it just doesn't work at all. Sigvald doesn't give global bonus. We, we've got it all accounted for. It's we got it all accounted for. It's all good. All right, you stay there for the turn. Get yourself some replenishment. And you start making your way up here. Yep. The thing is, I can't cancel this until ten turns. It's a bit annoying. Because I want that. That's a really good one because it's got spices. Spices is really good for the um, Warriors of Chaos. Alright. Commandment available over here. Warriors of Chaos commandments suck, but whatever. Wanna put armor on Archeon? Um, I don't think I've gotten any good armor so far. The tech didn't go into effect when it finished researching. Yes. But I've played extensively into Warriors of Chaos campaigns, and in the past, I've checked over multiple turns and it hasn't triggered. Now, that doesn't mean that it hasn't been fixed and just wasn't in the patch notes, but let's just check. It definitely hasn't worked in the past. Don't forget, it doesn't have a tag. Let's just see. Cru Crucicon says it's still bugged. Yeah, well, like I said, we'll just check it out. So, I definitely want to confederate... Valkia, but I need her to go and capture Palace of Ruin first. No, 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 no. Go, go that way. Go that way. Hmm. No, I, I want to kill you at some point. So you just wait there. Which kind of spices grow in the chaos ways? Something is wrong with this trade good. Probably coriander. <laughs> okay, so we've finished the technology that I've been claiming for ages is bugged. Don't expect that to have increased because we need to actually put in a gift of corn. So I'll just take something that's going to give us benefits. So this one here. Okay. We're still at four. But we'll give it until next turn. Okay. We're still at four. But we'll give it one more turn before we go. Ah! It's bugged. Okay. All right. Remember what it said. We've been keeping track of it. Corn authority plus one for each active gift of corn. No tags on that. See, that one's got tags. All armies. That one, no, no tag. But we'll wait until next turn before we say it's actually bugged. Okay, one more turn. That's okay. Alright, Archeon. What's the quickest way? Yeah, go, go by land. Oh shit, my income took a big jump. Hmm. Alright, now that we're done with that, let's get to profane weaponry so that we can actually upgrade our Chaos Knights.
Okay, Prince Ograx can level up. Might as well, whatever. Good. So yeah, hopefully they come over here and capture the Palace of Ruin. Okay, moving on. Oh, did I forget to move these two? I think I did, yeah. It's alright. Do further Mantico, Mantico text boost doggos was gone for a while and probably missed it? I definitely answered that question, and I don't know. I don't think so. Holy shit, do you know if it's possible to turn on live capturing for your streams? What do you mean by that? So that you can restream my streams? It's weird. I guess it's possible. Alright, so. If it's not bugged, our corn authority will go up to 5. If it is bugged, it'll stay at 4. Hang on, I just need to clear my throat and get ready because I'm going to scream. <laughs> oh, I've got no more tea. Just make sure my throat's all nice. Here's the big question. Am I right or am I wrong? I could be wrong. That's happened before. You meant close captioning like at the words of the bottom of the screen what you're saying. Uh, while live? No, that's not possible. No, that's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I don't know. I think YouTube struggles a little bit to interpret what I say because of my accent a little bit. I mean, I don't have a thick accent, but... Yeah. Maybe American streamers, they can do it with. It actually works! It does actually work now. Cool. It works! They must have fixed it at some point and just not put it in the patch notes, but it, it's fixed. Yeah, it's fixed. Why didn't they put that in the patch notes? You know how happy I would have been? <laughs> Why didn't they put it in the patch notes? It was that's been bugged for a really long time, and it's now fixed. Cool. Why didn't they put that in the patch notes? No, it's definitely fixed. Look, let's do this. Let's do this. I'll take this off. I'll kick it off. Uh, remove this one. Alright, so if we wait until next turn, it should go back down to 4 again. Cody White did a 5 dollar super chat. As Carl, have you ever tried ignoring the secessionist and moving him straight up to Mendenheim? No, that doesn't seem to make much sense. Um, no sister to 5 dollar super chat. Adding subs closed caption with a disclaimer it may not be accurate would allow deaf, hard of hearing gamers to enjoy while they otherwise couldn't. Fair enough. Um, I just don't know anything about that. Sorry. Like, I would enable it if I saw the option. L let me just check. Let me just check if there's an option for me to turn on closed caption. Okay, just checking my stream settings. It doesn't let me. Yeah, there's definitely an option here, closed captions. It doesn't let me do it. 
It's greyed out. I don't know how to make it work. Good. Alright, well I'm glad that they fixed that. Wait, oh no, that's a different character. I'm glad they fixed that, finally. Why didn't they put that in the patch notes, though? It's like when they fixed up the Winds of Magic, they didn't put it in the patch notes. Cool, well I'll stop complaining about that now. I'm happy about that. Um, okay, good, they're making their way over here. This guy here is probably going to struggle against... Oh, he might be able to win. Bring him in. If you want to come in and help as well, that'd be good. And your army's now at full strength. Got any trolls here for me? Yep, we do. Good. So we're going to declare war on Harganeth. How strong are they? Fairly strong, but it seems like Valkyrie's keeping her at check as well. Three-way war is about to come in. But yeah, it definitely seems as though it just uh, checks on the next turn. Embarrassment, probably. It's not that big of a deal. It's just one that irked me specifically by a lot. Like, if they're going to be embarrassed about that, weren't they embarrassed about the Nakai bug? Like, that one was bloody humiliating. That's ridiculous that that was in the game for so long. Okay, everything looks good. We got no money, so let's just move on. I don't think CA knows it's fixed. They may be fixed it by accident. Don't know. I don't care if they fixed it by accident. I, that doesn't bother me as long as it's fixed. I don't care. I don't care how things get fixed as long as it gets done. But it would have been a very quick thing to do. You just have to go in and fix up the tags. For some reason, the tags don't show up on the tech tree. But it's definitely... It seems as though it's fixed. If we go back down to four core and authority, then I'll know that it is actually fixed. Come on, do it. 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 No! <laughs> what happened before the fix? It just didn't do anything at all. So, I know because I played a Bellacore campaign relatively recently, like it was a couple of hotfixes ago, and I was definitely keeping track of that, and it was not working. But yeah, at some point it got fixed, and uh, I'm grateful for that. Trading room with the Tribes Awakened for some money? Which tribe? I thought I've done them all. Uh, I haven't done it with Aghol because I may declare war on these guys. Because they've got the Palace of Ruin and I want that. It all just depends on whether or not Valkyr is able to capture it. I'm definitely rooting for Valkyr to capture it so then I can go and get it off her. But you can see here our ally, our vassal is beefing up a little bit. I don't like that. Shenanigans! Okay, here we go. What do we got here? Hero capacity for Chaos Sorcerers? That's good. That's permanent. Huh. That's a permanent buff. I'll take that. Because you can't get to your natural um, 100. Because there isn't enough um, Dark Fortresses, so that's good. That should be permanent, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it was. Alright, so let's have a look at the corn authority. Yeah, it went back down. It's it's working. Like, it's delayed by a turn. That's fine. But it, it's, it's working. Good. 
Because, like, I've showed you guys so many times campaigns where I've got, like, all of these filled out, and it just didn't add up the amount of authority as it should. And now it is adding up correctly. Alright, time to attack. There's still a decent chance that they'll be able to defeat this. Need to move in here and ambush down so they don't chicken out from this. Because our Norskan vassals tend to have really poor order resolve against major factions, so I'm still thinking that they can win that. A misplaced right. word will mean your death. Pray, speak weak and feeble. Borrow the Allied army to ensure Valkyr takes the settlement. I can't. We we only recently got these guys as a vassal. We don't have enough allegiance. It's a good good idea, but I can't do that. Well, that's. I'm very happy that that actually works now. That's great. Okay, profane weaponry. Here's the thing as well. Chaos Warriors are pretty good in order resolve. Chaos Knights? Eh, not so much. We can just get through these battles a lot quicker if we're um, staying with these units. <laughs> Alright, occupy that. This is a dark fortress for us. Move Doggo Army? I did. I did. See? This one I have it. Okay, that looks good. Alright. Alright, let's... I want to get a hero stack going. Let's have a look at what else we can do. So we got three more capacity for this. Uh, I'm just going to recruit all three of these. I'm going to put a Lord up in here. Not Sigvold. Uh, let's... Oh, I'm out of money. Okay, never mind. Okay. I'm going like take on Nurgle, because Nurgle's not very good against dealing with single entities at all. Okay, all well, this looks good. Is this a zero defeat campaign? I'm not trying to do a zero defeat campaign. I haven't suffered a defeat yet, though. What makes you determine whether you dedicate a Lord Hero to a patron god? It largely depends on what I'm trying to do with that character. So when it comes to Exalted Heroes, it's pretty much always Nurgle. Nurgle is just the best in all situations. Um, largely just because of area of effect regen, and just the abilities that they have is better than the corn and Zinch ones. Um, but that being said, if you want to get a Zinch one to put it into a Zinch army, you totally can do that. Um, as for the wizards, I feel like there's a little bit more flexibility with that. Um, Azazel boosts heroes um, attached to his army, so sometimes I give him uh, heroes that are dedicated to Slanesh. It's not great, but you can do that. No. Take that settlement. Yes. Are you doing it? Do it. Oh, yes. Take it. Take it. Occupy it. It's yours. Take it. What the fuck are you doing? Occupy it. What are you doing? <laughs> Fucking asshole. Alright, well maybe I can make a swap for the Palace of Ruin since it just got sacked. What is Nurgle good at dealing with? Seems like he has a lot of counters. Maybe Nurgle units in general, but Nurgle heroes. They pretty much have no counters. 
They're heavily armored, they're pretty quick. High melee defense, high health, they regenerate. What else could you want from them? There's, they can be small, they can be big. They're very versatile. They got better mounts than the corn ones. You go up against a missile heavy army, either go on foot or go on horseback. You go up against a non-missile heavy army, chariots. All your bases covered. So this should be a back at five again. Yep. No, it's working. It is working now. Well, that's good. I'm going to stop complaining about that now. Alright. If I get any closer... Yeah, let me just see. Trade this for... It's called Palace of Ruin. Give it to me. Okay. Now we're talking. Alright, he's willing to give it to me. So what I could do here is... This guy should be damaged. Yeah, I'll make that deal. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding. Give me the Palace of Ruin time. for next to nothing. And I actually get some money out of them for that. Done deal. Accepted. Good. Very rarely have I been able to pull that settlement away from them. I was just very lucky that this guy was nearby. Now. Melee attack for Chaos Trolls and Chaos Feral Manticores. So not for um Warhounds, but still, Chaos Trolls. This is where Chaos Trolls become really good. You get enough of these, which there's a few around the campaign map. Um, you can get their melee attack up by a huge amount. So get them spices going. Get that going. And I need to be in position to defend the settlement. Um, so that means I need to force march. No, I don't. I need to stand... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I need to recruit a lord here. Uh, metal will do. Yeah, you'll do. Okay, and if he stands right here, he's defending the settlement, because I don't think this guy's going to like the strike. FCP83 did a 20 rupee super chat, I think. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Did another 20 rupee super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Again. Good, he's on a Chaos Steed. That's what we'd like to see. Alright. I'm going to recruit these two units. And these four. To help defend it. Because, yeah, we've got no garrison in there. And this one's coming in to assist as well. Don't go in too far, hard and fast. So if we survive this turn here with these guys, I will transfer the Chaos Troll, well, actually all the units, into this army. What? Ready. My destiny lies this way. Okay, all looking good. Alright, let's go into ambush stance here and try to lure some of their armies out this way so I can kill them. Because I'm not seeing anything there. If you go and capture Nagra, that's fine, but Dargoth is mine. Even though there's wood there, I can't make use of it, but I can make use of the obsidian there. So far, I've gotten everything that I wanted to get. There's nothing that I haven't been able to, to grab. Alright, now over here, we said we're going to make a new army eventually. So, we need... Yeah, there's no more exalted heroes I can get, but I can get some more wizards. Unearthly reflexes. Cool, let's get one of those. You know what? I'm actually going to save you. And I'm just down to money. Alright, we've got the exact amount of vassals to Gifts of Chaos ratio. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, did you know as well that factions that you confederate are technically considered your vassal as well? Sometimes, yeah. This is just a weird thing that goes on with this game. Okay. Slaughter the sheep. All right, looking good. This guy's got to level up. Hmm. 
That's the magic. The gods smile. Are manticores useful at all? I use them like great eagles. I think if you can get yourself a couple of pastures, then they're very useful, but in the early stage of the campaign, they're fucking rubbish. And you don't want to use them against armies that have magical attacks, so try to stick to sort of the middle band of the map. Stay away from the northern and southern chaos wastes, because that's where all the magic attacks show up. There was another aspiring champion. Oh, okay, it was too late now. Specs. Legend, do you play on 1440p? I play on 1440p, but I stream at 1080p. Yeah, that's what I wanted to have happen. Oh, they saw us anyway. That must mean that they think they're as strong as us. That must be Hellebron, then. There's no way anyone else would be willing to go to war, uh, like, face up against Archeon, though. So what's going to happen here. Yeah, they're bitch. Oh, look how damaged their army is. Of course, they're going to bitch out. I know he hates Rampage, but I got Manticores are like 70% physical. Yep, yep, yep. Once you get it to that point, it doesn't really matter if they Rampage. For sure. Like I said, great in the late stages, bad in the early stages. Because, yeah, once you're at like 70 to 90% physical resistance, who cares if they Rampage? Mike K says, holy shit. Lynn. I haven't seen you since ninth grade. How's it going, buddy? Talking to me? Okay. Siggy's here. Fart mouth is a coward. Fart, fart mort. Um, well, to be fair to him, his army is not that good, and, you know, these doggos, they're experienced. Yeah. I foresee destruction. Right, you force march up to here. Destruction for all. You have my favor. You tempt my wrath. So try to catch him if we can. Let us just chill there for now. Any more? Hang on, let me have a look here. Yeah, you're right. There was another aspiring champion. Okay. Maybe I'll give all the aspiring champions over to this guy, but I'm not sure if that's the army that I want to. Definitely. Oh, I thought that would be, um, Hellebron. Man, she got some balls. Yeah, I was gonna say. Mm, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, just occupy that. Will never hold us. Be a good, 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 good. Spirit of Walker. Good. Excellent. All right, if we encounter a Hellebron, unless she's like level forty, I think we'll be fine to fight her. Alright, I reckon I can get this guy to attack us if I put this army in a vulnerable position. Moving. Yeah, that's what I think. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. It depends if this one here um, gets detected or not. We will see. Uh, didn't someone say before we didn't have any armor on Archeon? Let me just see if I've got any. Yeah, I got the armor of fortune. I might as well put that on him. And a hand weapon. I don't have a whole lot. Okay, I got two obsidian pieces of crap here. Let's fuse that, see if we get a weapon. Sometimes you just make a wrong decision. <laughs> Very silly. 
My hand sees gold and it goes, oh, gold, shiny gold. No. No, you dumb dumb. That was the wrong move. Whoops. That was a dumb dumb. I had two shit items, but I was going to fuse them. I'm just going to, in my head cannon, assume I just transmuted that into a trickster shard. <laughs> Which, if you're not familiar, it's the worst item in the game, pretty much. So, I'm just, my head cannon was just, that's what it's going to be. Okay, we can now upgrade to Chaos Knights. Let's let's do that. Let's go full Chaos Knights. Let's go full... You know what I'm going to say. Alright, so all of these guys here can go... Let's see. Do we want regular Chaos Knights or do we want Lancers? Both of them have shields. Chaos Knights have better melee attack, but the other ones have way better charge bonus. Sorry, melee defense. They've all got magical attacks. Alright, I'm going to go with just regular Chaos Knights because they're a little bit cheaper. And honestly, charge bonus, it is good. But melee defense is pretty important. You want to have that durability. Blip. This guy needs one more rank. Yep. And then these... Okay, there we go. Okay. His, his Doom shit stack is almost ready. That costs a lot more money as well. Good thing we future prepared for it with hammer and anvil for that melee defense and stuff. This will actually be fairly good against early game Dark Elves, I think, because of all the Dark Shards. Because these, these are fairly quick in Archaeon's army. Alright, next thing we need, I think, would be... All authority would be good. Okay, weapon strength for Chaos Trolls, Chaos Giants, Cockatrice units. Oh yeah, I forget we can get Cockatrice. Missile resistance for... Yeah, that that's pretty good. That's really friggin' good. Because I am building that army. What are the best horse archers in the game? Illyrian horse archers from the High Elves. They have the longest range, they're nice and quick. Definitely the best. I'll just wait till next turn. There's no rush on this. Moving on. Any construction? No, because we're out of money. Moving on. What about Royal Hippogriff Knights? What about them? Oh, Mega Elite 19, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. He has a 1080 so I don't think so. No, no, I'm playing. Look, I'll show you. I'm playing on 1440p. Pause that. Yeah, 1440p. Runs a lot better when I don't have OBS on, but yeah, same with everything. Can you do the quest battle now? When I've got all of them to be knights, then I'll do the quest battle. He's going for it. Oh! Ambush didn't work. That's okay. That's probably order resolvable. Yeah, look at that. I put a banner on, and it makes my army shit. Well, it does worse in order resolve. Um, you know what? I actually want to fight this manually, and I want to see the doggos in action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep these guys not doing anything. They're probably gonna rush at me, but I want to, I want to put the doggos in action against this. Let's see how. Sandor Kilgain goes up against all this, because I reckon we'll do pretty well. Legend, you forgot the banner! Yeah, I did. 
Do you have any advice for someone just started streaming Warhammer 3? Quit now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm such an inspiration. Okay, have any advice for you? All right, get like a couple of streams under your belt. Just like get OBS or, or whatever recording software you want. Do some live streams between one hour and 20 hours, whatever you want to do. Then message me on Discord and ask to be invited to the um, creator network. The Total War Creator Network. But you have to have already done some live streams. And you have to be committed to keep doing those live streams, right? Otherwise, there's no point in you being in the network, right? Then I'll add you to the Discord. And you'll have then a bunch of creators who are also fairly large. From fairly large to upcoming, as in small. That you can get advice from and, and sort of figure out how you're going to go about streaming. If that is what you want to do. Yeah. Having a good, there's some really good people in there, and some shit ones, no, I'm just kidding. Everyone's really good, very supportive people, and there's a lot of resources within the Discord there that you can use to, um, you know, information that you can use to, to improve your streams and help grow your channel. That's what I would recommend. That or quit. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Alright, I'm going to withdraw all of these guys from the battlefield. Because they're, they're too fast. Leave it all up to the doggos. See, that, that army there was just bait for the real army to show up. The real forces. Doggos. Oh no, an army of dogs. Don't underestimate dogs. Yeah, suck on them shitties. Let's go. What the hell is shitties? It's like titties, but shitty. I'm getting tired, I think. Yeah, I'm at five and a half hours in the stream. That makes sense. Yeah, don't fight Marauder. Uh, I mean, uh, sparring champions. Mr. Loser, nice name by the way, did a $50 super chat. Appreciate the content as always, legend. Have a good stream, Chief. No worries, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you for... That's a very generous super chat. Appreciate it. I don't know where it is. I think I like the purple super chats the best. Because I don't get Ligma, and I feel like it's... Like, it's, it's, it's still very generous. But red feels... Feels like it's too much, you know? We still have the leadership penalty. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer. No, no, we're good. Get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. You, you stay there. Few broken units. That should rally. Yep, and they all rallied, that's good. Sandor Clegane is kicking everyone's ass, as expected. I think I killed one of their characters. Don't like fighting near the edge of the map because our units have a habit of running and then rallying. 
But now that they're starting to get some experience under their belt, they are becoming a lot more reliable, which is very nice. Come on, Riley. Yeah, see, it wasn't that bad. Get over here, guys. Nice big mosh pit. Michael Snigurski did a 5 euro super chat. Yo Legend, looking great King. Great to see you using melee armies. Is it a missile spam? Yeah, you're right. I, I normally use missile spam when playing as the Warriors of Chaos. But I decided to do something a bit different today. <laughs> Thank you super chat. Appreciate you. Take that fart mort. I gotta get myself some pastures, it's so good for warhounds. I'm not gonna find any in Nagaroth. I need to go into the Empire. There's heaps in the Empire. So yeah, they handled that pretty well, I think. Yeah, definitely definitely not a doom stack, but you can make it work. If you go up against a fairly small army, this is a nice mobile hit and run sort of army. Ken B did a five euro super chat. Sorry, five dollar super chat. A dog's gotta eat. Yep. Um si Silver Fox Subscribe Prime and Blackbeard. 060180 subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. He says hi. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate the subs. Hey, we got 625 viewers on Twitch. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. And we had 4,000 on YouTube, which, honestly, that is the largest non-special event live stream that we've had in a while. So, maybe live streams are starting to do better. Maybe. Maybe I'll come back a bit more often. Maybe. What was it that passes give a, as a buff? 5% physical resistance for Warhounds and Manticores. Oh, we wiped them out completely. Good. Alright, I will take the souls. Do you bring the curse? No. Have you ever tried holding off on doing some of the quests until you get mentors so your dudes get loads of bonus XP? I did that with Moon Double XP buff and three Archeon quests. That's interesting. I never thought about doing that. Um, hmm, interesting. How many average views for you to dye your hair bright pink? I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to do that. Because I'm just not I'm not one of those streamers. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not, I guess I'm going to claim, call them um, humiliation streamers, people who humiliate themselves for money. That's, to I don't have a problem with people doing that, like bathtub streamers, grown men getting into a bathtub, whatever, whatever, I don't care. If you want to do that, all the more power to you, but that's kind of humiliating, I think, I'm just, yeah, 
I'm just not into humiliating myself for money. Not anymore, at least. Okay, so Harganeth, we don't want that. We want the Black Pillar and Spite Ranch. Yeah, they can keep Kuark. We wiped out that army. So how many settlements does she have? The Lord of she has peace. She's got two settlements. These two out here. Okay, a little thing that could happen. It's very, very risky. If you occupy Dagrak's End and then Harganeth comes over here and occupies Ashrak, that could be a problem. So what we want to do here is... Oh, wait. She Your wiped out. Yeah, she's just that wiped. Besiege this and wait for this to fall and then take Dagrak's End. Yes, my ruinous powers! The gods direct me! Alright, we need to shuffle this around. So, what's, what's this one? Was it Metal Wizard? Yeah, Metal Wizard. And this one here is also Metal Wizard, isn't it? No, it's a Fire Wizard. Okay, this one is Trolls, so I'm going to call this guy... Oops. Okay. Let's be about this. Move. Yeah, all the trolls are here. Mhm. Mm I foresee this. And honestly, Harold should stay with that army. And I don't know what I'm doing with this one yet. Yeah, I have no idea. We shall weave the fates. So we got Gregor Clegane with trolls and Sandor Clegane with hounds. Because I don't know, there's no unit in the game called mountains. <laughs> Forward unto slaughter! Also, he's a wizard, which. Yeah, I can't. Well, you know, he's got his face covered, so, alright. Close enough. By the Eldritch I see. Why is he seeing so many cavalry units? Does he get a buff? I'm just doing something a bit different. They definitely did not get a buff. I'm just doing something a bit different. Alright. Alright, alright. Yeah, don't worry about. Oh, hang on, we got a bunch of money. It looks like nothing that needs construction. Okay, so let's get ourselves more of this hero stack going. Yeah, I just want more metal wizards. My magic is yours. My magic is yours. What am I going to do with Sigvold? Don't know. Um, Chaos Sorcerer Lord. So who's going to command this hero stack? Hmm. I don't know. I'll just get another one of these. And start attaching them all. We shall spread rot quicker. Magic is chaos. It's mars. winds. There is only one. Alright, I'll, I'll fix the rest of it up later. Okay, then as for Sigvold, is there any Slanesh corruption left over this way? Still a little bit. So I might be able to pick up some Slanesh shits. Yeah, I can pick up some of that. Alright, let's have a look. What are we going to give him? What, what does he do? Leadership plus five for the army. Cool, whatever. What else does he do? Yep. Melee defense, physical resistance. So no matter what we give, he's going to have physical resistance. Okay. And melee defense. Driven by lost. Okay. Expendable for all non-character units. Fascination. Oh, right. That's for the Lord's Army. Okay. I'm thinking just like... We could go Chaos Knights of Slanesh. Or we could go... 
Did he? Did has he any waste any points? He has wasted a point. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we'll do then. Grab these two. And these. Because, yeah, what I can do is mark them with Slanesh. Oh, I need to learn uh, that thing first. Um, same thing with that one. And then just respec him. And put him back in here when he comes back. Yeah, you'll do. Ready. Yes, my ruinous powers. A glorifying act. Yeah, and I'll just give him friggin' chosen or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. We'll see. Alright. I think we're done with the turn. I should be able to make it there next turn. There's just a ruin anyway. Mm-hmm. Ready. Wait, how is he already able to move this far? I only just recruited the Lord then. How is he able to move already? Define Full movement. Me. Interesting. Movement bug. Interesting. Alright. Okay, there's Slanesh Corruption out here, and there's quite a lot of Slanesh units, so let's let's have a little bit of a jog over this way. Pick up some of them, pick up some of these, and no Chaos Warriors available. It's going to be a shit army for a while, so he'll have to be very careful. Alright, if we're going to do that, then we should get Sensuous Branding Iron as soon as we're finished with... Whatever the hell we're doing. Uh, giant manticle. Man manacles, right. Okay, and let's... Just to um. take for all. A glorifying act. Now. Let us corrupt. Mm. My prayers are answered. Good. And let's move on. Hey, Snake Nerd Gamer. How's it going, dude? Good to see you. Redman5252, subscribe with Prime, and Alpa2210, subscribe with Tier 1. They subscribe for two months, going there two months, drink. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. He buffs aspiring champions, too. Yeah, but Aspiring Champions are undivided units, and Sigvold is Slanesh, so we're going to give him specifically Slanesh units. It'd be good if eventually they added, like, champions that are Monogod, like, um... Aspiring champions of Slanesh, that'd be good. Wouldn't it be interesting as well is that you've got aspiring champions, and then if you upgrade them again, like you get to tier 9 aspiring champions, and then they can turn into an exalted hero. Like, increase your capacity of them. That'd be cool. And I feel like that would make more sense with the Warband system if that was the way it worked rather than just recruiting one. Give him Dragon Ogre Shaggis. That's for Kolek, which I'm not gonna. Don't think we're gonna get him today. This guy over here, this one is my exalted, exalted, uh, sorry, aspiring champion, Doomstack. These two units will be handed over to Valkyrie once we get her. So we don't need to disband them, we just need to carry them around with us. They will be dominated. Unleash chaos. Oh, okay. 
I should be able to hand it over to them. Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? Glacial. What the fuck? No, I can't. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll just have to hold on to it myself for a little while. I foresee destruction. Is this all the same region? Yes. Pick up that troll. Good to see we've been picking up more trolls lately. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Alright, what are we doing with you? So here's Harganeth, her capital. My hatred. Hmm. I like it. According to this, he can't reach here this coming turn because he's in Force March. He's only just going to reach it. Obviously, don't want him gaining any territory. We've got plenty of this, so I, I could I could grab him and have him reinforce. Yeah, right. You're mine. When's the next time he's even going to be available to grab? Who knows? Should I grab the back black pillar first? No, I should grab Harganeth and hand it over to them. The way I don't have to look after it. Because this is no, of no value to me whatsoever, whereas the other two is of high value. And get this one to grab the black pillar, and Archeon to get Spite Reach. I think. Cool. <laughs> Performed pretty well in order resolve. Okay, so we want to keep order resolving as much as possible with Archeon, because it really helps speed up the, uh, the, the experience growth on our units here. If we want to get them to Chaos Knights. Ooh. Ooh, I like money. I'm going to take money. It's going to go down to tier one anyway. Not too worried about these souls. Okay, and then... Yeah, just stay there for the turn. And then next turn hand it over to them, because that way we get more replenishment. Which is good. Alright. She's not very strong. I'm not expecting to get counterattacked over here, so we should be fine to force march. And then this one's still just picking up units for Siggy. It's a good unit. Not for him, though. Anything left over here? No. Hmm. Alright, just needs two more units. Also, we don't really need to send Sigvald over here. Could send him to go and start smashing down on World Walkers. However, he is not ready to handle the full might of that faction. And I doubt that Varga's coming back. I'm pretty sure they got confederated. Hard to tell. Doesn't tell you if that is the case. Right, we also need Sensuous Branding Iron. So that we can convert them all to Slanesh. Could have him hang around Archeon, maybe. That way he'll get some good experience out that way. And it'll complement our cavalry stack. Siggy's very good with the sparring champion stack. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's just not what I'm doing. He's very good with a lot of things. Whoop, yeah. He doesn't have any specific doom stack. Um... Yeah, actually, just leave it as a ruin. That doesn't provide any value to us. Okay, then over here to the other army. Send him to the Donut. Donut's a bit far away. And also, he's got a shit army. He needs to train up a bit first. He needs an easy punching bag, and then he can go to the Donut. Or wherever. My magic is magic. Hopefully Festus is still alive. Alright, so we're halfway through getting a hero stack together. 
Don't have enough capacity for them. What is thy will? I'm in no rush. Yeah. Just trying to decide whether or not I want to go after examples of Hashut, because the Chaos Dwarves are not good against single entities. Or going after Nurgle, who is also not good against single entities. Probably Nurgle. Because they're they're shit. And it'll be easy to kill them. Yeah, okay, moving on. What the fuck is this game? I just beat a sailing out garrison during end turn, leading only two damage units. And now beginning of my turn, garrison is full again with two damage units. Is this usual? Yes, it is. So, yep. Yeah. This is what happens, right? If you damage a unit, it will get regular replenishment. But if you wipe out a unit in its entirely, if it's a garrison that is, it will come back the next turn in full. Yes, that is correct. So you're actually bettering, better off just damaging a unit over the end turn, if it's garrison that is, not wiping it out. Why are you doing a hero stack? The eye of I mean, do I... Hero stacks are great. Why, why not do that? Exalted hero of Nurgle. Yeah, I just don't have enough capacity for a full stack of them. That's pretty dumb. I agree. Convoy. Okay, thanks for the money. <laughs> Go the safe way around here. Red design. All right, so we got seven I units there against their five. Should be able to manage it with this, because this is this is not weak. Speak while you can. There'll be a reckoning. Ravage them. Good. It's getting stronger in order as all. We will seek bloody vengeance. Ready for the next DLC? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm not really that fussed anymore about new DLC. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm excited for it, but, like, my level of hype for Warhammer 3 has gone from, like, 10 out of 10, from, like, 2021, to, like, 3 out of 10. Like, I'm, like, moderately hyped, but I'm also scared. <laughs> scared of more Creative Assembly bullshit. I don't think they're gonna do it. I don't think they're gonna do any bullshit. But we'll, we'll just see. I will decapitate you! We shall weave the fates! Okay, I don't think she's got it in her to lightning strike us. No, I don't think so. But she might sit in the settlement there with all of that. Yes, my ruinous powers. That might work. It probably won't, but we'll see. Okay, spite reach is a settlement that I want to keep. This gives us melee attack for marauder units faction wide. That's pretty friggin' good. That actually can make Marauder units dish out more damage than Chosen. I mean, you gotta get a lot of that. But I believe that also applies to these Marauders, I, th I think. I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, how about you to have your How does that sound? Reading, but you have my time. All right. It's done. Cool. And yeah, we're working on our hero stack over here. Looks the Finally, you need a boon. What is thy will? Alright, that looks good. And we haven't moved this guy yet. 
Siggy should be available again real soon. Just needs two more units. Not forsaken. Yep. Grab them. All good. And let's move on. I'm worried about CA because of what you said. They do good for a while, then they do bullshit, and then do terrible, and then apologize. Yeah, well, we're at the end of that cycle now. So we're at the beginning of the next golden age, basically. Well, pff, okay, that's... that's We're at the beginning of the beginning of the... Almost, we'll get there eventually. You know, things, things can only go up from here stage. So to put things in perspective, we're at the post Rome 2 period. Do you remember when Rome 2 came out? CA was really apologetic post Rome 2. So it was like, we're so sorry, we're going to do better. We're going to make all these free updates. We're going to get things back on track. That's where we are right now. That was 10 years ago. So the cycle has gone full circle. And now they're back to, we're so sorry, we'll do better. So that means the type of games that we can expect. We already had the Thrones of Britannia. We already had... Um, yeah, Thrones was the Thrones of Britannia. So we're like, right before the period where they should release a banger game. <laughs> Hopefully. And then... You know, three or four years from now, it'll just be the same thing. They'll release another reskinned cash grab that's one quarter of the map it should be. They'll be mass banning people on the forums. Be all kinds of controversies, and then we'll be right back at square one again. Oh, I can catch you. Flee. Do it. Wipe them out. Unless they're gonna catch me in ambush. Oh, they were trying to ambush me. Ooh, sneaky. They could have potentially ambushed me. Our army's not that susceptible to ambush because we're cavalry. How about that? They tried to pull a sneaky on me. It didn't work, though. Um, should I fight this manually? I kind of feel like I should. Alright, let's do it. Forty K might end up being that banger. Yeah, maybe I hope that it is. Hope that it is. Look, I really do hope that Creative Assembly doesn't repeat the cycle again. But it's happened a lot of times now. If Empire sorry, if CA releases an Empire DLC and not reworking them, for example, you can still ally a Skaven but not minor Empire factions, Carl Balthazar, will you still consider it a good DLC? Um, I think that's a very arbitrary thing to judge a DLC on. Wait, you do this a lot, dead like me. You you pick something that is like unbelievably arbitrary and be like, if it is not this exact thing, it's bad. Like I think that's it's yeah it's just, yeah it's, like I said just very arbitrary. <laughs> all right, we've got Vanguard deployed with all of our guys, so we should just get in there and kill these Reaper bolt throwers straight away. I should do it from the rear. Because that way they have to turn around. It takes time. Right of the Rohirrim. <laughs> Yeah, see, they're super disorganized.
I'm giving an example of many issues. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but you know, you, that's what you said. You didn't say that was just one example. You said that that's that one specific thing. I think you have to look at it and uh, see whether or not it's overall good or bad. You see, because a lot of those things is not really DLC related, more to do with patches. It, it, See, a DLC can be good, and the patch can be bad. It can be separate. Trying to do magic, huh? Well, I've got healing. Mm, blubbling like this with cavalry? Not really a great idea. Let's pull that back. All right, we need to go and hit Hellebron up. What's she on? Okay, she got lots of missile resistance. A bit. What would be your defeat trait IRL? Um, it would be cheese eater. No, it would be lactose intolerant. No, that, that would be what the defeat trait would be. Lactose intolerant. Said, you have defeated the ultimate cheese master. Uh, plus... Plus 1% to your melee attack on a Tuesday when it's raining. Creative Assembly would give me a really shit defeat trait. Come on. So yeah, cavalry, really bad against single entities. But we didn't suffer any casualties. Just need to get them back. Yes, Chieftain! Quick! Now! Come on, Arkeon. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> just some random wizard. Oh, shit. Get out of there. Minus five diplomacy with creative assembly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's what it would be. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Minus five diplomacy with all factions. Your game instantly crashes. Yeah, your game instantly crashes because it's not possible for you to get my defeat trait. This is not possible. You must have cheated. The game crashes. <laughs> Instantly, Altair falls out of the game. Would be CA defeat trait? I don't know. Greed is good. Costs are up. Plus 5% extra costs. Uh, extra. All of your units cost 5% extra. Sorry, 150% extra per turn, faction wide. Costs are up. <laughs> yeah. Another negative trait. Yeah, see, they're doing all right against her. Not, not fantastic. They need more buffs. And she's hard to hit, and she's got a lot of resistance. Can 
this one. Yeah, they're slowly killing her. Okay, pull these back. You gotta love it when they don't obey your orders. Charging downhill like this is best because that way it possibly knocks them down and just breaks their neck that way. Good. Twan Ten Ho did a two Euro Super Chat CA defeat rate plus 10 happiness in all settlements. No. <laughs> why, would, why would it do that? Thanks for Super Chat. They can't gain experience if they don't fight. Well, actually, the, the, they can, actually. Over the end turn. Exalted hero of Nurgle. Quick! Okay, Archeon is fighting against Hillebron. I don't anticipate him having any real problems there. Also, that's a good defeat trait for Archeon. That'll be, what, five extra melee attack? That's not bad. Okay, you need to get over to Archeon and heal him. Alright, if we have a look here, we've lost a lot of health, but most of them haven't really taken that many casualties. out Hellebron, we don't want her fighting again over the end turn. Yeah, that was an interesting little ambush she pulled on us. Not strong enough to do anything, just interesting. Which characters is it okay to get the Sword of Cain with? Usually any Beastman characters are the best ones. Outside of that, you really need to make a judgement call on it because there are no good characters that you should get it for. Apart from Beastmen ones. Be Beastmen uh, mitigate all of the penalties. Because they don't have public order, everybody fucking hates them anyway, and they don't have upkeep. So you could do it with Tomb Kings, they don't have upkeep, but they have public order problems, so... Depends. If you're not playing on Legendary difficulty, then it's usually fine. But if you are playing on Legendary difficulty, you probably shouldn't pick up the Sword of Cain. You can do it with the High Elves if you really must. Like, if you really have a boner for the Sword of Cain, you can, you can do it, because you can mitigate most of the penalties. But it is not optimal to ever pick up the Sword of Cain. Like, you should... It really should be the way it is, sort of, like, from a lore perspective. You should only pick up the Sword of Cain when you're fucking desperate. You're on your absolute last legs, and you just happen to stumble across this dickhead sword, right? You pick it up, and you kill a bunch of armies, and then you just put, put it back. It's not there for you to, oh look, I have a hundred settlements, I'll pick this up and have no ramifications for it. Where's Prince Algrax? That's him there. Yeah, you can assign him any of the um, Chaos Gods. You can make him Zinch, Nurgle, or Corn, but not Slanesh, not yet. Which, by the way, no sign of any Slanesh DLC at this stage. Yeah, the damage is pretty minimal, apart from these two here that fought Slanesh. 
Oh man. That's in reach of spite reach. Ew. And the garrison there is shit. Well, they've only got five units, so if I get you over there... I was, I was going to take you to the Black Pillar. Oh, no, hang on. You can just finish them off. Probably fucking get ambushed by something else. No, it's all good. Legend, what do you think about saving leading characters? I feel like it makes the campaign even more easier. Yep, I I enjoy it because I like trait farming. That's the main reason why I do it. If you don't like it, then don't do it. But I have no problem with it. Because it comes with, like, if you save a level 50 character, it'll cost you, what, 40 grand in order to, to re-recruit it? I feel like that's kind of fair. Like, what happens if you've got a character that you've been playing with, with your campaign, and you just really enjoy this character, and you want to use him in another campaign? I think features like that are good to have, and then people can just choose not to use them. But I really fucking hate gatekeeping. People that go like, Err, I don't like this mechanic, therefore it should be removed from the game. If you don't like it, fucking don't use it. I am the chosen. Alright, we definitely want to keep Grond, but I'll go to the Great Arena first because it's closer. And we will give that to them. Okay. Good. Alright, this over here, Another this looks a bit tormentor. iffy. I will decapitate you. Yeah, that's not gonna be easy to beat with Are with doggos. Okay, so that is more than two full stacks, but we've got more than two full stacks. Maybe I can yes, beat it. Problem here is Valkyr. Valkyr will be very fucking hard to kill. She's level 20. Are you mindless or foolhardy? She'll be very hard to kill with friggin' dogs. She's anti-large though, isn't she? Silence, worm. Hmm. And she's very quick. No. I will decapitate you. She's got a lot of heroes. By the Eldritch I see. I got a troll. It has corrupted. And two full stacks up in here. To pick up some more coronate stuff since I was gonna give it to her anyway. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it. We'll use the doggos first, and once the doggos are spent. I'm probably going to deny enemy reinforcements so I can use this in waves. Alright, you recruit some of this shit. Uh, you recruit some some other crap. No, not doggos. Okay, and we'll see how we go. Auto resolve, auto resolve, auto resolve. Yes. Okay, how bad is it? Oh, that's really bad. We can't have that. Okay. Alright, what are we dealing with here? There's a lot of shit. A lot of shit. So she comes in in a minute 30. These will likely come in in two minutes. So she'll come in first, probably. We should endeavor to try to kill this guy quickly. That way, everyone's got lower leadership. The doggos will be able to handle anything with light armor, but anything with heavy armor will be fucking impossible. Um, okay, yeah, don't control large armies, and we'll just bring them in a bit at a time. Okay, let's go. This is the biggest battle of the campaign. Want to make corn dogs? Okay, so you can get corn dogs, but I can only put six of them in an army. What difficulty? What's the name of the the title of this live stream? Lord of the End Times Archeon Easy Difficulty Live Stream. Okay. <laughs> Iria Dor, subscribe to Tier 1. That's subscribed for two months. I always enjoy your streams and videos. Have a good one. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Sorry if I missed anyone that subscribed and I didn't mention it. Alright, so they're coming in... Yeah, two minutes, that one. 
Which means we have got to take out that army quickly. Do you see him? Yeah, he's hanging out over there. Hmm. We definitely don't want to be fighting out here. Fifty-one seconds until they come in. I don't know if I want the trolls coming in first. I kind of want them to come in and soften them up and use the trolls last. So let's put the trolls over here. So they've got a real long time to come in. Um, actually, you know what? A mix of infantry and trolls could actually be good for us. When the time comes. All right. Go, 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 go. We got a bit of time to eat up these two units. This will help us out a bit if we take these two out. Especially the Chaos Warhounds and the Chaos Trolls should be easy. This guy killing him in two minutes is not going to be easy. In fact, I don't think that's going to happen. But I'll do the best I can. Come on, move. It's actually less than two minutes. You've only got a one minute. These two units here should be easy. Luckily, no Spellcaster here. to show up. Thirty-eight seconds. There's no time to get back. No time for killing him. Let's just get him later. Cause yeah, Valkyr will beat the shit out of this guy. Okay, you guys can't stay here. Get to the middle of the map. Now, all of these doggos might do okay against Valkyr. Maybe. We've got to lure her away, though. At least these these doggos, uh, these trolls did not do much. Okay. I need you to get Valkyr's attention. Oh, shit, there's a wizard. Basic wizard. Okay, that's fine. So much for being corn focused. Okay, she is not advancing ahead of her army, which is what I was hoping to do. Just lure her down this way. Okay, at this point here, there's no way the balance of power is in our favor. Legend, can you revive and confederate an in-game scenario faction? Depends on which faction you're playing and depends on your settings. But the short answer is yes, the long answer is probably not. If you're playing green skins, then yes. But yeah, you, if, if for anyone else, you pretty much have to enable diplomacy. So let's just play, a, uh, say you're playing a Skaven and you revive... You're playing a Skaven and you've got Skaven endgame crisis and you revive Snitch and you can't do diplomacy with him, then you can't confederate him. At least they're wasting all their magic, but I was hoping to get them to come at us. Alright, maybe I have to give her something that is enticing to go after. So, with 100 speed, mm, this one's not too slow, okay. She didn't have a lot of magic, did she? Because she's not casting anymore. She would have enough magic by now. Cast again. Okay, here's something we could do. Maybe charge at the flanks. They're quite weak. The Flesh Hounds of Corn. Yeah, they're... They're not that good. You just massively outnumber them. 
We've also got this summon. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, she's advancing. Okay, good. This is what we wanted. Yeah, we wanted to advance and split up her forces. Okay, isolated units over here. Let's go sort them out. Why is it I get bored whenever I play Worm 3, but I can literally watch you play an entire day and never get bored? <laughs> Try playing Warhammer 3 and talking to your units in Skaven voice. That might make it a bit more entertaining for you. <laughs> Whenever that something happens, make sure you squeal. Go, you know, have your wife come out and be like, are you okay? <laughs> like, my unit didn't do what I told them to do. She's like, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, they are not interested in engaging with us. Look at this, they are not at all interested. Looked like they were about to cast another spell, but I didn't see anything. So those doggos did not do well. Because I don't I didn't think we take much damage. Alright, so they just brought in a chosen unit. Yeah, try to avoid them and just withdraw these units when there's nothing but super heavily armored units. Because the trolls will sort them out. Trolls are armor piercing. Who would have thought I would ever send a fucking dog army to go and fight <laughs> Valkyrie the Bloody? <laughs> I never thought I would. Alright. Mm. I don't like fighting near the edge of the map when we got a mobile army. Try to get around over here. We want to be fighting in the middle because that way, if we end up breaking, we can rally. But if we fight over here and break, nope. Yeah, because our leadership's better than it was before, but not fantastic. Alright, I'm going to summon this right on top of them. Valkyrie will probably just kill it straight away. But I just want to use this up while I've got a chance. Man, they are not getting good cast on that, dude. Keep them away from the chosen Hellbirds, obviously. Okay, it looks like I just gained Valkyrie's attention, and if that's the case, that's fine. Alright, here we go, here we go. What'd she just do? Immortality, okay, that's fine. Because, yeah, she's anti-large. Ah, oh, you missed. Come at me, bitch. Come at me. Come on. Come at me. Or are you stuck now? Hmm. Well, she doesn't seem to want to do anything. That's fine. If she stays like that for the rest of the battle, fine by me. Let's go take on these units. Nope, she's wake, woken up again. Kind of wish I had a spellcaster or something just to get them to come at us. Because they're taking defensive position near the uh, border of the map, which is problematic for us. Alright, we didn't end up summoning that ability. Let's go over there and try again. Oh, they're going to get me with that one. Yeah, they got me a little bit. Does she have Gore Feast? I don't think so. I don't think she's got it. Good, we got her attention again. 
Bring her in. Pull these back. Because, yeah, taking her out is going to be pretty important. Is she a demon? No. It's going to be especially good if she's not a de uh, um, not able to regenerate. No, she can't regenerate. Good. Honestly, the doggos aren't doing too bad. Oh, no, no, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, that's not that damaging, but still. Oh, she is... No. I thought she was trying to get away. I'm pretty sure she can only do that twice, I think. Oh, damn it, she flew back up. Well, at least she can't regenerate. How much damage she ended up doing? 7,000. So yeah, that ability is called... Yeah, she's only got two uses of it. Should have wasted the other one. That's okay. Alright, so our, tro our um, summon there didn't do very much. That's fine. And they just love wasted magic, don't they? Good, we caught them without them charging, kind of. Kind of. Ooh, don't like. Move back. Move back. Don't like that at all. Too blobbed. Don't like it. Yeah, that didn't work out in my favor there. But hopefully, we're getting them to bloody wake up. That's what it's all about here. Broken unit, though. Getting the wake up. Because, yeah, they were just taking a bitch defensive position, which is what I would do in this position as well. Just don't leave the battlefield. It's okay if you're out once or twice, just don't leave the battlefield. Okay, we need someone over here. Take this out. Good, another unit of Flesh Hounds of Corn getting wiped out. Good, good, good. You need to stay away from Valkyrie. She will kick your fucking ass. Yeah, they look like they're coming at us now. This is exactly what we want to see. Good. Don't fight there anymore. Chase after them. Good, I can see that a Flesh Hound of Corn unit got wiped out. Good, good, good. All of my units are still on the battlefield, but some of them are being cowards. To be expected. We'll know when one of our guys have left the battlefield because they'll start bringing in these units. Eventually we'll catch up to them, because we are slightly faster. Good. Like I said, eventually catch up to them. Same thing here. And they're once again taking a defensive position. But they're losing units. So that's costing them. They can't afford to lose these guys against just doggos. Alright, next stop. Alright. Oh god, I need to kill Valkyrie. It's just hard to get at. Has that wizard landed a single bloody hit yet? Four kills. <laughs> He's cast like 20 fireballs. Alright. Alright. 
Valkyr. Okay, we got our attention. Good, good, good. Okay, we got her on the ground at least, and she just ran out of her invincibility. So when we charge into her, and for the first few seconds, it seems to do a pretty decent amount of damage. But when we back off, part of the problem is she gets back up. So we need to leave one unit there to just keep her pinned on the ground. And these ones here just seemingly just watch. charge in on the, her properly, don't bother. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's working. It's working. So I need some reinforcements over here. Chosen, which we can't deal with very easily. Looks like I'm going to have to lure her a little bit further away. Let's see. She's flying again. She's bloody swooping. again. Luckily it only lasts a few seconds. Yep, this is fine. Easily fight the Flesh Hands of Corn, no problem there. With the hero coming in. Imagine her getting killed by dogs. It's actually kind of working. Kind of. This is time consuming. Oh, damn it. She's slowly killing my lord as well. Okay, let's go and get out of there. Hmm. Looks like her whole army is now finally on the move. I'm glad she doesn't have Gore Feast, that would have made this friggin' impossible with these units at least. Alright, what's she doing? What's she doing? Yeah, she's still really trying to hunt this guy down. Just gotta lure her away from the rest of the army. It's gonna take a while to kill her with what we've got. But honestly, even the units in the other army. She's just too damn strong. It's kind of a shame she's not a demon. Although that would make her harder to kill. There she comes. Try to dodge it. Okay, honestly, this guy here should be able to handle that like garrison hero. Can't stay in combat here for long before they come at us. There's no more like easy to, to get units apart from Marauders, those are not so bad.
Just hurry up. Okay. Valky is down to about half health. So that's something. Alright, there's a bit of an opportunity over here forming for us to get those units. Again, try to keep her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And you sort that guy out. Good. Alright, Marauders of Corn dual weapons. They're anti infantry, which means they're okay against doggos. But they're also lightly armored, so. Oh God. Let me just see if I can stop them. At least she's down below half health, so that's something to be grateful for. This guy's almost gone. It's good. Dog sandwich, motherfucker. Since they're marauders, we can break them fairly easily. That's good. She's getting very close to breaking. That's also good. Good, absolutely annihilated that unit. It did not do its worth. Good, he's dead. That's going to bring in more reinforcements, though. Alright, let's see if we can get Mara... Uh, I keep calling him Marathi. Um, get Valkyr off the battlefield by just trying to break her. Send every single unit we've got in here. Because her leadership's not that good. Faster, stronger enemies nearby. We can pile up a bit more. And also her damage. It's really starting to pile up. Good. This guy got a hit in. Come on, Sandor again. Let's get just get her off the battlefield. We can beat her in the next fight. Did one of my units just leave the battlefield? Come on, she's almost gone. She's getting wounded now, so that's going to affect her a little bit. Yeah, this guy just came onto the battlefield. Okay, he's on horseback, so at least he can run around. Okay, we almost got it. Almost got it. Just a little bit more throw them in, because if we have a look here, the faster, stronger enemy's maximum is 26. We just need to throw a little bit more in there. Come on, we almost broke it. A little bit more. Broke it. Nice. Just use some fireballs. Mine as well. Gorob did a photo super chat. Hey Legi, any idea what race you'll stream first for Thrones of Decay, or depends on what come it comes with? Um, look, I usually don't make those commitments without having first seen the content, but I think it's a pretty safe bet it's going to be Nurgle, since that's going to be like the headliner, headlining um, faction. I really want to see what they do with Nurgle. Come on, give her a good hit. So 
So how much de kills did she get? She got a lot of kills, but she's gonna get a lot of kills against anything. Come on, just a little bit more. So just ensure that we don't have to fight her again next turn. Or next battle, I mean. And she'll get no experience. Is it really so bad if she gets experience? Because we're about to confederate her. Alright, fuck it. Let her go. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I, I left it a little bit long. And now, how the fuck am I supposed to get out? Shit. Shit. I can't get out. Oh shit, there's no way out. It's fighting it for too long. Good thing I got a whole other army waiting for me. But yeah, I think these are trapped. That being said, they're blobbing up a fair bit, which we can utilize with Burning Head. But yeah, my doggos are fucked. They're going to be withdrawing from the battlefield real soon. That's okay, it's time to bring in the heavy hitters. Now that we've dealt with the enemy heavy hitters, we should be able to handle this pretty easily. Honestly, the doggos aren't doing too bad, considering they're fighting Chosen here. Shit, we're breaking some of these guys. But yeah, the doggos are all gonna leave the battlefield, and that's fine. This is where we got nearly two other armies in reserve. And Valkyr does not have that much left in reserve. Just leave the battlefield now. All of the doggos can now leave. They've done their job. Let them leave before they take too much damage. Can all go. With haste at speed. Alright, round two. What do we got here? Mixture of units. So, loads of trolls. Got to get these two out of here. Okay, the trolls should be just fine. Like, this is a unit of chosen with... Oh, chosen with halberds. Okay, yeah, not against that. Send the... Aspiring champions to handle that. And Harold Hammerstorm. Okay. The 
Okay, they're managing that just fine. Since I don't have a ton of armor piercing, I'm gonna use Plague of Rust. Try to weaken them a bit. Okay, now as for the trolls, just just try not to go for their anti-large units and they should be fine. Got lots of reinforcements. Yeah, yeah, plenty of reinforcements still to come. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's happening here is pretty interesting. They're blobbing up around this. That actually should be pretty good to use. And if they do enough, we can pop in um, this spell to do some extra damage, especially on the Marauder units. Because, yeah, the Aspiring Champions, they're doing well. How come you like to blow melee units? It, it depends on the situation. So in this case here, blobbing is really beneficial for us because it doesn't increase the amount of damage that we dish out and it allows us to cast spells on them and dish out maximum damage. So it, it always depends on the situation. There are some situations you don't want to blob, some that you do. I am the only constant. Slayer of so these guys here are not heavily affected by our spells. So we end up doing way more damage to the enemy. But yeah, sometimes going like super wide, not a good idea. Sometimes, it, it just depends. Because sometimes you can concentrate the melee infantry in a tight space. So monstrous units are usually best off blobbed. That way you got more entities fighting fewer of theirs. That's the whole point of it. Also, another reason is that they, um, every unit in the game looks at the units around them, friendly units around them. If you've got more friendly units than enemy units, your morale will be boosted. If it's the other way around, your morale will be um, reduced. So if you've ever gone super wide and then been frustrated as your units routed, it's because they, they felt that they were outnumbered too much. See, the trolls are working pretty damn well here. They're surrounded, but they're in a nice big blobs. So they're just not taking damage. Significantly reduces the amount of damage you take. And then we send other units to come in and flank them. to go. We've got this. Worst of this is definitely over. They've got some aspiring champions as well. See, even the Chosen Halberds aren't doing that well against the Kalshaw. Like, they're still they're doing okay. See, a lot of thing with um, monstrous infantry is that they are, they fight in loose formation, and what it does is allows infantry units to fight like four of them versus one troll. But if you put a whole bunch of trolls together, then essentially you've got one infantryman fighting one troll, which is not a fair fight, even if there's a type advantage for them. So, trolls there, low tier trolls defeating Chosen with Halberds, just because of local superiority. Sometimes people just look at the numbers and the type advantage and they, they think that's all that matters, but that's actually very little that goes into this.
Notice how my trolls aren't routing either. If someone gets banned from your streams, does that mean they can't watch them anymore or can't chat? It just means they can't chat. When Thrones of Delay coming out? Sometime in April, from what I've heard. I, I think they still intend to have it come out in April. So it hasn't yet been delayed again. Anything left? Still got more reinforcements to bring in. I was taking a look at some of your campaigns. Did your campaign last 40 minutes? It's a pretty big battle though. It's several armies. Army losses should be really soon though. Almost done. There's the army losses. There we go. Good stuff. Got him. Alright, hopefully we can auto-resolve the next fight. Because the next fight's a siege, which I don't want to fight a fucking siege. Panzer Jaeger did a two dollars budget. How would you like? To, sorry, how would you rate RK on, on the fun scale? Uh, probably like a nine out of ten. It's pretty good. Not a particularly challenging campaign, though. If you know, it. once you get past Boros Ursus, it's pretty easy. I tried to play as Bretonia once and I lost about five minutes. Yeah, Bretonia is not good currently in Warhammer 3. It's, it doesn't play well. Hey, Anton B Gaming, how's it going, dude? Legend, what DLC race you want to try first? Um, Skaven? I don't know what you mean, sorry. Uh, Legend Jerry subscribed to tier one. I'm not sure if I read that out. Subscribe for two months. Currently on a two month streak. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Is this the battle that started with a dog army? Yep. 
Yeah, I just had to thin out their army as much as possible with the dogs, which we did. Took out Valkyr with the dogs. And then the rest of the forces we were able to deal with with our trolls. So, about half of the units lost on that one. Valkyr did survive, so she's going to gain experience. That's fine, because we're going to have her soon. I'll take the replenishment, because we've got another battle to... Ooh, souls. Nah, we've got another battle to do. And hopefully we can auto-resolve this. Dragon. Destruction for all. Fucking dragon. Okay. Come on, allow me to auto-resolve this. They don't have enough movement to launch the attack. I, I don't want to fight it manually. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, hang on. Only one of them. Only one of the armies is showing up. Let me see if I can get her. Oh, that reminds me as well. That... Right. Ashrak needs to be dealt with first. By the Eldritch I see. You need a boon. Kill them all. Do not displease me. Because if we occupy this and then Hellebron Your lands will suffer, my takes that settlement, we won't get. We won't get her. Doesn't seem likely that she'll do that still. I think we should. Maybe I should just leave this under siege with this one here. I think it's the troll army that did all the real work, I think. Silence, worm! Yeah, you stay there. I'm going to send this army down south to deal with Ashrak and just leave that under siege for the time being. Because if I capture this and then this gets captured by somebody else, we don't. We, I have to revive Valkyrie, and that's a pain in the ass. Tempt me not. Go now. So you stay there. If she sallies out, we'll beat her. Thing to keep in mind is that there are four units in this area that they could recruit. So what we can do is. It's not much, but we can recruit and disband them. And what this does is deprive them from being able to recruit them. Now, another thing is that you should probably not be in the dragon, because even though you think Chaos Dragon, strong, right? Um, Valkyrs in the air probably kill him quite easily. Now they will see true power. It has corrupt. Okay, there are no units for them to recruit. They still might counterattack, but I'd, I'd easily be able to beat them. So that shouldn't be a problem. And let's see here. Missile resistance, probably not that important. Physical resistance for you. Undivided authority could be good. And, yeah, make you a little bit stronger. Just need this one to come over here and grab that. Okay. Alright, so if all goes well next turn, we're taking out, um... Be you mindless or foolhardy? Her. I'd go into encamp stance, but we're out of movement. Okay. That worked out. And as soon as we do that, we take over the Mong as well. Was the melee chaos lord of Zinch much needed for the Zinch roster, you reckon? Mm, maybe for pure Zinch, but as for Warriors of Chaos, nah. Um, for pure Zinch, yeah, probably. They, they could have really used the melee hero, so I think that was good. Ooh, I like that. Save you. I wonder if I've got any others saved up here. Uh, just exalted heroes that I've saved up. Yeah, look at that. 16,000 for this one, level 27. I should just get rid of that dude. Never gonna recruit him in a campaign. 
The others are nice. Just need to increase my capacities. Alright, so I think we just finished Sensuous Branding Iron. Okay, so we've currently got minus one Slanesh Authority, plus one Corn Authority. If we do this, this balances it out a little bit. And because we've got this army here that's supposed to be catching up. Is Siggy available again yet? Yeah, okay, so kick this guy up. And stick Siggy butt brain up in here. My adoring hordes agree. Yep. 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 Sure. Yep. And yep. Oh yeah, yeah, look at this. Melee defense. I, I missed this before. Melee defense for Marauders of Slanesh, Chaos Warriors of Slanesh, Chosen of Slanesh. Not for um, uh, Aspiring Champions. Yep. And then additional armor piercing weapon damage for those units as well. And spuff, superf oh my god, super, superific <laughs> musk for aspiring champions and chosen. That that's for aspiring champions though. So that's good. Because we're gonna get those units first. Vigor loss reduction. Eh. Yeah, alright, whatever. And then Chaos Vanguard. Cool. Alright, we've already got his equipment, which gives us Control All Provinces and Slanesh Corruption. Okay, it's good. The Control All Provinces is good for us. And then you could use... Probably just make him stronger. Okay, and then convert these all to Slanesh. Hell Scourge. Not just regular ones would be fine. And then this one to... Slanesh. Is there another Slanesh available? Sort of. And there we go. We have him with a... You know what? He really should have a wizard. Um, Because, yeah, you can get a Slanesh wizard. Alright. Slanesh wizard should be Shadow. So I should have actually... Whatever. Um, doesn't really matter. My magic. And then, even though I just recruited this unit, just get rid of it. No, please, please. Kind of like it how they. Oh, I should have recruited him here. <laughs> just whatever. It only cost me nine hundred. Okay. Cool. So that'll be his army sorted. We just need to get them leveled up. Yeah. Cool, make him stronger. Excellent. Stronger. No siege equipment. Uh, I guess we could build siege equipment. All, all honestly, what I'm probably going to do is back off next turn with this army and attack with the other one. Although that doesn't have a siege attacker. Are the Slanch Chaos Warriors with whips good or bad? Uh, they're pretty evil. Yeah, they're definitely bad guys. <laughs> uh, they're okay. They're okay. They're high melee defense. And I'd prefer more damage output. Ready. My magic is yours. Okay, I think we're done with this turn. It's mine. Cool, moving on. Saved up a fair bit of favor as well. But our income is really depleted lately. Lehman Ross SW subscribed with Prime. They've subscribed for two months. Thanks for all the content. No, Zoot, my pleasure. Thank you for the membership uh, subscription. Hey, Legion, I missed the first part. Did you confederate Prince Sigvald, or how did you have him as Archeon? Well, this is the first part. And yeah, I confederated him. Because what you can do is... um. When uh, We're about to confederate Valkyr right now. Yeah, like this turn. 
So Archeon and, and Bellacore are able to get all of the Chaos Lords. The others aren't able to confederate at all. No. Yeah, I love it when somebody asks a question, and it's pretty obvious what they mean, and I love to answer it in the way that is technically correct, but not what they were expecting. That's what I like to do. For all the content and vids you gave me and a friend of mine wanting to play in co-op again. That's cool, I hope you enjoy it. Is Festus still alive? I don't know. I don't have any sites over there. Festus is definitely someone that you should consider confederating early because he can't be revived. Valkyr can be revived, but this is just the direction that I've been going. good so yeah it's usually good to leave this last settlement here before we attack it because whichever settlements their last one you don't actually sack it it's just a it will get it at tier four so this one here I need to capture this probably occupy it Okay, that leaves her with one settlement left. This one, they actually were able to pick up a unit. It could be a, um, a gifted unit. Let's have a look. Uh, Jaegerson 10. Sorry, Jaegerson A2 did a 10 bit chat. Hey, Legend, doing a Bellicor run and Miss Festus because he got wiped out by France. Wurt making a rebellion? Nope, he can't be revived. Festus can't be brought back. If he's gone, he's gone for good. Thanks for the super chat, though. Membership. Yeah, super chat. I don't want to fight it manually. Oh, where did... Oh, Valkyr got attrition to death. Oh, okay. I don't want to lose my experienced dogs. But they're the siege attacker here. This guy... Wait, hang on. If I just use this army, I don't think that's going to be enough. If I, if I, oh, I don't want to fight it manually. Hang on. Um. All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. I might be able to auto resolve this with a little bit of shenanigans. Alright, I just need to move this character over to Shmiao. Then you back off a little bit. Back off. Then you strike at this guy without that one reinforcing. Yeah! Pfft. No fighting it manually. Fuck sieges. Screw that. He's out of movement. That's okay. Yeah! Pfft. And we get it at tier 4, and we now have. Ooh. Got the blue scribes. And... We've also got Valkyrie, and she'll be available in two turns for some reason. Instead of five. Oh well, good. I got some corn warriors for her. 
try to get some more before it's they disappear. Cool, because yeah, nobody wants to fight battles manually, especially sieges. Fuck sieges. Okay, so by the way, Valkyrie is revived from Iron Frost for some reason. Now I don't want to keep Ashrak. So let's see if we can give it to them. I should be able to. I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, maybe don't do the trade agreement. Just do. Just do this. Okay. Then do the trade agreement for the two grand. That way, I get a little bit more out of it. Yeah. All the way. Cool, because I don't need Ashrak. It's useless. And the glacial gardens. I don't need that either. I can hand that over to you. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? The long ships are ready. Cool. Good stuff. It's of no value to me. Good, 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 good. Okay. Awesome. So that's two out of eight. Sorry, three out of eight of the legendary lords available. Okay. The blue scribes should not be attached to Archeon. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't have any Zinch focused armies yet, but we should. Okay. Uh, actually, this is really good when you're playing as Bellacor because you can actually get a full army of blue horrors, but you can't do. Blue horrors. Pink horrors. You can't do that with Archeon. Hmm. Oh, I was going to attack that. Uh, that's fine. Um, just move up to here. The gods direct me. Very well. Yeah, your allies always do this. They stand one tile away so they won't reinforce you. Fucking pricks. Northman come. Master here. Legend, your army's got wrecked. It's not my army. I don't fucking care. This is the Do you plan to ally with one of the Chorfs and get their Dreadquakes? I don't ally with Chorfs. You subjugate them. But yeah, that would be good. <laughs> Leadership more for Marauder Horsemen. Eh. It's alright. It's a global bonus. I like my global bonuses. All right. Well, you dare. There are there aren't any more dark fortresses out this way. What we could do here is is subjugate Hellebron here. Might as well keep the gold. But if we have a look at Archeon, he, he sorry Archeon, um. Malekith, he doesn't hate us. Oh, he does hate us. Um, yeah, he's likely to declare war on us while we have our backs. Because I was just thinking, there's not really that much more value out here, apart from just fighting people. I would like to redirect my forces maybe to Bellacor and get to Festus. But we could end up losing a lot of ground by leaving these guys here. Whereas this isn't going anywhere. Well, Festus might be. Bellacor can be revived if he gets wiped out. We can actually check to see if Festus is alive. Let me just check this way. So Shadow Legion. Oh fuck no, it's not gonna show us. Flickering fire! Frazzling fiends! My magic is yours. Mm. Witness my beauty. Yeah, I think we should finish off Malika. Th that, that thing is, though, every enemy that you defeat, you end up encountering another one. You just end up... There's, like, there's no more Dark Fortresses anywhere down here. There's plenty in Norska. Finish off Helebron, then we're going to Norska. Fuck what happens over here. We can always raise emergency armies. You get off that piece of crap mount. Let us corrupt... Yeah, just finish off Hellebron, sub capture the Grand, subjugate her there, and then just piss off. We if we have a look here. Words. You know that. Yeah. No, okay, just 
If we stay stronger than him, he may not declare war. He probably will. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Full-on invasion of Norska time. So I want to set sail from Fortress of the Damned down to Serpent Jetty. You turn back around. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Make sure you pick up this one. Turn back around. These two will finish this off and then meet up over here. Give Malika the settlement or two? Nah. Nah, fuck Malika. If he declares war on me, I'll kill him. Shadow Legion got fucked up. But that probably just means that they invaded Britannia and got wrecked. Scrunch crimes that are £2 super shit. Are war shrines like ever useful? Yeah, they're useful as long as the enemy has no missile units, especially armor piercing missile units, because they're just super slow and big and fat, and they're just really vulnerable to those kind of units. Sometimes, if you really want to use them, they, they can be good for um, missile soaks. I don't really recommend doing that though. All right, so this guy here, he's level two. It's gonna be cheaper. Actually, I got heaps of money. Let's go for a high expensive one. So, yeah, unearthly. This is why I saved him because he got regen ward save if we lose a battle, and unearthly reflexes. Really friggin' good. That's why I saved him. Yeah, that's a good one. No. Uh, Sheps, 1989, subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Hi, Legend. Uh, long time since I caught you. How are you? I was wondering what mods you use. I usually don't use mods, but I, I usually use very small mods. I don't go with overhaul mods all that often. Um, the Foxy Nate, subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Okay, let's move on next turn. Alright, I don't want... Actually, no, we'll keep that because we're not staying in this area. Don't need this. Cool, cool, cool. It's always good to get these at high level as well. I sent you a disaster, Ikit versus Bretonia, but your last videos are about Skaven. Should I wait bumping them? Yeah, I think I've covered enough Skaven. The last few videos have really tanked, so I think I'm going to give the Skaven a rest for a few weeks. Or, sorry, not a few weeks, a couple of days at least. Isn't gold completely useless for Warriors of Chaos? Yes. No. Not really, because what it, it provides you with a global bonus to Chaos Corruption in every single region that you own. So, it's really good for regions that you have... Like, okay, as an example, one of my provinces has Boris Ursus there, right? And he causes Untainted. So by me getting gold, I will provide more Chaos Corruption, which will overcome his Untainted. So that'll allow me to have um, Untainted Vassals without them purifying my lands. Also it makes it so that we can capture a province and spread Chaos Corruption faster. You don't actually make gold from those regions. Does Chaos Section have the best heroes? Not really. The strong heroes, but I wouldn't say they're the best. Uh, I think our public order is fine. Oh, leadership will be... No, we're not fighting anyone for a bit. Yeah, I'd go with the money. It's not heaps, but 20% is better than nothing. This should be an easy order to resolve. Archaeon's gone to that point where he can auto resolve most battles now. Poor Boris got subjugated. Yeah, I've pretty much subjugated everyone that, that I've met. There's been a couple of cases that somebody got wiped out. So we've even got the Demon Prince. Look. 
I got Daniel's army here. I don't need this anymore, so why don't you force march over to here and then go away. <laughs> so yeah, the gold here. Chaos Undivided Corruption plus two all provinces. Oh, sorry, I thought it was all regions. Plus two all provinces. So that'll help you know, just spreading corruption. Doesn't make us any money, but does, doesn't mean it's not valuable. Alright, it's a fair bit of a walk before our next war, which is against Wolfric. So, I think we should do that another day. I'll just, um... Yeah, we'll wrap things up now. But yeah, I'm really happy with the turnout today. I'm glad you guys seemingly are enjoying it. Good good number of views, good um, average watch time. Uh, but I need to go get some sleep. But it's seven and a half hours into the stream and I'm exhausted. Um, hang on. Uh, dot rip, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All right, let's go chuck a host over to someone. I'm just going to check the created network Discord and see who's... Okay, uh, PZA Total War is live streaming. Let's chuck it over to him because I... I Passed him over. Oh, hang on, he's streaming in 20 minutes. <laughs> Man, I'm fucking knackered. I can't wait 20 minutes. Plus, I already said I'm about to go, which means like hundreds of people probably just left. Um, 20 minutes. Can I can I survive another 20 minutes? Alright, PZA, I'll, I'll stream for another 20 minutes for you. Alright, 20 more minutes. 20 more minutes, guys. I, I'm, I'm really tired, but I can go 20 more minutes. It'll be fine. Mercy's on. Yeah, M Mercy's gotten the, the lion's share of hosts over the past few years. Um, and he didn't request it. Um, PZA's requested one. What? I am Slanesh's scion. Never stop. All right. So we'll just start moving things into position. Spreads. Expedite sickness. What is that? Alright. Yeah, just moving everyone into position. Might get one more battle out of it. Uh, maybe like an order result battle. But yeah, what I want to do is come over here, because there's loads of dark fortresses in Norska, and subjugate whatever Norskans we can find. And also, Belakor. Would be good to get him. This is nothing of value for us over here. It's just fucking garbage. So I'm just not interested in being here any longer. I got what I wanted out of all this. Got Valkyr, got some vassals, got all of the Dark Fortresses, every last one of them, got all of the Norskan vassals. Anything else here isn't really worth my time spending loads of time here anymore. Alright, uh, yeah, go with this one here. Good. Gotta get some marble so I can reduce construction costs. Running out of money! Okay, and get that. Yep. Well, actually, it would be good to get more capacity for those heroes. Can always do that. Oh, uh, I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. It's good for public order as well, because we're on legendary. Okay. So, yeah, we'll subjugate her. That way, she'll act as a bit of a buffer against um, Malekith. What actually might end up happening as well is that Malekith might confederate her. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Do you think it makes sense for Chaos Waste to have tradable resources? Why not? Why not? Just because it's Chaos Corrupted doesn't mean it's not valuable. I don't have a problem with it. 
Hey Legend, just six hours left of that 17 hour shift. I'll miss you. Okay, well, I'm only gonna be on for another 20 minutes. But yeah, why don't folks like Brett's? Is it other newer stuff is more to their liking or just missing stuff that they should, could, should have? Honestly, their playstyle is kind of boring in Warhammer 3. They can no longer properly defend their minor settlements because they can't build walls. That was like one of the big appeals to them before. Um, they're just a faction that has massively fallen behind other factions. That's all. It's not like they're bad. They're just not as good as everyone else, which kind of makes them bad. Like, if I was going to play Bretonia, I'd prefer to play them in Warhammer 2. The only thing they've really gotten in Warhammer 2 was the fact that damsels can now do troths and they can provide replenishment to your armies. That, that's it. Um, it's, it's just not enough. Are there any fortresses in Lustria? I don't think so. Okay, Valkyrie's back. So we got a few units over here that are Coronate that I wanted to hand over to her. So I'll recruit her. Valkyrie the bloody. And let's have a look. Should we respec her? So she got Bringer of Glory, recruit rank for Chaos Marauder units all armies. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. That gives her a gore feast. She did get this. I would say she's only got one wasted point. Voice of the Dark Gods. That's, that's shit. Um, I don't think that's worth respecking her. Definitely would be good to get to Sword Maiden of Corn, but it's not essential that we get there right away. Alright. So, get this one over here, transfer all the Cornet units over to her. She also needs a wizard, and it needs to be of Zinch, because otherwise, if it's not of Zinch, it'll lose Corn Authority. Because Corn Authority, sorry, Zinch wizards drop down, um... Nurgle Authority. So this one will meet up with her. If I remember. Alright. Yeah, you finish recruiting. I want you to come with me so you can give Sigval some backup. Alright, this will be the end of her... Okay, so Hellebron is now subjugated. Is the Lord of and she hates us. Oh, but it's actually improving pretty quickly, so that's good. She might end up actually be willing to uh, trade with us soon. Any trolls out here? No. Okay, we've also got some other units that don't belong in this army, which are only recruited to help us out with that other battle. Get moving. And we pull out of this. Honestly, Malachus should count his blessings. But you know, as soon as we leave this area, that's probably when he's going to attack. At which point we just turn back around and go and fight him with maybe not all the armies, but maybe Archaon. Archaon will sort him out. Okay, and our hero stack over here. Of course, coruscating winds. Of course, Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Do you read Twitch chat? Yeah, I've been reading Twitch chat. Hey, Legion, I'm eating food. Gonna be online in 10 minutes. That's okay. That's what your thing says. Yeah, in 10 minutes. If you can start early, that'd be great. Because <laughs> I'm buggered. I, w I wanted to leave the stream, but I'm, I'm going on another 10 minutes just for you. What so I can read you. You owe me money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. We don't need to tax this. There's no money to be made. Did I end up taxing this region here? No, I turned it off. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, alright, moving on. Uh, Captain Lanky, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude, appreciate it. I feel like there should be a really good landmark on Altar of Darkness, a reward for coming all this way. I agree, there should be more landmarks for the Warriors of Chaos. There currently isn't really any landmarks, except for the one at um, Zar Nagrand. Which is a good landmark, by the way. When they removed Wall and Midas Settlement, Bretonia was hit hard. Yeah. Yeah, that really hurt them. The thing is, everybody was like, no, don't do this, and Creative Assembly never brought it back. The, the, the player count on average for Bretonia must have dropped significantly. I haven't played Bretonia since. The Eye of Syrian is already told. I used to play Bretonia all the time. Now I don't even touch them. I'm just like, what for? What for? They haven't, they haven't improved. They've gone backwards. They've taken away all their fun cheeses and given them nothing in return. Boring. Not gonna play them. Okay, so we've balanced out these here. So let's get... Yeah, now that this actually works, it's worth getting, so that's good. I'm really happy that they fixed that. That's really good. Alright, transfer the coronate ones over Shmuel. Alright, then she just needs to pick up units wherever she can find them. So these ones over here, they can be dedicated to corn. Yeah, go with the these ones here. They got way higher weapon strength. Mistress of skulls. Keep up with us. Move. Okay, this one here is just a chaos warrior. We can upgrade this to chosen. So which way should we go? Dual weapons or regular chosen? I reckon dual weapons is better. Way higher weapon strength. You lose the shield though. Yeah, you lose the shield. You lose a little bit of melee defense as well, and it's way higher upkeep. I'm, I'm just gonna go regular chosen to corn. Shields are good. I think it's our first chosen unit. That's one of Archeon's original units. Okay, this unit here can be upgraded to... Hang on. You want to do your movement first. If you do your uh, warband stuff, you actually end up losing movement. It can be a bit annoying. Let's do rank 6. Yeah, they're getting there. We shall weave the fates. 
check for trolls as we're coming through. Yep, find trolls. Awesome. All right, we can upgrade a few of these with armored chaos trolls. Why not? Got the money. Oh wow, turn 47. Jeez, I rarely get to that point in a campaign. <laughs> in one episode. Dicking around. About to go live, thank you. Are you? Uh, so... Okay, cool. Alright, PZA just went live, which means I'm gonna go to sleep. Alright, let's go chuck in my host, and maybe we'll give Mercy the Mad the host on YouTube, but I'll, on, um, sorry, on Twitch. Alright, let me just sort out PZA. I'll just be a sec. There he is. Alright guys, really appreciate all the support today, guys. It's been great. Uh, I'll probably come back with a part two with this. I don't know when. It may not be tomorrow. It might be tomorrow. I just don't know. We'll see. Um, flip a coin. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Fuck. No, I'm just kidding. Later, guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, so that's... The YouTube stuff sorted. Now for Twitch. Who's live streaming? <laughs>